Hi guys, I'm looking forward to you guys joining me for what we are billing as Super Saturday and the most exciting uh, collection or launch that we have ever had. It is of course the legendary Olmec Jade, a jadeite that has captivated civilizations for 3,000 years and was lost for, for 500 years. They have finally rediscovered these incredible mines and we are thrilled to offer you the rarest jadeite in the world. Want to know what's going on in the next show? Then head over to our website, click on the TV guide. This will tell you who's presenting, which guest we have joining us, along with what's going on in each hour. If you ever miss a show, you can catch up by clicking on the day you missed and then click watch this show. You can also view what product was on and if it's still available to buy. Catch up on Jewelry Maker. Buying with Jewelry Maker couldn't be easier. Here's a quick overview of how to get involved. When you see a product you like and you want to purchase, you will see the graphics appear on the screen. You'll see the item code and a starting price. As time goes on, you'll see the price drop. And as viewers call in and customers add it to their baskets online, you'll also see the quantity decrease too. No matter at what point you order, everybody pays the final low price. And there's only one PMP charge on everything you purchase throughout the day. We offer you a 30-day money-back guarantee, so there's no risk whether you're purchasing for the first time or any time. Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Look at the wrong camera then. I've only been doing this 10 years and I was looking at the wrong camera. <laughs> Seconds in. Good morning, lovely jewelry makers. How are we all? It's because I'm glued to Stephen, that's what it is. Glued to our Stephen this morning. I have my eyes on you, darling. That's what it was. Good morning, lovely jewelry makers. Oh, it's Friday. As if it's Friday. Where did the week go? Where's that week gone? I generally don't know. Um, and we are, oh, well, at the beginning of a very exciting show. Lots of reasons for that. We've got some absolutely amazing early bird star buys, deal of the day, absolute last in stock clearance opportunities, and the utterly beautiful. And not just like, not, not just on the outside, on the inside too. We've got Debbie Kershaw, who is literally just setting up in the background. So don't worry, Debbie. We, I shan't disturb you. Here she is. Here she is, beautiful Debbie. Here she is. Oh, what a joy to see this girl. Beautiful face. Hello. I'll see you in a minute. Yeah, you, you carry on. Bless her heart. Yeah, just setting up. Um, um, again, the kits, really exciting kits, which are very much designer um, inspired. Place them into the hands of wonderful Debbie and you're going to get an amazing, amazing demonstration. So coming up at nine o'clock and also at 12 o'clock. Let's talk about your deal of the day as well, because... 
We don't often get the opportunity to talk at length really about tourmaline. Gemologically, it's one of the most fascinating gemstones that exists and it comes in a multitude of colors. Well, your deal of the day today is the uber rare blue tourmaline and you're getting an entire strand of beautiful faceted rounds not just that um and I, I i genuinely mean this from of all the strands that i have seen look it's that good our dan's dropping things already you're all right lovely dan gorgeous dan we call him um he's got a suntan as well where have you been where's the suntan come from the commonwealth games and you caught the sun but you've got a lovely glow yeah no, 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 definite glow, definite glow. Um, you're not red, you're not red. There he is, gorgeous down, everyone. Can we see you? Look, he's all sun-kissed. <laughs> <laughs> um, then we also, like I said, back to your deal of the day, have the most stunning strand, probably one of my favourite strands that I've ever seen in this gemstone. Uh, we've got briolette drops in your tourmaline and a multitude of wonderful colours there. So if you can't single out which one's your favourite, stay with me. We've got um, a real mixed bag. Now, it's going to be exciting. I've got South Sea Pearls to bring you. Many people will actually say the South Sea Pearl is the best of the best. And I don't think many people would disagree with that. We've got some beautiful multicoloured pearls, which are completely natural. We've got red jadeite last in stock opportunities. This is a parcel that we know that we're not going to get again. So if you've admired it from afar and haven't yet made it your own, really today is the day. Uh, we've got some beautiful Mexican turquoise. It's the fine, one of the finest Mexican... No, scrap that. It is the finest Mexican turquoise I've seen in my entire, in my entire career. So it is going to be jam-packed. Now, we do want a thoroughly, thoroughly interactive Friday morning show. Is that okay? Message in, come and say hello, tell us what you're up to this weekend, um, what you're creating, or if you just want to say hi, yeah, that's all good too. Uh, start your text with JM Studios and message us on 78070. You can also do it via the website as well, all the W's at jewelrymaker.com. Now, starting your Friday, as we mean to go on with lots of inspiration and beautiful jewellery, it's your Wall of Fame. <laughs> Hey, okay. You know when you somebody says something, to you, and you have that delayed response, as if all the time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Me too. Me too. Yeah. I was like, ah. Oh yeah, I heard you. Okay, starting us off this morning is Michelle. Michelle, you're number one hundred and eighty-nine. Ah, there we go. There we go. Beautiful photography as well as jewellery. Amazing, Michelle. Hello, lovely JM team. This morning I'm sharing my Jasper necklace made using all the gemstones and wire of Jewelry Maker. I made this piece a while ago, but I thought I would add it to my stall at this week's craft fair. The central piece of Jasper I had in my stash for quite some time before I saw um, the wee diamond-shaped red Jaspers and just knew that they would go really well. Good luck in the drawer, everybody. Michelle, that's absolutely beautiful, and I hope your craft stall went well. Number 190 is from Teresa Ellis. Good morning to you, Teresa. Lovely choices of colours. Hi, all here is my entry for this week's wall of fame it's a multi-purpose wraparound break, break bleh, bracelet or necklace uh, made of black spinel nuggets appetite nuggets bugle beads sea beads and findings all from jewelry maker good luck to all in the drawer love to all lots of love to you teresa do you know what teresa that really reminds me of a, a collection that our sister channel actually did once upon a time so loving that absolutely loving that number 199 uh, 91 sorry is from jackie bunts good morning to you jackie that's beautiful very pretty um here is my entry to the wall of fame this week it's a simple stretchy bracelet made using rose quartz bought from JM recently with some Buddha heads from my stash. Thanks to all uh, for the demos and inspiration. Good luck, she says. And to you, Jackie, your number 191. Number 192 is from Josephine Green. That's beautiful, Josephine. Love it. Oh, you've been busy. Uh, this week's entry is inspired by Alison and JM's fantastic copper sheets. Hoping for a lucky week. Good luck, everybody. We'll keep everything crossed for you, Josephine. Number 192 
93 is from Nikki Mellish. Oh my goodness, Nikki, you've done it again. That's absolutely insane. Hi, this is my entry to the Wall of Fame. It's a birthday uh, cake trinket box I've made for my granddaughter, Emma. I'm taking it over to give her in October. A bit later, birthday is in September, but we're celebrating when I'm there. And I know it's there in America, aren't they, Nikki? Um, all delicates from Jewelry Maker. Good luck to her fellow offers. Lots of love. Nikki, that's beautiful. And happy birthday to Emma in September. Um, as if that's a year. Gosh, I remember us messaging. Gosh. Uh, 194 is from Christine Sulcom. Good morning to you, Christine. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Dear JM, this is my entry for this week's Wall of Fame. And Alison Tarry design uh, of bracelet, earrings and necklace I made in Terra Jasper. Uh, thank you to all the designers and the team for your work. Good luck to all in the draw. Lots of love to you, Christine. Number 195 is from Pamela Reed. Beautiful, Pamela. Oh, you could wear all those together. Loving that. Uh, here is my Wall of Fame entry. All items are from Jewelry Maker. My selection of stretchy bracelets. All items are from Jewelry Maker. Good luck to everybody. We love those, Pamela. Amazing. Number 196 is from Sean Kerr. Wowzers. Now, Sean, I, I often admire your work. That's absolutely incredible. A couple of weeks ago, the amazing Monica demonstrated a magnificent panther necklace. I decided to have a go at making my own version using Monica's seed beading techniques for the neckline, which incorporated gold shell pearls and orange agate rounds. <clears throat> and I used Rachel Norris's superb tiger booklet to make the tiger's head. I used pink sapphires and tiny gold uh, sheen obsidians in the tiger together with large Large peridot pairs. The tassel is made from sea beads with a bit um, with a bit of the neckline technique and orange agate. All from Jewelry Maker, of course, he says. Thank you for your inspiration and for giving us the knowledge and techniques to make our own pieces. Love and hugs to you all. Sean, that's incredible. That belongs in a gallery. It's amazing. Number 197 uh, comes from lovely Kim Hopkins. Good morning to you, Kim. That's beautiful. Please find my entry to this week's Wall of Fame. It's a necklace made from rose gold base metal jump rings in a Mobius design and rosary linked uh, with rose quartz from Jewelry Maker. Good luck to everybody entering this week. Great shows and deals. Stay safe, everybody, and to you, Kim. And last but by no means least, we have number 198, and this is lovely Alan. Hello to you, Alan. Uh, please find my entry to this week's WAF. It's a 925 sterling silver pendant on an 18 inch chain set with Burmese spinel, all from Jewelry Maker. Good luck to everybody. Great demos and deals. Stay safe, everybody. And to you. Oh, gosh, you talented lot. Good luck. Good luck. The draw happens on Wednesday morning with me. So I'll try and be lucky. I will try and be lucky for you all. Right then, without further ado, I think we need to get cracking with what is going to be a truly, truly incredible Friday morning show. Shut up, no. So not, not no to you. I'm talking no to Tom. I don't have it here as of yet. Shall I start with some really beautiful... Oh, you're going to love this. You're going to absolutely love this. Um, now, I've also got... I've got quite a few round strands. So if you're thinking about, you know, really beautiful, maybe knotted or not, um, classic necklaces, <clears throat> thread onto something like your elastic or something like your, your nylon cords, genuine black agate. Look at that. It's so classic, isn't it? And so perfect for every single occasion. A beautiful, genuine gemstone full of luster in your big statement 12 millimeter rounds. Now, how many times... This is, a, this is a difficult question, but how many times do we say, well, they're staples to everyone's stashes. You need your black gemstones, and yet we don't see them that often. Six ninety nine. dollars The hearts are hard to find, says producer Tom. So when we do this, you want to snatch them up as quick as you possibly can. How many do we have then, Tom? Only 20. They're not going to hang around, are they, at four ninety nine? dollars Straight away, USA, well done to you. Good morning, Marilee. From, from, from Arizona, beautiful Arizona. It's three o'clock in the morning, isn't it? Or something like that with you, Marilee. She's a night owl. She's a, although I was up at three o'clock this morning with my little one. Amen. 
Is she up or is she not gone to bed? Yeah, that's a thing. That is a thing. Some people work in the, in the reverse, though, don't they? How beautiful would these be with something like some uh, classic pearls, very Coco Chanel inspired? Or would you use it alongside something like, you know, maybe a Siam red thread? Um, shall we do some lovely amethyst? Now, again, we don't see this variety very often. Um, I remember, actually, when it first came uh, into, the, uh, into the vault here at Jewelry Maker, and it was astonishingly expensive. It's celebrated because it has the really beautiful markings within so expect chevrons beautiful color zones i mean look at that amazing little works of art within each of these natural creations eight pounds and 99 pence for genuine amethyst you know if you can't quite decide what color um what color to actually uh, or design to put in your jewelry take inspiration from the gemstones let's bring you some absolute clearance deals fast and pacey first thing on the friday morning i don't know why i always go a bit london when i say that it, i blame Wayne. Five pounds and 71 pence only for dog tooth amethyst. I remember this being like a, I don't know, 15 pound plus strand when it first appeared <coughs> here at Jewelry Maker. Good morning to you all. Don't be shy. Come and say hello. We are live in the studio and I'm very much looking forward to today's show um, alongside the gorgeous Debbie Kershaw. And I tell you what, some lovely jewellery she has created. Make sure you do check out your baskets, everybody. There was only a handful of those. Um, only about three of them left. Well done. Well done. Well done. Should we do some kunzite? Now... Really? Sorry, Tom, Tom. Yeah, Tom is just saying he remembers doing a Kunzite showcase with me. First time. Oh, really? Um, yeah, Kunzite is an expensive gemstone. I'm not going to sit here and say otherwise. It is. You only have to look on our sister channel, the rarity of the gemstone, the femininity that it actually uh, portrays. And when we launched it here at Jewelry Maker back in probably about 2012, I think it was, um, it was like 80, 90 pounds per strand. Well, our buying power has dramatically risen since then. Now we're offering you significantly larger sizes of this beautiful gemstone, often referred to as the most, uh, the most feminine of gemstones that exists. It's a member of the spodumene family, and it's also an evening stone. And what that basically means is whilst it's laying on the back of my hand right now, it's absorbing energy and light. So if you were to wear this in a finished piece of jewellery, um, maybe on a moonlight walk or a candlelit dinner, soft subtle lighting then this gemstone will literally glow we should absolutely not be going a single penny lower than what's on your screens right now 49.99 they're massive they're actually some of the biggest uh kunzites that we have in our entire vault how many have we got of these left 15 not many i love kunzite with black so imagine that with your black agate literally just knotted imagine them knotted together how beautiful would that be as a combination? Amazing, absolutely amazing, 29.99. You're a good 50 pounds less than when we first launched Kunzite here on our channel. And that was for, I think, eight mils. Eight millimetres, yeah. We'll ne we, do you know what? We'll never get used to prices like this because Kunzite is incredibly rare, especially when it's of this natural quality. This is a one-off deal just to get things started this Friday morning. You know how mega this is because there's loads of you on the web, loads of you on the phone lines. Um, 11, though, available. Good morning to you, Angela. Good morning, Elle. Debbie and wonderful team. Lovely to be with you, Angela. Thank you for your message. I hope you're well, my darling, and looking forward to what will be an amazing show. Ah, um, oh, isn't that nice? They are a wonderful team, you know, Angela. You know, they are unsung heroes, our lovely jewellery maker team. Now, don't you think, Debbie? I do. I mean, Tom will sing. I'm just laughing at Tom singing in my ear. Yeah, he'll sing about okay. himself, won't, won't you, Tom? Yeah. <laughs> I was talking about all of you. You are the unsung heroes. I mean, I genuinely, I've said, I have said this many times, by the way, lovely jewellery makers, many times, and it might be to my detriment, but I've said to our MD, if you, the, 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 the producer role for your live shows is far more important than mine. Far, far, far. Do you agree with that? You can say it, it's true. I, I do agree. I'm just trying to get on the chair. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> um, should we do some tourmaline? I'm on. You're on. I know we have to sandwich ourselves in. The <laughs> glamour, honestly. Usually we're straddling something under the desk. <laughs> yes. Honestly. It's true. <laughs> there usually is a big 
a very poorly placed wooden pole right in the middle of the desk. So stop there, shall I? Just get myself into trouble, aren't I? Um, okay, let's go back to the gemstone, shall we? Ancient Egyptians believe this gemstone literally fell through a rainbow. And that's how it absorbed all these beautiful colours. Oh, this strand is pretty. Pre oh, it's Brazilian as well. My goodness me. You pay a premium for Brazilian tourmaline, especially of natural quality, which has literally all these wonderful colour palettes within. £14.99. I'd be tempted. I think we saw one on the Wall of Fame earlier on, just literally to restrand this in this little, little simple stretchy bracelet and create almost like a, a, a tennis bracelet design. How beautiful would that be? You've got definite rubelites in there. Are you noticing the rubelites where you've got that? What's a rubelite? Basically, it's a pink tourmaline that has an intense saturation of pink and also red what sorry i didn't mean to shout down your ear there but what is that though what should we start should we get the party started says tom i know i'm at a party but you know when you're just like I might be a little bit bewildered by this party then. What? What? It's natural Brazilian tourmaline and we're at £2.99. <clears throat> Join me at, uh, 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 literally at 10 o'clock today and I'll talk to you. I'll, I'll, I'll chew your ear off, frankly, about tourmaline and how expensive it can actually be. Tom's just Tom's just uh, had that moment of realization where he thought, yeah, no, that that shouldn't shouldn't have happened, shouldn't have happened. Um, okay, okay, what are we doing now? Should we do some blue opal? Oh, I can't remember the last time I've seen blue opal. It's been a while, isn't it? <clears throat> a natural anomaly of nature, natural anomaly of nature. Um, opal comes in many different varieties, of course. Um, but I asked our once uh, our founder, the founder of Gemporia, once upon a time, what is it exactly that transforms opal to this beautiful azure blue? It's like a summer's day sky blue, isn't it? Um, and he said it's an anomaly of nature. They don't really know, but something was present which literally transformed this beautiful bit like bit like Larimar. Actually, they don't know exactly what it was that occurred within Mother Nature that transformed it how beautiful is this how pretty simple drops this will be lovely with some of debbie's kits coming up later on because you've got a, a, a touch of angelite haven't you so imagine this with the angelite uh morning l debbie and crew uh will be with you all morning as recuperating from a broken foot operation yesterday i uh, feel a little bit sorry for myself oh bless your heart lisa Get well soon, my lovely. You put your foot up and I, you know, make sure you get lots of nice cups of teas and being spoilt and pampered and we'll definitely, definitely keep you company, my lovely. Ah, oh, bless. Broken foot. Mm. Nasty. Nasty, nasty. Yeah. yeah, you look after yourself, my darling. Okay, look at this. So think of the tourmaline. Not just the tourmaline that you've had, but the tourmaline that you've got coming up as your deal of the day. So uh, let me just show you. If I was making a simple stretchy bracelet, I would absolutely go for the azure blue, this color, because it's going to <clears throat> complement the natural colors of the gemstone. If I was gonna use, I don't know, let's say garnet. There we go, garnet, I would go for this color. Can you see that wonderful wine red? If you're using specetite, you might use the orange color. If you're using ruby, you'd use the red color. You get the general gist. If you're using green tourmaline, pardon? If you were going to use, uh, if you were going to use your pink sapphires, you would use one of the uh, pinky light colours. So yeah, I mean, let's start with the pink, shall we? Because look, you're getting a, a little collection of four. These are so popular, and we're very excited to be launching our own uh, sort of coloured elastic. I remember the team behind the scenes when they actually first developed this product. It was something that we always had to outsource, which obviously means it's going to cost more money for us, but also for you guys at home. Home. so we have literally commissioned our own so you're getting a little selection of color I'm going to separate those purples so you can distinguish the colors better um, so all four reels um, that's four hang on a minute is that 10 meters on each reel 40 meters in total yeah perfect so that's a lot of bracelets or necklaces doesn't have to be bracelets nine pounds and 99 pence rose quartz you'd use your pink colors you get the idea amethyst you'd go with the purple because if you were to put say for example I know this is a bit of a, 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 an extreme analogy but if I was to put black 
elastic through your rose quartz brace bracelet. You're going to spot it, aren't you? It's going to stick out. Are you are you sat? Are you comfortable? Are you good to go? I'm good. To, is that coloured elastic? I didn't know we did that. Only just. We've only just brought it in. That is so cool. I know. Well, especially if you're, you know, your girls or your boys or your kids are making elastic bracelets in the holidays, get them a bundle of this because my daughter makes loads of jewellery and yeah. she's 15. Um, that would be amazing. Totally. Mm. Should we do the blue and green colour now? Again, I'm going to separate these so you can actually distinguish between. They're so limited, though. These have absolutely flown, absolutely flown on the launch. Again, it is our product. We haven't outsourced this. Um, you can see the lovely. They're going to complement the colours of the gemstones um, because quite often, I mean, certainly when I'm when I'm making stretchy bracelets, which I do a lot of, I've I'm normally only I've only got the opportunity to use clear or black, yeah. one or the other. Yeah, absolutely. I haven't got any coloured elastic at all. So, I mean, imagine that with green tourmaline. Oh, it's going to enhance it. Yeah. Because it's going to give it that just kind of extra pop of colour from the middle. The warmth from the inside. Amazing. Yeah. 9.99 for 40 metres. That's for the blues and greens again. Last in stock opportunities. Uh, let's, oh, I love it. It's like a sunset. Oh, we had fire opal the other day, didn't we? So imagine the, it's like the colours of fire opal in your elastic. Look how pretty. And at, at the same time, Debbie, we're talking about enhancing the gemstone. I, I, I'm happy to see that. Oh, yeah. I mean, I was just thinking, wouldn't it be nice plaited? Oh, yes. You know, just sort of make a feature of it. Yeah, absolutely. I, in fact, I feel we did that. One of the designers did, did that. They? I think so. Because it's too beautiful to hide. Yeah. You could absolutely have it, uh, have it on view. Brand new. Well, not brand new. They've been on your screens, I think, once or twice. That's it. And we are down to literally last remaining quantities of them. So you've got like a really wonderful, uh, like a mandarin garnet orange. You've got a really beautiful red garnet. You've got almost, almost like a specitite. And then you've got that wonderful classic Siam Red. Loving, loving these deals. So wait a minute, that's working out £2.50 each. Two, I'm useless at math, and even I can figure that out. For 10 metres, £2.50. That's amazing. Can't get a lot for £2.50 these days. So this is 0 0.6. So it's the same colours as the blue and green that you saw a few moments ago. <clears throat> um, but this is this is the only 0 0.6 elastic that we have now Debbie why, why would I use 0 0.6 above say a one mil because you know it's so frustrating when you want to make an elastic bracelet and you can't get the elastic into them. yeah especially things like pearls or micro gemstones yeah because you know these little tiny two mil three mil gemstones they're so in now for jewelry yeah they are so why shouldn't you have a stretchy i love a stretchy me too especially the dainty ones yeah me too especially like your deal of the day it's this color that you want <gasps> it's going to be perfect for your deal of the day um uh yeah here we go in fact i'll put it over the back of my hand there we go you can see i mean imagine those beautiful tourmalines threaded onto that wonderful azure blue it's going to complement it perfectly this is the only 0 0.6 millimeter colored elastic that we have currently available stay where you are on those phone lines um okay shall we do some brand new spaces shall we they are a necessity they are i did my weekly shop the other day when was it not last night night before <clears throat> they'd be perfect with your deal of the day because they're the same size absolutely but all the strands that we've brought you so far um need you need spaces don't you they hide a multitude of sins but also give you that little pop of luster and detail in your threading in your beading in your wire work of course in your seed beading they'd work with your lovely kits I have used i mean i've got lots and lots of earrings at 9 a.m and if you were going to get some earring kits um, these are a must. An absolute must. Absolute must, because I'm always running out of them in every Me color. too. And me. Always running out of them. Well, you're getting a pack of 500. Massive drill holes, so definitely your elastics will go through here and even some of your cords. Wait, that... Oh, you know when a mass becomes so simple that you almost... You can't, you can't figure it out. <laughs> Is that six pence each? Six P per space of bead brand new premiere rose gold uh, rose gold colored <clears throat> oh should we do something really naughty how many do we have of these then tom okay <clears throat> i tell you what i tell you what let's make a deal if you want these i mean they are already low but ridiculously low then you've got to show tom the love show producer tom the love if it looks like we're going to sell out of the full 83 quantity 
then he will push those boundaries even further. You know how to do that, don't you? Add it to your basket. You don't have to check out straight away. Pick up the phone. It's free phone off your telephone landlines. Show Tom the love and he will push those boundaries. He's very, very easily persuaded, is producer Tom. Who, it's a nice treat to be working with you as well this morning, Tom. Thank you for taking the overtime whilst Roscoe is uh, sunning himself in Bali. I know, I know. It's all right for some. Yeah, it's all right for some. Every I keep on his on his Instagram page. He looks very happy and very merry actually at the moment. <laughs> like, he's been on the barley cocktails, I think. Ah, uh, look, oh, bless him. Yeah. He deserves it though. Works hard. If you want them lower than five ninety nine, I've got eighty three of these available. You need to show producer Tom the love this morning. Are you going to push those boundaries? Go on, Tom. Let's do it. Let's do it. Under five pounds. There's a hundred. We used to we used to send uh, sell those literally in packs of thirty, wasn't it? Yeah, I think it was thirty because they used to run out and just yeah. And you'd be like, oh, how do oh, I make them go for? Especially in the days where we just had to use exactly what was in the kit. Yeah. You know, you just said, it, and it, it's good. It was very good for you artistically to have to do that. But you were always running out of the space. Always. Well, you're not going to run out of these because you? you've got a pack of 100 That's here. It. And so many people are choosing to multiply. Jax, Caroline, Denbyshire, Christine, Tricia, Aisha. Hello to you, Barbara, Carmel, Susan, Vanessa, Sandy, Nancy and Lynn. Well done. You're not alone. And you're not even going to be paying just £3.79 because that wasn't our closing early bird deal. I do have them in, um, I do, sorry, have a sterling silver opportunity coming up in a few moments time we'll do it next actually um in mixing colors mixing your precious metals is really in you're going to love the chain or necklace really that's coming up in a few moments time nine seconds not even stopping at three pounds and 79 pence i mean we're going to sell out before we get uh, before we the clock gets to zero so once upon a time debbie you'll remember this clear as day yeah <clears throat> because we're, 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 we're veterans now, really. I wonder what you were going to say then. We're, uh, not old. We're veterans, yeah. Do you want to make a veteran? Yeah. We weren't allowed to go under 6 99 on the live show, were we? No. Because it's basically not... It's, it, it's not worth the airtime, it basically. But, ah, uh, well, we work a bit differently today, of course. Look at the multi-buyers. Well done to you all. I don't blame you. Up in your quantities from twos and threes to fours, fives and sixes. There was just 83 though. So please don't leave them sat in your basket if you want to guarantee your success. Hello, Barry. Hello, Eileen. Hello, Glenda. Catherine, I can see you on the phone lines. Audrey, hello to you. Dagmar, Helen, Caroline, Tracy and Emma. Lovely to be with you this Friday morning. I hope you're all well and really geared up for an uber exciting Friday morning. Did you like that then? I'm geared up. I meant it. I did mean it. I do feel like I haven't been here a lot lately. That's the thing. Technic te <laughs> technically, <laughs> I worked um, Tuesday and Wednesday and Thursday the week before. So I've only actually done three days over the course of, uh, yeah, basically. I haven't been here that much, have I? So I am all energised and ready to bring you deals like this. Well, technically, Tom's bringing them to you. I'm just his puppet. It's so true. It is so true. He's the puppet master, is our Tom. Uh, Suffolk, Alan, Cheryl, hello to you, Sandra, Emma, Eileen. Make sure you check out. We're getting very, very, very limited now. Look at them. They're beautiful, aren't they? I love them. Never then, underestimate a little bead. No, and, you know, you just put, pop them there with your gemstones and your stretchies and in your earrings. You mm -hmm. know, I just use them all the time, literally all the time. Me too. Well, look, with your deal of the day. Ooh, that's beautiful. So pretty. Literally, just alt alternate them. Right, I tell you what, if you love those deals, <clears throat> you're about to get a monumental one because up next is a start buy. I want to show you something. Look how beautiful this is. 925 sterling silver. We were talking about the little pops of luster. Mm -hmm. This is Elsa Peretti inspired. If you go to Tiffany's and Co, if you research Elsa Peretti, one of her most iconic designs is the diamonds by the yard. Now, I, I, there are no diamonds are in this necklace. If they were, it'd be a whole other price point. 
Um, but <clears throat> those beautiful little spacer beads give you that illusion almost, don't they? Because sterling silver is the most lustrous of your precious metals, so almost mirror-like. So very cleverly putting them at every, what, inch would you say? Um, a beautiful trio a trio uh, of sterling silver beads is giving you that beautiful luster to give you that flash of almost brilliance, I suppose, that you might see within a diamond. Um, but even more than that, if I just literally glide it round, this is attention to detail, you've got the, extend, uh, the extender chain just here with your bolt ring clasp. So you, you have that versatility to wear it at different lengths as well. Now, if I can just get the practicality side out of the way before we just literally ogle this beautiful piece, the fact that you have those strategically placed sterling silver spacer beads also means that you're, if you do choose to put a pendant on here, it's not going to migrate. It's not going to work its way around. The spacer beads will literally help position it and keep it at the front of your decolletage all the way. Now, you can find, you can find... Oh, here it is. Let's, let's show it. This is the Elsa Peretti piece. This is collar diamonds. Well, supposedly, I can't really see the colour in those. Anyway, uh, £2,300. And it's iconic because it's so simplistic, because it's easy to wear. It's one of those pieces that you can put on and never take off. Uh, collar by the yard, sprinkle necklace, they call it. Beautiful, absolutely gorgeous. £2,700. Now, granted... Oh, really? I was about to say, granted that's 18 karat gold, it's not, that's 925 sterling silver. So what are we paying for here? Are we paying for the, the precious metal price? Or are you paying for the name? Because, yeah, totally, because the design, it hasn't, you know, it's, we're not reinventing the wheel here. Loads of different jewelry houses have, have done a version of the diamonds by the yard. Now, <clears throat> Instead of using diamonds or any other gemstone, we're bringing you that beautiful luster, that amazing light, uh, light reflection with precious metal. Let's just make a comparison to something that is exclusively 925 sterling silver. The triple beaded necklace, uh, and that's the, yeah, triple bead, same as yours, adjustable, 18 to 20 inch, 65 pounds, 65 pounds. Would you like to see a jewellery maker price point now? Because we bring you sterling silver chains, we bring them to you, and honestly, the best prices that I could possibly imagine of 925 sterling silver. You've got a staggering gram weight, two grams of 925 sterling silver. If we were to stop here, we're matching the price that we've just seen elsewhere. However, that's no way near. Shall we? Shall we? How many do we have of these then, Tom? How many? 72 chances. How many sterling silver, just classic curve chains, say, or trace chains, and we bring them to air, um, and you think, God, that's amazing. That's a wholesale price. We talk about that a yeah. lot, don't we? Yeah. That's a wholesale price, which I, to, to, make the mo to get the benefit out of wholesale deals, you have to usually buy big quantities. You don't have to do that with us here at Jewelry Maker. We are about to bring you another one of those shocking sterling silver deals, but I want to see you on those phone lines. I don't know about you, Debbie. I don't think I'd, I'd add anything to that. I think I would wear it exactly as it is if there's any left i'm getting this in fact i'm getting two of these <laughs> yeah i'll be lovely they're lovely aren't they so sophisticated and i was looking on a designer's website the other day and i couldn't believe how much they were charging for silver you are paying for the name yeah and i'm not putting that down i'm sure everyone would like a bit of tiffany's you know yeah because of i don't know the, the sentimentality of it but 12.99 12.99 yeah i think it's so elegant and beautiful. I'd stack it. I'd have it with oh, other things. Lovely. Yeah. And you know what? You could walk into H. Samuels. No disrespect. They've got different overheads than we do yeah. here. And also they sell significantly less than what we do on a daily basis. Um, but... Twelve ninety nine is minimal margin. You know, we are talking about minute percentages. Something like this. Well, a classic curb chain in, in, in Samuels, you're talking best part of 30 quid, aren't yeah, you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, best part of. Today, twelve ninety nine with you all. I only had 70 of these available. London, Cheryl, Janet, Samantha, Tracy, you're all there. Well done. Make sure you do check them out. I can see loads of you multi-buying on this opportunity. Loads of you still on your phone lines. Press your option one. A very good morning to each and every single one of you would you like to see it at the neckline as well because i think against the skin you, that's when you're really going to notice that triple b beauty pop and you know come into its own I mean, oh 
Oh, I'm so glad I did that. Look at that. Oh. It, it just, that's so beautiful, isn't it's, it? And from here, it looks like you've got like little diamonds or little um, crystals on there because it's just shimmering. I mean, yeah. the camera's not showing it, but I'm quite a way away from Elle. And it's so pretty. Meters. <laughs> Meters away from oh, me at the moment. It is. I, I mean, I know graphics don't say it, but I think this is diamond cut. It looks it, doesn't it? Because of the luster that you're actually getting. I mean, look at those. Every single one of those tiny little links is bringing you mirror-like luster. Absolutely beautiful, beautiful quality. It's got to be diamond cut, right? Look at that luster. I'm going to leave that one with you again. Lots to squeeze in between now and um, and the top of the hour. Right then, let's do <gasps> last of stock. Literally single figure quantities. That's all I have left of this. Um, in your uh, Blanca Onyx. Now, incredibly rare. Incredibly rare. In fact, when we when we launched this, I had the immense privilege and pleasure of uh, of being alongside Dave Troth when he launched this to the world. This is technically actually rarer than that of your jadeite and even your grandidurite because one thing you can say about those gemstones is that they have different mine sources or had. This only has one. Onyx, people go, oh, Onyx, yeah, I know Onyx. It's, it, it, it can be inexpensive. Not natural. Not natural Onyx. I have four left. Are we doing the rounds first? To be, I mean, our own sister channel, and I don't know if you can find this, Tom. Our own sister channel, if you put white on, uh, Onyx into the, into the uh, R drive or something like that, or J drive, whatever it's called, um, I can tell I'm not technical, can you? But our, our sister channel did one single white onyx necklace, which sold out entirely. And that would have been, what, 18 inches. Look at how much you're getting here. 127 centimetres of pure, natural white onyx. To, ha to get hold of this gemstone, you are talking like the echelons of... There's literally a couple of jewellers in the entire world that work with onyx in its natural form. Even Tiffany's & Co. use dyed onyx. And there's nothing wrong with that at all, but the rarity is nowhere near in the same league. Now, I can categorically, adamantly tell you that you will not get this opportunity again. You'll get white onyx, but you won't get white onyx which, with this level of, tri uh, of translucency. We have absolutely... Had that confirmed yes we can supply you with further natural white onyx however it's not going to have this beautiful ethereal translucency um, that came out when it was first discovered so the quality that you're seeing right now is literally from day one the final four opportunities and we're not even stopping at 299 pounds. Our sister channel, the necklace that they put together, which was literally beaded, they had that on with a few uh, precious metal spaces dotted in between. I'm fairly sure that was 299 pounds. And I'm talking meters away. You could make two of those necklaces, two of them. Oh, the rarity. I mean, it's really hard to compare white onyx, because, natural white onyx, because if you say, if we say gemstones we're familiar with, Grand Digirite, there was different, there was, there was a couple of mining locations. This came from one location because it is totally and utterly natural. And if you see, ever seen the photograph, it's literally in uh, remote areas of Brazil. It's pure white, the mountain range. It's oh, absolutely wow. beautiful. But this level of translucency, we will not, we can absolutely adamantly confirm it will not be available moving forward we'll be able to bring you opaque um opaque varieties but not that pure it's very ethereal isn't it um there's one left richard maria london i've got uh, five of you still wanting that final one and again you have got well over a meter of natural white onyx um i love i absolutely love i i bought this when uh when dave launched it with myself <clears throat> a, f a couple of months ago It's your favorite gemstone. Yeah, I don't blame you. It's absolutely stunning. 
It is ghosty. It's it, it yeah. What it, it does to light, and I don't have a mobile phone here. But if you were to th literally shine a, a mobile phone, it it literally radiates through each of the beads. Um, hello to you, Elizabeth. Wow, white onyx is gorgeous. Keeping my strand for myself um, to keep as an heirloom. Love. Um, absolutely. I'm doing exactly the same, Liz. I'm not parting with my white onyx. It is definitely going to be something that I pass on to my girls as well moving forward. Um, <clears throat> can I just show you? Can I just show you something? Something. Adam, are you able to see this? Look at this. Liz, you said heirloom. Heirloom jewellery. <gasps> That's precisely what this is. Precisely. Can I also show you? You think it looks beautiful already? Thank you, Stephen. Look at this. Oh, wow. <gasps> Look at how magical this gemstone is. It's honestly, it's, uh, it, it's unreal. And that's all natural. It's like wearing clouds around your neck. I mean, oh. it's absolutely ethereal, isn't it? I've never seen this before. Have you not? It's no. it, well. I hope you've got your phone, darling, because this is Last Chance Saloon. We'll have white onyx, but it will be opaque. How about if I say this? You can get everything on this board right now, the drop, the rondelles, for £100. <gasps> I'm guaranteeing that this drop will be under 50 Unbelievable, isn't it? If you haven't yet had the opportunity, I managed to get hold of it on the original launch. Um, this is it. This is Last Chance Saloon. That's madness that you can get hold of this strand for £12.49 pence only. I can see you there on the phone lines. I particularly love the rondelles. I just think that as a jewellery maker who's been making for a lot of years and have worked with some amazing gemstones, I'm always looking out for something different. Mm. Just because, you know, and something like this, I mean, I didn't even know it existed. So beautiful. How about along, alongside South Sea? Oh, yes, please. We're talking <laughs> that kind of echelon, aren't yes, we? Yes, please. Oh, my word. Should we do the drop, which is just, just amazing. Now, I know this is extra, extra, extra limited. Um, I'm going to move that strand for one second. Now, this is half drilled. So <clears throat> you don't want to interrupt the uh, beautiful translucency that you have within this drop, um, if you can. Gosh, it's that perfect. It's that perfect. Literally, it slipped from my fingers then. Half drilled. So all you need to do is put one of your, uh, your luxury bales. It's massive. It's absolutely huge. And I'm thinking, I look at this like a Fabergé egg, you know, mm. that incredible. Uh, 65 carats. It, how many do we have of these? Because I'm kicking myself for not buying this on the original launch. Look at that. It's magical. Absolutely magical. There are only 15 chances of these remaining. If you were one of those lucky collectors that got hold of your endless strand earlier on and you like something that's maybe a little bit longer line, um, then likewise, this will look incredible. Just literally knot it with a pure white silk. I'm going to... This is where we should be. Hun, and this is where... In fact, you know what? I remember clear as day, Dave saying, on our sister channel, Gemporia, not a single piece had a carat weight like, equivalent to this. Not one single Blanca Onyx was anywhere near that size. That's where we should be. At one hundred and forty-nine ninety-nine. Madness. There's fifteen of these. If there's one of them left, come the end of the show, I'm all over it. Yeah, I would do it. I would do it, uh, Tom. Honestly, because we're not going to get a chance like this again. We've had it. We've had it literally confirmed. Yes, you can have white onyx. A natural white onyx however what's coming out of the ground now is much more opaque is much more opaque which is still beautiful it is absolutely stunning but the, uh, in terms of the quality it's all about that really beautiful magical that's smoky like there's a cloud in there yeah like an angel feather or something oh i mean it, it has that it has that aura about it doesn't yeah, it's it it's that magic 
Unbelievable. If you want quantities, you need to check them out. £12.49 on your split pay. Um, we're into single figures. Well done to you, uh, Ayrshire, Karen, Gloucestershire, Samantha, Jane, London. New customers getting involved. You have to check them out. If you want four, then definitely sooner rather than later. Hello to you as well, uh, Durham. I can see you there. East Sussex, you've just got yours as well. You might as well add mine and Tom's and Debbie's list to the end of uh, name to the end of this <laughs> list if we can. Because when we launched White Onyx, this is how rare it is. It's rarer than jadeite. And I can say that with com complete confidence. Onyx is a gemstone. No, not so much. Um, however, natural onyx, absolutely, absolutely. I've got five chances left. Um, yeah, well, those five, one, two, three. I I'm happy to buy a couple if that's, if that's at all po possible. It's absolutely incredible, isn't it? And, and you're getting that rarity for under £50. So, yeah, when we launched it, we had, I think it was about, I think there was four opportunities across the entire White Onyx showcase. So, well done, everyone. Um, OK, uh, we're running out of time, right Oh, It's time for your lovely early bird. Now, these are brand new. They are diamond encrusted. Um, a collection that our lovely Toby Cavill brought not so long ago was um, a beautiful, beautiful collection using, incorporating enamel. Now, enamel has been used within jewellery for many, many, many years. Um, and you're getting a beautiful necklace times two over two separate auctions in one of the most uh, iconic of symbols. Up next, your early bird. <laughs> Okay, super commercial, historic though at the same time. I mean, you could, if you research jewellery and techniques, then you'll know that enamel has been used for literally centuries, hasn't it? Yeah, it really has. Um, with, with enamel, of course, you have that really beautiful durability, that you know, sustainability, if you like, of, of a constant colour. Now, we mentioned Tiffany's & Co. a few moments ago. That's immediately who I think Me of. Me too. They have the heart, don't they, with the enamel. It's, it's All the way around. That. This is in the Robin Egg Blue. Mm. I absolutely love. And in the centre of that beautiful Robin Egg Blue is a genuine round brilliant cut diamond wow you won't believe the deal on this one i mean we brought to you not so long ago very much cartier inspired we've also had the faux croc boxes you know the ones i was saying the really luxurious boxes mm -hmm. um <clears throat> if you were to put this into one of those boxes people would imagine that you have spent hundreds of pounds. Rightfully so. There's a genuine diamond in the center there. Um, and it is, of course, all framed in sterling silver. Literally, as you're looking at it, this is everything that you will get. So um, it comes with the curb chain. So all you need to do is pop a jump ring on um, and, and, and suspend it from that precious metal chain. The chain itself, you can see the chain is 18 inches. There we go. It, oh, it comes with the jump ring. So you haven't even got to source your jump ring. You've just got to literally feed it through. Amazing. Job done. If you wanted to add to this, then of course you could. You could put some of your white onyx maybe alongside it. Ooh. You could use some of your pearls. How about one little South Sea pearl just sort of tessellating away in front of that beautiful robin egg blue. Now, early bird catches the early worm, as they say. A beautiful finished piece of jewellery, a fraction of the cost that you will find at Tiffany's & Co. Listen, we're not the only people that take inspiration from Tiffany's & Co. They do tend to, they're, well, they're one of the most iconic of all jewellers around the world. If you take a little look at this necklace, for example, you said about the heart. Um, no diamond in sight. No diamond in sight. Yeah. Lovely, it's really beautiful. And they've got that kind of classic tessellation, um, <clears throat> classic tessellation with that pendant there. How much is that? Can we see? I can't. How much? 220 pounds. And by the way, I don't have that exact necklace, but I do have a Tiffany's necklace that I was gifted many moons ago by, by an ex. And it never sees the light of day anymore. Um, <clears throat> to be fair, I should give it away. But <laughs> it, they are tiny. 
Literally, yeah, they are. you don't see it on the picture, but they're tiny, they are. aren't they? Yeah, they are. No diamonds, no diamonds. It's literally about the branding. That's the whole £220 price tag, isn't it? If you love a bit of that, but you don't want to pay, spend three figures, then you're in the right place. And you want diamonds. Look how beautiful. I mean, I'm going to be a bit controversial here, and this is only my opinion. But... I go on. I don't like look at me like I that. like controversial, <laughs> Debbie. Go on, go on, Debbie. I don't really like that Tiffany's pendant. And yeah. I know we're all different, and I'm, you know, no disrespect to anyone who's got it, but I prefer that one. Me too. And and the chain is really fine. Yeah, because you know you've just got, and also you've got the story behind you're a star. What an amazing gift! Someone who's done their exams, someone who's going to uni, someone who has been through a tough time. Like you know, it goes on and on and on. The star motif is so diamonds are forever. And then you've got a diamond in it. In as the well. centre, in yeah. the centre. I totally I agree with it. you. I totally totally agree with you. It's about. I mean, many people say oh, it's about owning a piece of Tiffany's jewellery, isn't it? Yeah. And I get it. I do get it. However. Oh, yeah, here's a Tiffany star. Oh, I like that's pretty. That is pretty. <gasps> but that's only the pendant, and it's 206 quid. <laughs> no diamond, no enamel. Right, we have got how many of these available? 232 of these available. But we're going to do a complete sellout price tag for you all. Lisa, even if you don't know who yet to give this to, or maybe it's a gift for yourself. Look how lovely. Look how beautiful that is. Let me just move my hair out of the way. There we go. Look how pretty that is. And it comes with the, with the chain as well. Comes with um, a beautiful curved chain of 18 inches. Look how lovely, Debbie. Do you know, I'm, oh God, I need to stop shopping while I'm working. I would get this for um, Daisy. She won't be watching. She'll be asleep. For, um, for Christmas for part of her present because she loves jewellery and this colour and the star and the diamond. And you tell them there's a diamond in it. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? But how I lovely is that? I'm getting some of these as well. Do you know, I, I saw somebody, met, uh, somebody comment the other day. Um, I don't often go on Facebook anymore, but I did go on the one day and somebody was like, do you think any of the crew actually do take any money home? No, is the simple answer, no. Oh, I uh, saw uh, that. Did yeah. you see? I commented. I went, no. No, simply don't, because we do spend it on everything that we're bringing <laughs> to wear. It, that's factually true. And it's a bit of a laughing stock in my household, actually. Tom's like, oh, you off to, you off to work, he does in inverted commas. Um, someone find a dime Diamond sterling silver pendant with the chain at twenty pounds. Can you can you do it? Especially a diamond of this size. It's not teeny weeny. It's big. It, you know, it's big. You don't want it any bigger, I don't think actually, because then you won't be able to appreciate that robin egg blue. So one point five. It's round, brilliant cut. Meaning you're getting all that scintillation, yeah. all of that lovely fire. I mean, it looks lovely here against the neckline. But wait until you get it out into natural light. And I love that, Debbie. It is something that you've got. You've got the messages there, haven't you? In a really simple. Well, you've got. You're design. a star. You're a diamond. You deserve a diamond. Put that in a lovely little box. You know, like we do, us makers, we make it all beautiful. Um, I'm definitely, if we've, I don't know what, if we've got quantity, because I'm definitely going to get yes, for Daisy. But it comes, right, Kat, I heard you say you can't, you'd be hard pushed to get a sterling silver chain for twelve ninety nine. Yeah, absolutely. Well, Kat, <laughs> Debbie, you know we said we had quantity. <laughs> yeah, not anymore. There is a but. I just heard <laughs> what he said. Yeah, we're not going... Yeah, you've heard the price. I'd flabbergasted by that. That's so, so good, you know. It's amazing. Uh, Producer Tom says, this is overtime for me. So, you know, they, they almost shrug off any, any, any responsibility. It is what it is. I think Christmas presents. Definitely. I've been this. shopping for Christmas throughout the course of the year, the whole year. And I tell you what, this screams Christmas. I'm definitely getting this if there's any left. Me too. Me too. It comes with a beautiful 18-inch chain. I mean, how lovely is that? Let's do it. Go on, band-aid. Let's do it. It's early in the morning. It's... This is actually outrageous, as producer Tom. <laughs> I mean, if you've got a secret Santa... It's true. Can you imagine getting this for secret Santa? And then everyone else would be like, oh, I thought you didn't stick to the budget. <laughs> <laughs> I and never know what to get a secret. Yeah. And sterling silver. Oh, my secret Santas are always rubbish. I feel, always feel sorry for people that get me a secret Santa. 
No, I've had one of your secret Santas, Adam, and it's wicked. It was absolutely wicked. I'm useless. I start thinking of, uh, of things like hand creams. I mean, so, uh, so, you know, nothing wrong with hand cream, but it's a bit boring, isn't it? Whereas, look at this. It's absolutely stunning. A hundred have gone... I'd expect to pay that just for the star and not. Do you do? Do you get the chain? I'm not. You get. You get it. Yeah, you get a beautiful. Uh, so curved you get chain. the chain and the star yes. for that. Oh, that's so amazing. Literally, do split that in half. Then the price tag. That means you're getting your chain for six pound fifty, which is madness, and you're getting a diamond pendant <laughs> for six pound fifty. That's, that's so good. I love it. Isn't it's it really beautiful? Good. Yeah, yeah. Absolutely beautiful. I don't blame you for multi-buying. I think Debbie and I are going to be doing exactly the same. You know, uh, do you know what? This could be, this is going to sound ridiculous. I normally at Christmas will buy my neighbours something like a bottle of wine or yeah, uh, chocolates or something like yeah. that. I mean, I could literally take them diamonds. <laughs> they think you won the lottery. They'll though. be like going... She's oh. splashing out this year. I know. And by the way, I know some of my neighbours do tune in. So you know what you're getting this year if you're watching right now. I'm going to, yeah. And no, don't worry. I didn't spend too much on you. I shop from Jewelry Maker. How amazing is that? But it's beautiful. You know, when you get this home, you're going to forget that £12.99 price tag and you're just going to see this luxury piece of jewellery. I bet a lot of people are, are, are buying for um, presents. Yeah. For the present jaw, for the... Christmas. I mean, I know when we're August, but still, you know, once August is away, we're into the run up. Oh, come September, I start panicking. And I love that time of year. Me I, love, too. I love the September to December, but yeah, you know, I think if I don't get it, I'll be, I'll regret it. Yeah, totally. Uh, yes. Hello, Angela. Great, uh, great gift to put away for Christmas. Absolutely. That's exactly what we're thinking too. Imagine that in one of your velvet boxes, how pretty that's going to be. Hello, Miss Janet. I can't <laughs> give jewellery uh, in the secret Santa as they would know it's me. <laughs> Yeah, it's a bit harder for them here because we can all do it, can't we? Um, well done to you, Nikki. Got two crazy price. That's Christmas present sorted. Absolutely. Yeah, exactly. That's you what know, I'm thinking. My niece is 16. You know, at 12 99 I could just send it. She just finished her exams. I could literally just send it to her. No reasoning, just because. And also, Daisy likes to buy her friends presents. Oh. And often we'll make things, or she'll say, Mum, have you got this chain or whatever? But to be fair, at this price, might as well get these. Right, well, okay. you said friends. <laughs> yeah, friends, yeah. Plural. Yeah. Yeah. <gasps> Has that got a diamond? Oh, no, I can't. Oh, I love that. It's a red heart with a diamond in. Oh, that's, oh. It's beautiful, isn't it? Oh, I get, oh, crumbs, yeah, both. How beautiful. I can't choose between them. I usually have a favourite. Can I, can ones. I, do you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to take this off the sterling silver chain. Yeah. That's a moustache. And I'd put the two together. Oh, yeah, and you could even put them on a bracelet, couldn't you? Shall I do it? Yeah, go on. This is what I would do. You, I mean, you don't, you, you don't, you don't have to, obviously, because it's it's really simple. It's a it's a case of of what just threading them on. It would help if I can open this clasp. There we go. Um, look at this. Just just thread it on. I mean, I'm I'm pushing the boat out here. I'm going all out luxury, Debbie, aren't I? <laughs> Put two diamonds thought? together. I'm That's so crazy. sorry. This is terrible TV. One minute. Bear with me. <laughs> Bear with. I'm going as fast as I can, Adam, because the pressure is that I put it upside down now. Oh, no. Why do I do this to myself? <laughs> Here we go. Yeah, I tell you what, you, you get moving on the price point. Should we do it? Should we just go straight down to it? Matching the price point. Again, beautiful diamond, and she's done it. Look, I even tried. I tried to put... There we are. Oh, I love that idea, Al. Hello, Mrs. Wender. Um, I buy my daughter a heart every year for Christmas. Oh. Guess what she's getting this year? Thank you, jewellery maker. That would be absolutely amazing. But don't forget, you do get the additional sterling silver chain as well, which you can put in your stash for another occasion if you want. Or you might be thinking, right, that's two Christmas presents. I've got, I've got, I've got three cousins hmm. that live literally all the way dotted around the UK. There's one up in Scotland, there's one in, uh, uh, in uh, um, Yorkshire, and there's one sort of closer to me. <coughs> you could, I could literally send them a design each, couldn't I? Yeah. Well, not quite. One of them would be duplicated, but that's all good. It's so 
pretty. How pretty? I really like the design as well. I like the design of it. I just think it's simple, really effective. And you've got a diamond in the middle. No, a genuine diamond. Who doesn't Not want a diamond in exactly. the middle? Exactly. <laughs> no, no cubic zirconia here. No. Oh, no. A genuine, round, brilliant cut diamond. Amazing. And it's a, it's a quality diamond as well. You know, you're not talking about one that's grey. And you could always put it on a lobster clasp as a detachable charm if you've got charm bracelets. So pretty. Oh, I want to get one of these each for my girls. Well, I was thinking that any age, I mean, I'd wear it, my daughter would wear it, little ones would wear it. On special occasions, you could get a little, a little short chain yeah. just for them to wear. How cute would that, that be? Would I mean, be it wouldn't last five minutes with Tiggy, with Tiggy. she'd yank it off. But... <laughs> But Willow is of the age where she could definitely wear this. And, oh, she'd love it. Uh, 12 99 only. Well done, everybody. We're running out of time. Don't go anywhere. Make sure you check out your baskets. What a way to start your Friday morning. And there's still so much more to bring you. We've got some beautiful kits coming up with a lovely Debbie Kershaw after this. that calls are free from a UK landline and our phone lines are open 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Stay interactive with Jewelry Maker by texting the studio during our live hours of 8 till 5. Start your message with JM Studio and send it to 78070. Jewelry Maker, create, wear, share. It's easy to stay in touch with Jewelry Maker. You can like our Facebook page and join our community of over 69,000 people. You can follow us on Twitter and tweet us your messages and opinions. You can also find us on Instagram and even TikTok. Make sure you get involved and stay up to date with Jewelry Maker. Here at Jewelry Maker, we're always looking ways to make your shopping experience better. That's why on certain items, we've got split pay where you can spread the cost over two, three or four months at no extra cost to you. So you can buy your way with split pay. Jewelry makers, did you know that you can purchase as many times as you like throughout the day and you'll only be charged one postage and packaging fee? No matter the size, weight or quantity of your order, how many times you check out that day, we will still only charge you that single PMP. Keep things simple on Jewelry Maker. Hi guys, I'm looking forward to you guys joining me for what we are billing as Super Saturday and the most exciting uh, collection or launch that we have ever had. It is of course the legendary Olmec Jade, a jadeite that has captivated civilizations for 3,000 years and was lost for, for 500 years. They have finally rediscovered these incredible mines and we are thrilled to offer you the rarest jadeite in the world. Our friendly and knowledgeable help team are available 24 hours a day, 365 days a year. If you have a question or query, contact us on 0800 644 655 and press option 2. Alternatively, you can email or drop us a direct message on our Facebook page. Jewelry Maker, happy to help. with Jewelry Maker couldn't be easier. Here's a quick overview of how to get involved. When you see a product you like and you want to purchase, you will see the graphics appear on the screen. You'll see the item code and a starting price. As time goes on, you'll see the price drop. 
And as viewers call in and customers add it to their baskets online, you'll also see the quantity decrease too. No matter at what point you order, everybody pays the final low price. And there's only one PMP charge on everything you purchase throughout the day. We offer you a 30 day money back guarantee. So there's no risk whether you're purchasing for the first time or any time. Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Literally any excuse. I just, I just saw those pearls around Elle's neck and made a really bad noise, and I'm really glad I didn't make that noise on air. But it was my wow, look at the pearls noise. It was like a See, I just did it. <laughs> so unattractive. <laughs> Don't worry, I, I laugh sometimes, and Tom's like, you sound, you sound like a man. When, you, when you're <laughs> properly laughing, he was like, when I'm really laughing, he says, I sound like a man. <laughs> <laughs> Not producer Tom, by the way, that's my husband, Tom. A producer Tom is far too polite to say things <laughs> yeah. like that. Um, can I just show you these, though? Um, South Sea Pearls coming up. I mean, they are remarkable. Oh, they are. Absolutely remarkable. I know. I mean, we talk, when we talk, when we mention legacy, South Sea Pearls is absolutely one of those occasions. And it is complete. You have a beautiful bullet style sterling silver necklace uh, uh, clasp at the back. All natural, genuine certified South Sea Pearls. They're coming up. I've also got some smaller strands, uh, the more golden colors of South Sea Pearls to bring you. And we've got your mixed colors. Your deal of the day, it's all about beautiful, beautiful tourmaline. We've got one of the finest strands that I think I've ever seen. Now, let's talk lovely kits because I love it. We've got six different kits to bring you. We've got Grandi Dry with precious metal, which is bonkers. <laughs> so can, ask me the question, where can I, ask me where I can get Grandi Dry from these days. Where can you get ground did you from these days? Oh, you can't. Sorry, you can't. No, it's not coming out of the ground. So how are we doing a kit under £50 then? It, there is literally no ground did right coming from the ground. None. None anywhere on this planet. And yet we're doing a grand digerite kit at under £50 today. Um, you've got jadeite in a kit. You've got angelite. You've got pearls. You've got some of the, your favourite. Is that nephrite? Oh my goodness me, some of the finest and most sought after gemstones across the entire globe. But before we get into those, should we do a mystery kit? Just I for a bit of fun. This. Yeah, I love these. Now, with mystery kits, what tends to happen is that our lovely producers will negotiate um, um, like the, the most ridiculous price tag. Let me explain firstly how it happens. So when we bring to air auction opportunities, say like in the early bird where I had literally, I don't know, 10, 20 or 30, if they've been brought to air in the eight o'clock hour, whatever reason, you're just left with a handful of them. You know, we will then maybe allocate them to something like this, like a mystery kit oh, opportunity. Right, okay. So we're basically writing off the cost completely and bring it to you at, 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 at a price point that you would never be able to negotiate uh, just for the gemstone on its own but you don't just get the gemstone in this occasion I've got some dog tooth amethyst which I said earlier on Debbie that was when we first launched it it was like 15 pounds yeah. upwards wasn't yeah, it yep yeah, yeah at the very least really this like I said this is what I'm getting you might get I don't know you might get tourmaline, you might get ruby, you might get peridot, you might get sapphire. That's, that's the joy. They're mystery kits. Um, so with that, these are, this one here is actually um, the diamond cut. So you get those really beautiful uh, sort of facets, really showcasing <clears throat> the colour zoning within the gemstone itself. And you're also getting your sterling silver ear wires. Now, I'm just going to put this one out there. If I just put that into shot so you can actually see it as well. Now, you're basically going to be paying a reduced price point for your sterling silver. They're a necessity, aren't they? Absolute necessity. I just, you know, when I was making to sell, I did all sterling silver ear wires. I think it raises your profile when someone asks you that because people worry about allergy. Yeah, they do. especially in earrings because you're actually f physically putting, putting it in. Putting it in. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I told, and you do, it does tend to, if it's not, I don't know about you, but I can't put anything base metal. Well, I can, but not for any length of time. No, I usually just change the ear wire. Can they do like some costume, you know, bigger costume jewellery, but I'll just change the ear wire. That's out. a good idea. I never think to do that. <laughs> yeah. Well, you're getting a reduced price for your ear wires. 
And they're the ones with that lovely uh, flat texture, which means they're not going to push through your ear as well, and they give you uh, almost like a mirror uh, light luster. Plus, you're also going to get a mystery strand. I love it. It's like, it, it's like Secret Santa, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, it's good because you don't know what you're going to be getting. So I like that. It's kind of, it can be a little gift to yourself sometimes, that can't. And we can have a little chat about that thereafter, can't you? Oh, this is what I got. Oh, yeah. that's what I... But they're all going to be massive, amazing strands that we've actually brought you throughout the course of the live shows. Um, they might be i don't know 10 20 30 even possibly left within our vault and then we can actually sort of allocate them to these mystery kits now we've got a huge 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 quantity they are 925 sterling silver um the, the my biggest wink wink nudge nudge would be that you're getting a reduced price on your sterling silver firstly and then you're getting a, a mystery strand for free if we were to stop here i mean that's 10 pairs of earrings yeah, that's straight away. Yeah, and you know, sterling silver ear wires used to be considered. I used to buy them in ones and twos. You know, when I when I was first making jewellery, because it added to my finished make, which you don't want to do because you don't want to have to hike your price up by loads just because mm -hmm. you've got sterling silver. Ten within a pack. So what's that working out at? Like three pound for a pair of earrings. Yeah, that's good. Which you could sell them then for what? What do you think? Fifteen, twenty, twenty-five, thirty. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, I had a, a wander around London in the last couple of days, and I was flabbergasted at the prices. Hmm? And my daughter was going, "Why is it so expensive?" And I went, "Because you're used to, you know, jewelry that I get, and I, yeah, like, you know, but yeah, really it, well, yeah, you're used. She's used to the savings that you get now yeah, from, through JM. Yeah, we're not stopping here. I've got five hundred of these. Should we melt the phone lines? <laughs> yeah. I, I, that is what's going to happen. I hope our call centre are ready. If you can, lovely jewellery makers, please could you shop via the web and the app if you have that, um, um, if you have that avenue of purchase if you don't that's fine it's all the dub uh, you can you can uh, call our free phone telephone number 0800 644 um right we're already at 19.99 so like i said that's sterling silver you're getting sterling silver shepherd hooks but not just the sort of bog standard ones you can see if i put one on the back of my hand just there um look three and a half grams of 925 sterling silver is that really beautiful i'm not showing it very well am i hang on you've got oh there there we are. Ah. Um, yeah, caught it. Um, you can see that lovely mirror light luster with your flat. It's got that flat detail within. It also prevents them sliding through the actual piercing itself. Ten pairs of 925 sterling silver shepherd hooks plus a mystery strand. Shall we start? Yeah, it's heated up on the phone lines. Well done. Thank you for the trust to those of you that have already made your confirmations. I assure you, you shall not be disappointed. When we say 500 quantity, you can bet your bottom dollar that we've got absolute confidence in the savings that we are going to be bringing you. You said earlier on, in fact, we've discussed it earlier on, the fact that to get sterling silver at an affordable price tag, usually the only direction is quantity. Yeah. Ha at a, to get wholesale, yeah. you have to buy big quantities. Yeah, you do. And, uh, you know, and before you would buy ones or twos, you'd think, well, I'm just going to put them on, like, the special earrings, the pearl earrings or the whatever. Yeah. Um, but to be able to get these for, like, 19.99 and a, and a strand... Mm. No, you don't have to use them together. Oh, no, no, not at all. You can use them separate, separately if you want. 500 quantity. There you go, that's how many we've got. And I think every single one of that 500 will sell out today because our lovely viewers are incredibly savvy. You love the deals. You love the luxury. Yeah, it's a good idea. Tom says multi-buy and, uh, and then see, see what you get. And it's also, you know, earrings are one of the first things you learn how to make. So this is a great gift for somebody who wants to start their jewellery making journey. Get them a tool kit, get them an earring kit. Done. What a lovely Christmas present. £14.99. pence. one pound fifty. That's super good. That's really good. Unbelievable. Absolutely. I, I, you know, I, I remember us doing, what was it, the little findings packs of 925 sterling silver yeah, where you got 13 ones. pieces. Yeah. Literally 13 pieces, and they were, what, £13.95, yeah. weren't they? Yeah. Um, you're getting 10 pairs of earrings straight away at £14.99 and an additional de uh, gemstone strand. It might be ruby. It might be diamonds. It might be, I don't know, jadeite. It might be angelite. Think of all the gemstones that we actually bring to air. It could be any of those. Um, the quantities are flying Loads of you are choosing to multi-buy. Okay, sorry, I've gone a bit quiet. 
And let me explain why. My lovely producer is saying in our ear right now, he says, L, 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 L. We actually, we can bring, though that, that pack of 10 pairs of 925 sterling silver, the earrings, at 899, which is madness. <laughs> I know, it's like, people will be going, are you sure that's sterling silver? <laughs> yeah, it's not base metal. These are 925 yeah. sterling silver. So you can get these on air for 899 apparently, normally. Yeah, let's do it, Tom. Shall we? Should we just do it? Should we just push? Because of the quantity, let's do it. Yeah. Should we, are we in it together? Are we in it together? I tell you what, I'm going to say it. Let's just say it out loud. Your mystery strand, be that ruby, be that diamond, be that amethyst, be that peridot, be that whichever, rose quartz, whatever it is, a pound. There you go. <laughs> That's what we're going to do today, jewellery makers. I've said it even ahead um, of your 60-second clock. Eight ninety nine for your beautiful sterling silver shepherd hooks. A necessity, a must-have, your bread and butter to any jewellery maker's stash. And an additional pound for a little cheeky mystery strand. I don't quite know what to say to that. But, and, you, you know, and you don't know what you're going to... I'll probably get two then if that's what you're doing. Well, lots of people <laughs> are doing exactly that. Yeah, somebody's getting fours, yeah, threes. I just think, you know, you're going to have that excitement of... Oh, is it, do I need to get out more? <laughs> you know, of get, opening that and not knowing no, what's going on. No, I love gonna, that. I like it is, that. It's like Christmas Day. Yeah, that element of surprise. I like Totally it. love that. I, I mean... This is madness. When have, you, when have you never been able to? Apart from us here at Jewelry Maker, because let's be honest, we are mad as a box of frogs. Um, but when have you ever, ever, ever been able to go, uh, I don't know, gemstone uh, shops that you might see? Got anything for a pound? No, don't be silly. You can get a chocolate bar from the news agents down the road. You don't buy genuine gemstones for a pound. But that's exactly what we're doing right now. The only thing you can get for a pound is a trolley token. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. And even then, I couldn't, I couldn't find a pound the other day. No, no. Couldn't find a pound. Eight ninety nine for all that sterling silver. Has the price of, uh, of precious metal gone down lately? Definitely not. Definitely not. It seems to not stop going up, does it? I mean, it's yeah. a bit scary. Actually. It is scary. My, my husband deals, um, he, he does what we call a trading. I don't understand it. I'm not clever enough to understand it, and I'm rubbish at maths. But he was like, Elle, talk to me about precious metal. I was like, OK, what do you want me to talk to you about? <laughs> well, in what context? Uh, and it was like the price of it. And I was like, yeah, well, just it's a good, it's a good thing. Yeah. To, to get it because it is just going up and up and up and up and up and yet here we are 899 um there is a bit of a queue on the phone line so if you are calling then please do bear with our amazing call center they are uk based if you're calling off your landline it is completely free of charge hang on a minute wait a wait a minute of course you're gonna buy sevens fours threes wait a minute so you can get hold of sterling silver 10 pairs of sterling silver mm -hmm. shepherd hooks mm -hmm. you can get a mystery strand, yeah. and I tell you what, we'll even pay for the call. <laughs> I'll, we'll pick up the bill for the phone call as well, so it's absolutely fine. I it's wonder if madness. people are buying to sell on as well, like you could sell these components on yeah. at quite a profit. It's one of it's those deals, pound. isn't it? Yeah. A pound. Mm. A pound to make a pair of earrings that you could sell, even if you sold them at, what, a tenner? That's not bad, is it? No gemstone should be a pound. No gemstone that, uh, that, that, that has been faceted, drilled, created over, over thousands or millions of years should ever be a quid. But that's exactly what we've just done. Um, no, I know it, it. Yeah, there were 500 of these available. We did go lower than we were meant to, mind it. We were meant to stop at 14.99, but you heard it. You heard us talking about it at the time. We're like, yeah, we're rolling this together. <laughs> I just that is amazing. That is so amazing. So good. That's less than what we used to pay for for dog tooth amethyst. You can't get plastic beads for a pound. You True. Can't, you can't get them. You can't very rarely get a charm for a pound. One you, charm. You spoke about, you know, the kids making jewellery. If you've got this deal and you got hold of some of those elastics earlier on, oh, they're sorted. Yeah, it, and, and, and they're working with sterling silver. They're working with precious metal. Yeah. 
Goodness me. Um, look, I mean, the call screens, we've got, what, the final 100 of those, which sounds massive, but leave me, there's tons of you still on the phone lines, tons of you still within your baskets. So I'll leave you there. It may well be a sellout, that 500 quantity. Good luck, good luck, good luck, good luck, good luck. Now, shall we do some absolutely awesome kits? And we're going to mix it up slightly because we're going to go from literally something that's just madness and as a box of frogs, there's no making sense of that at all, to something that is just ridiculous, well, equally mad, but I have to have my, put a serious cap on for, to a certain degree because Grand Digerite is quite simply not coming from the ground anymore. So producer Tom asked our, our gemstone buyer and our sales manager here at Jewelry Maker if he could do a, what, a showcase were you asking for? He said, uh, can I do some Grand Digerite on the show? And Wayne's words were, we're actually better off not selling it at the moment. Mm. Just put this into, you know, I really want this to sink in. You can get, you can get all your diamonds, really. You can, all your cut fancy colours, they're still coming from the ground. You can get... Amalite, random, that's come to, come to my mind. You can get all your Paraba tourmaline. You can get um, indicolite. You can get rubellite. You can get jadeites even. Incredibly rare and very valuable gemstone. One thing, one gemstone that is categorically not coming from the ground anymore. It was already in the top 10 rarest gemstones in the world. 4,000 different minerals. Grand Digerite was in the top 10. That's going to move upwards very quickly because it dropped down to, I think, around three or four when the Madagascar deposit was being unearthed. That's gone now. So I, I am tipping this, and I don't have a crystal ball, but <sighs> I'm tipping this to make number one. Wow. Or definitely two. Grand right? it was rare, even when it was still coming from the ground, but it's not anymore. The price of this gemstone has widely been recognized as one of the most expensive. You know, even the most, you can get completely eye clean, but you're talking millions, by the way, for completely eye clean Grand Digerite. So we should expect a level of opacity. With Grand Digerite, it is all about the color. And the reason why it's rare, by the way, is because the chemical composition of this gemstone, there are chemicals within Grand Digerite that Mother Nature literally does not form alongside one another. So that's why it's rare. Wow. Don't, I can't remember which ones it is, but there is two, uh, uh, two chemicals that are within Grand Digerite that don't occur alongside one another. So that's the rarity of this treasure. It's not coming from the ground anymore and you're getting an entire parcel. Make no bones about it. This is a parcel of Grand Digerite. And expect uh, opacity. It's not about, you know, inclusions. When it comes to Grand Digerite, it is about that beautiful presence of that very unique teal. Now, you get that, but you also get your precious metal. It would almost be, I think, criminal to put Grand Digerite with anything other than precious metal. Oh, great. Because instantaneously you are devaluing it if you put it with anything other than precious metal. You have 16 pieces of buttery yellow gold, 925 sterling silver. But for, I can talk about that, but it's all about the strand. 32 carats, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22. So that means that you're talking about, they're all over a carat. Mm. Seriously, look. Which, in according to this, by the way, which is what was when it was still coming out of the ground, this price list, which is what literally our supplier sent to us, um, that was when it was still coming out of the ground. So that means that ours should be, what, 2,000? Two to 4,000 per carat, that is. And that's, by the way, is, is quite a conservative price. Wow. That's the price that Grand Didierite was, what, a year or so ago, I remember. I remember bringing that to you, actually, pre-pandemic, showing you that slide. 
and it's, it's no longer coming from the ground. So the rarity has gone up. I understand why Wayne is saying to us, we're actually better off not bringing this gemstone to air. But as long as you recognise that this is no reflection of or, uh, the true value or worth, the rarity of grand digerite. You know, you can get many gemstones which, which command some of the highest price points in the industry currently. You can. Grand digerite commands that high price point, but what, uh, what, I can't, what it isn't doing right now is actually being mined. Get hold of it whilst you can. Really, you know, I'm asked this question quite a lot. What gemstone should I be buying? Grand digerite would be the first one yeah. out of my mouth. Yeah. Get, if you can get hold of Grand Digerite, buy it now. Um, because, like I said, the price of this, I haven't got a crystal ball, but it's fairly logical in the direction that it's actually heading. Even if, and it is a big if, we were to stop at 99.99. That's colossal. That's absolutely amazing. What we have within our vault, that's it. We can't buy anymore. It, we're priced out. It's too expensive even for us. As Gemporia as a partnership, won't buy it. It's too expensive. $49.99. Yes, you get your precious metal. The strand, we should have, add zeros to the end of that. And just, you know, the gold-plated precious metal is everywhere. It's all the designers are doing it. Mm. And it's all gold-plated. Like yeah. most of the mid-range designers, it's all gold-plated sterling silver. It's not you know real full gold because that's makes the piece of jewelry too expensive it mm -hmm. outprices it yeah so to get gold plated sterling silver in a kit as well as the grand idea right i know that's kind of like you're you're being able to offer something really quite high end aren't you i i, I just I ju i'm just i'm flabbergasted because sorry then debbie you were saying something and i also heard something in may at the same time yeah. which i could which kind of stopped me in my tracks no, 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 it's all good. Because we're talking about those luxury high-end jewellers. Let's, Tiffany's, we've been throwing that name around casually, haven't we? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I just... Have Tiffany's got Grand Did you right at the moment? I don't no, know. I don't think so. I don't think so either. Hello, Gloria. Lovely, uh, lovely ladies' morning, ah. Um, I have a collection of Grand Did you right and love it. Agree with you, Elle. It will be number one. I totally think so. It's the colour, isn't it, Gloria? I just... The, when I was working with this, I'm going to demo with this one because I was just, it, it was Why glorious. not? And you just don't have to do a lot because the gemstones just speak for themselves. Let's just read, to, uh, let's just read this now. Grand Digerite, it is extremely rare. There's an understatement if ever I, despite uh, the number of sources, no more, there's no number of sources, there's none. So that's just casual and incorrect now. There isn't numbers of sources. There's none. Grand Digerite is still extremely rare. Pockets tend to be small and quickly become deplete. It is deplete. This is a deplete gemstone. It's not coming out of the ground. 2014, gone. The Madagascar mine's gone. Are you ready? Because we're not even stopping at forty nine ninety nine. One for the collectors, uh, like the like lovely Gloria. If there's a gemstone, if you ask our opinion, what gemstone should I be buying right now? I would absolutely suggest at twenty nine ninety nine. Definitely, that's a no brainer to get one of one of the world's top ten rarest gemstones. It was on three on the Forbes list, and that is only going to be driven upwards by the fact that it's no longer being on Earth. Completely natural. Um, get your certificate. Of authenticity. This is the gemstone. I have Grand Digerites that I've bought from, uh, bought from uh, Jake Shows, our gem investor, the strands that I've bought as well, and I've done absolutely nothing to it, nothing to them at all. Um, I'll get, you know, I probably will at some point, but it, for me, it was about the acquisition. It was about the fact, like Gloria was just saying a few moments ago, it's a gemstone that I'm collecting because it's not going to be a negative that I actually have it within, um, within no, my no, no. Uh, collection. It's one of those ones that you put in your if you can bear to not make with it straight away, you can put in in your um, drawer. If you have a look at the earrings, I think it's these pairs at the front. Oh, here. wow, I didn't see those. Um, these ones here, so these green with the gold, that's it. I've got so many earrings <gasps> there. They're oh. just so stunning. And the pair either side are the Grand Digerite as well. I will show you how to actually use the, 
the ball pins that you get with the kit to wrap that briolette sort of cut because I know people are like oh well I don't use wire but you need to make the use of those head pins because they are gold plated sterling silver and you know you only need even one on that hoop yeah, ring, yeah. and it's a real designer feel totally and that green color that's what i love i know it's rare but i love the color it's so unique isn't it yeah so 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 unique um i mean yeah i don't blame you for multi-buying i remember do you remember us launching grand did you right yeah and they were like what wasn't it like 500 pounds or something it like was, that it was something that I couldn't have afforded. No, I couldn't afford it either. And I, I wasn't able to buy it um, at the original launch. However, I don't know how Wayne does it. I, I genuinely don't. It was always one of those gemstones. I remember him approaching Marie, our previous gemstone buyer, and her saying, don't be ridiculous. I'm never going to be able to get Grand Digi right. Uh, but he made it possible and furthermore made it possible at an affordable price tag. Hello, Elizabeth. Wow. Stunning designs, Debbie. Um, as always... As always. I don't have to do much with this. I can't take a lot of credit because, you know, when you get that tear, you know, as jewelry makers, you get that teardrop shape. And look at those beautiful earring findings. They're the unusual ones. So you do get sort of the hoops and you mm. get those lovely, what would they be called? Like wishbone almost. Sort of. Yeah, that's it. But I just wanted, you don't get chain in the kit, but I just wanted so desperately to put them onto the end of lengths of chain because they just... I don't know, they move, don't they? So beautiful when they're on chain. Love it. Absolutely love it. Now, look at us casually throwing around names like Grand Did You Right. <laughs> and now we're just... How spoilt were you? I, I was just going to say, it's very lucky with these kits, isn't I? I um, and also making earrings. I haven't made a lot of earrings for ages. No. It's lovely to sort of... Well, you, you come up with all these ideas and then you think, do you know what? The gemstone's so lovely. I don't need to kind of, nope. you know, make incredible designs because they're elegant and you're dealing with precious metal and beautiful gemstones and that's what people wear well you look at yeah you look at the commercial jewelers which will, which will be working well, well probably won't be commercial actually be the luxury jewelers but are working with such gemstones you know they are going to be simplistic because it's all about the stone uh hello maria collected grand did right over the years made a christmas gift suite of jewelry last year with pearls was valued by uh um by daughter for 500 pounds wow amazing absolutely amazing and i think again that's i know it costs to get things valued we get things valued for insurance purposes yeah. don't we it's not just an ego thing we get it for insurance purposes i would maybe revisit that i always recommend it when i was in my in the, in the jewelers i always used to say maybe revisit it every every 50 uh, sorry five to ten years however things grand digerite has dramatically changed hasn't it likewise with jadeite and yet, here I am bringing you <laughs> jade. Natural jade. It's beautiful. I love the shape of this organic sort of, I don't know, what would you call them? Oh, uh, well, the shapes. Yeah, because it's really good from a design perspective because the, some are bigger, some are smaller. So when I did some of the earrings, like if I give you those oh amazing so i wanted sort of some different sizes um, wrapped on the front just to do something different with that finding and then i wanted a darker color on the bottom so when you get a strand like this you haven't only got different sizes you've got different colors which i think when you're designing it just helps you uh, absolutely and celebrate what mother nature intended yeah exactly in these organic that. shapes now the fact that you've got Look, look, I've got spinach green. I love that colour. Oh, my goodness me. You've got moss in snow. You've got some of the lovely russet colours as well. Um, you've got absolutely beautiful, beautiful translucency. Remember, when it comes to jade, when it comes to jade, yeah, kingfisher jade, yeah, imperial green. Yeah, it's like a bluey colour. Very, very, very rare. Um, when it comes to jade, you don't talk about your four Cs. You talk about colour which it comes in a, 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 a selection-ish of colours. You talk about translucency and you talk about texture. Now, a jade of fine quality should literally look like melting ice. Oh. Yeah. Oh, lovely. You want to see the translucency? I don't know if this torch is going to work. It's a UV torch. I, I need a mobile phone one, really. Um, can we borrow a mobile phone? Sorry, guys. Sorry, sorry. The UV torch has got too many little sources. Yeah. Too many sense. little sources. It confuses your jade, and we don't want to be doing that. But you want to see translucency, and this is exactly, exactly what happens. 
Oh, OK. Exactly what happens. Have I drained your battery? Is that what it is? I'll get mine in the break. Um, exactly what happens when you go to these gem fairs. Start dialing through because I'm still and we're not just offering you beautiful natural jadeite. You're also getting the rose gold plated ear earrings pack, the same one that you actually saw a few moments ago. Um, a few, oh, look at that. Yeah, I know. It's awesome. Isn't <laughs> it's it? magic. It is magic. Oh, I love it. Look at that. Look at that beautiful translucency. Let's put the strand in front so you can see all the different shades that you're getting here. Top quality jade faceted by mother nature all those beautiful colors you've got your olmec blues you've got your kingfisher uh, shades you've got your imperial white you've got spinach greens all coming your way in one amazing kit um, and price point we're not just stopping at 99.99 even though you're also getting your beautiful is that right tom you went quiet have i said something wrong oh <laughs> Oh, I thought I said, I thought I said we were going low and I shouldn't have done. <coughs> I panicked then for a second. <laughs> this is me, me being all blasé about jadeite. Do you want to say it? Am I not? <laughs> I think you need to definitely get this for us. For the jadeite, for the jadeite. For the jade, and also, again, I, I know I'm always about the metal, because I'm a metal worker, but these are rose gold plated, oh, I'm saying the right thing, aren't I? Yeah, sterling silver yeah. findings. And they're not just the normal earring findings, like if you're sorry, if you turn no, that right. sideways, yeah. it's those, those cool things. And the hoops, called. you and get the hoops. the hoops, you also get jump rings. fish hooks, jump rings, and ball pins. Ball pins, shepherd hooks. Look at all, oh, look at that. Look at the quality of the jade. If you thought we were stopping at 19.99, oh. how about 49.99? And the oh, clock is still ticking away. We're not even stopping there. How many do we have of these? Oh, there was just over a hundred of these available, but collectors and connoisseurs know that we don't, this is natural type A. You are not talking about type B and type C. This is not polymer impregnated. This is not submerged in a dye. This is all mother nature's doing. Again, you know, uh, much like your grand digerite, the main source of jadeite was of course, uh, Myanmar, and we're not able to get hold of it anymore. Burmese jadeite, well, frankly, we don't want the new jadeite. It's not ethically sourced. Um, this is all old sources. When on earth, where on earth would you find type A natural jadeite for twenty four ninety nine plus all of those sterling silver? That's very very. I mean, how much would you sell something like this? Depends where you are. If you're a proper artisan market, probably about forty pounds would be thirty nine ninety nine. Probably I would. That's amazing. And you're using what eight? You've got eight, eight of the stones. Eight of the stones. Um, and just two of the, it's because of those rose gold plated sterling silver findings is how you can get away with sort of, and also, I mean, that is not expensive. And I was walking around London and seeing what the jewelry mm. that was being sold there and some of it, you could see it had been mass produced and just bought in. It wasn't made in a workshop in someone's house. No. And it was expensive. Yeah, of course it was. And you know, I could tell that it just been imported in and people were pretending they made it, which really annoys me. But anyway. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, it is. It, it, it is. It, that must be really frustrating. It is frustrating, obviously. but you can tell. So if you're really wanting something artisan, you know where to go. Don't you? That's true. That's very true. OK, now, which one next? Should we do the pearl kit set? Yeah, because this is this is super. You know, if you just want something, look, Al, I'm not going to give you the whole gemstone. I'm not going to give the whole talk about the whole gemstone, the history and all of that. Pearls are pearls. We know that pearls, literally timeless. You can get faux, you can get plastic, you can get glass pearls. These are none of those. They are genuine cultured pearls and they're beautiful. Now, super quick makes. Even if I was just to take one, one and put them on each of these lever backs, Lever backs. We don't see lever backs very often. We don't. I like these because they've got that extra security. Like my mum's earrings were always slipping out of her ear. She had like floppy earlobes, if that's the thing. Oh, bless her. But they were really soft. And so oh. she used these because it stopped her earrings yeah, falling yeah. out. You say that, it's a conversation I had with one of my neighbours as well. She said she does, She can't wear studs because her earlobe's too fleshy. Yeah, that's it. And it just... Yeah. 
slips out. I yeah. used to go, Mum, you haven't lost more earrings. <laughs> I know. Whereas you leave it back, so you've kind of, it's like a key in the door, isn't it? Yeah. Um, so, right, straight away, gold-plated 925 sterling silver. You've got five pairs of lever backs right. here you pay a premium for lever backs and it's the whole engineering isn't it it's the whole engineering of it it's effectively something that closes on itself you've got like a door that that shuts at the back of the lobe itself gives you that added peace of mind also i i always think you can load lever backs up that little bit more than a classic shepherd hook and um, because they're less likely to tilt forward true gravity true 29 pounds and 99 pence for fifth avenue and we're still all do it. Should we melt the phone lines again? How many have we got then, Tom? 80. Oh, it's not enough, is it? Thirty second clock. I would just put one. Did you just put well, I just I put one put these are so usable and whatever you want them for whether you're giving them as gifts whether you're wearing them yourself whether you're selling them in your stall um you know at your christmas fairs or your artisan fairs or in your online shops just put one on a head pin on these earrings or a little length of chain and one on the bottom and it's just people are going to want them yeah if you don't know someone's style just give them pearl earrings or a, a pearl simple pe pearl drop pen who yeah. doesn't like that and i'm sure there will be someone but generally everyone loves pearls for the strand of cultured pearls, we absolutely should not be fourteen ninety nine. They're a really good size for earrings as well. Yeah, because they're not too tiddly. No, and they're not too huge either. Oh my goodness oh, that's, me! That's really good. So that means if we do your, if we take your inspiration, one single pearl, you'd probably have leftovers as well, wouldn't you? You would, yeah. So I mean, I mean, that you, you're making ten pairs of earrings. Sorry, five pairs of earrings. Yeah. For how much? For fourteen ninety nine, and they're gold plated sterling silver and yes. pearls. Three so pounds each. You could charge that for one pair of earrings. One and pair. That would be good. And I bet they would fly because they are so commercial. Yeah. Super duper commercial. Now we had a hundred of these available. They are absolutely flying. Make sure you do check them out. Well done. Absolute naughty deals. Naughty naughty deals. Um, what are you going to uh, demo? So I'm just going to show you um, with these grandidiorites. Oh, look you, at that one. They come with this <gasps> lovely little pin. Now I have used some wire to wrap. You know the earrings that you saw before. Yeah. Um, let me try and keep that little one still there. So, but if you don't want to use wire or you don't have wire, use what's in the kit. So you've got these head pins. So obviously they're drilled that way. So just to show you how to do that, because a lot of jewelry makers are used to your gemstones being drilled that way and they get a bit sort of, unless they're putting those together in a row, they, they get a little bit flustered. So this is a lovely, simple way of doing it, utilizing your um, ball pin. And also so that you can see this little, this little end piece because I'm all about the precious metal isn't the gold and grand are lovely together it's just like a match made in heaven okay so what you're going to do is bring my bead down sort of almost to the end there okay am I in frame yes I am okay so I'm going to bring my bead down to the end and then I'm going to use my long bits and that's going to be the part that I'm going to make the earring finding out of so I'm just going to you can either do this with your fingers or with your pliers. So that I've taken a little bend so that my wire has gone that way. And then I'm going to do the same with this end. But this end is a shorter end, of course. And that wants to be shorter. And you'll see why in a moment. So I'm then going to take this end and take it up as well. So sort of what we've made, I'll get my fingers out of the way in a moment, is a little, a little triangle there. Can you see? So then what all I want to do now is take this part and flip it up because that's going to be what I'm going to use for my earring wire or for making my loop. And I want this little ball here to be sort of a feature because it's on there. So we might as well use it as a feature. So all I'm going to do is take my round nose pliers and I'm just going to flip it around the corner. <laughs> that's a technical term, isn't it? Let's flip it around the corner so that I'm going to take it over that head pin and flip it 
around the front. So I've done two things here. I've secured this little grandidiorite in place, but I've also used my head pin instead of having to use any wire. So if you've got this kit, this is literally what you get in the kit. And I've also utilized the little ball on the end so that it looks like that maybe you've soldered a little, a little ball on there. And then you're free to do whatever you want with your fastening. So let's say we're gonna do a wrap loop. So I'm just going to, I don't want a large one if it's an earring. So I'm just going to take my pliers just above that, leave a space there because I want to use as much of this precious metal wire as I can. So I'm going to just pop that over the top. Okay, so that you've got sort of quite a decent size loop because what I'm going to do is I'm going to thread it onto this little earring finding which you do get in with the kit. So you can just open that and thread it on. So just be mindful that that wants to be able to fit onto there. And then I'm just going to hold my little loop with my pliers. You can hold it with your fingers if you prefer. And then I'm just going to wrap that pin around. Now before I continue the wrap, I usually straighten the, everything up so that I'm happy. And then I'm going to just gently wind this pin around and I've got the room here whereas I might have actually trimmed that off before on a base metal finding I want to utilize all of this because it's precious metal now remember anything that you cut off can go in your precious metal pot because you don't want to get rid of that because it's you've got sterling silver under there so you can make um, your little granulation balls or something out of your precious metal off cut so I'm just going to take that off so that leaves you a really cute, I mean, that could be a pendant. So you've got your grandid, you're right. You've used your pin for the precious metal. And then I'm just going to open my earring finding. And I did that the same way on the other ones, like sort of the wishbone ones. And then I'm just going to pop that one on there and do it up so that what you actually get is this earring with your little grandidiorite, but you've utilized all of your precious metal there. And I know that that's quite a plain earring, but I think it's one that is really wearable, that, and you don't need to do much when you're dealing with gemstones like this and precious metal. Now, the other way that you can do it, obviously, um, that I used on the chain earrings, and I'll pop this down on my mat so that you can see it, is to actually use wire and get this, I really like this effect. It's sort of like, you just take your wire around, it gives it that kind of artisan organic effect. I'd never like my jewelry to look too like a machine's made it. I like it to look like it's had some love put into it. So again, I'm gonna show you how you can wrap using wire in the same way. And if you look at the earrings there, the two earrings that um, you're seeing either side of the chain have been made in exactly the same technique that I just showed you, like utilizing that precious metal in the kit. Whereas you might sometimes think, oh, well, I, I don't have to use those. When you've got precious metal in the kit, use it. Think of ways, ways to use it. Of course, if you've got other ideas, you can pop that in your, in your precious metal head pin. Um, storage. So with this, I'm going to take um, the larger one of my grandidiorites. This is the biggest one I got on a strand and it's a meaty one. <laughs> you could definitely get a pendant out of that. I'll message ladies well. Say thanks to Tom for doing great deals for us. I would like to know when you are doing the fantastic pearls and that's from Sally. Oh, Sally, we're going to be doing these in the next hour. So just after the deal of the day. Um, what a trooper you are. Sorry after, for abandoning you that's momentarily. Okay. That's okay. Um, yeah, loads of love for your beautiful jewellery as always, Debbie. Um, hi, Debbie. How do you Hello. wear the hoop earrings? You just... Uh, you open these and like you put this part sorry I'm taking it out of shot you yeah. put that part through your ear yeah um but my my ear lobes don't like to do that so let me find some other earrings to show you what else you can do with them they are there like, excuse me I'm just going to rearrange everything you've made loads of beautiful earrings um if I hold these my ears don't like that sticky up bit to go through okay okay so but my daughter can get them in no problem so you can do it like that but I did this with them. I used them in a completely different way. Oh, lovely, like a so tray of life. What I did was I just wrapped, um, this is the jade, and then I actually wrapped the two sides together and then I put a shepherd's hook on. So think outside the, the box. If you want them as hoops, they can go through, um, through your ears like that. They don't go through everyone's ears, then mine don't like it. Mm. Um, or you can do it like, like that. It's a good question. I never actually thought about that because of the angles of it, I guess. Yeah, my daughter just kind of goes like that and it goes in. Oh, <laughs> I, yeah, no, I think I'd probably struggle with those as well. Uh, so maybe use them actually as a, um, like, yeah. Like that. 
like a the, the drop almost. Yeah. That's a great yeah. point. So yeah, I just, so if I just quickly Yeah, no, quickly, carry on. Um I just pop in some wire. And I'm doing exactly the same um, as, as I did before as far as wrapping it, but I'm leaving a much longer strand here. Now, this doesn't have to be super neat because you're going to cover it up. So you're just going to wrap that around for security there. And then you can actually get rid of that excess tail. Where are my cutters? Here they are. And then you're going to wrap your loop here. And you're going to actually use all of this excess wire to make that pretty detail. So I'm wrapping the loop. I'm going to, once again, hold the loop with my pliers. Mm -hmm. And then you wrap and you just keep going, keep going, keep going. And you'll find that you'll get to a point where you hit the top of the gemstone and it kind of stops that gemstone moving. No. And it, you just keep going, keep going, keep going until, I'd usually be leaning over this, but you get the idea, until it hits the top of the gemstone. Then it's completely up to you if you want to keep going with that or trim it off. Sometimes I make a little right angle and like that, and I'll use a little twirl to make a sort of a little oh, bit nice. of detail. And then you can add it to... Um, you know, your chain or whatever you're, you're making. And that's the way to wrap one of those little stones. But as I say, use your precious metal findings because you've got them in there and that will mm. add value every time. Mm, so, you know, that's what I did with this. But gorgeous kits. Um, and really, amazing prices. Really good, yeah. Absolutely. Thank you, Debbie. You're welcome. So, so much. Um, well done, everybody. Make sure you do check out your baskets. Now, we've got a cheeky little star by that we can drop into the top of this hour ahead of your deal of the day. All about beautiful tourmaline oh my goodness have you been spoilt with some rare gemstones today um well absolutely this next opportunity and there are did you say 11 there are 11 of these left that's it once these are gone these are absolutely gone because if you speak to any collector of gemstones be that from the east or from the west i think every single one of those collectors will say to own a jadeite bangle in its natural form really is the pinnacle of rarity. Up next. Welcome back. Sorry, I'm just literally flicking through um, because yeah um the rarity of this gemstone be it of any color to be honest we have already all oh, we've said about it. we've had, had had special shows talking about how that window of opportunity is absolutely closing and we are very privileged in the sense that as um as a company uh gemporia have a few different suppliers that we've been able to go direct to we've got fantastic relationships you know little things like you know we supported a lot of our um a, a lot of our suppliers over the course of the pandemic which has obviously meant that that relationship has only got stronger um which is wonderful and and also it gives it heartwarming, I suppose, to actually be able to, um, to, to, to say that. Because many jewellery gemstone businesses couldn't during the pandemic. It was a case of literally closed, as the whole world did. Uh, we are slightly unique in the sense that we, are, we broadcast into your homes. Now, but that window of opportunity is closing. So the Hong Kong Trade Fair, which is pure and simply the only reason why we got hold of Jade at any quantity, um, because originally in 2019, the Hong Kong uh, Trade Fair closed, where 90% of all, sorry, all Jade dealers will do 90% of their business at, in one week. Um, and unfortunately, that didn't go ahead. Now, there are other avenues, and those avenues are us here at Jewelry Maker. Um, so suppliers like Bernard, who I'm about to show you, um, he basically was there. He was on the docks. He was waiting. Sally Hure is another, exa uh, another example. They were there on the docks waiting um, to go. They didn't, they didn't cancel it. They postponed it for oh. many, many me weeks, which meant that they kept incurring costs as their shipments were literally sat um, in Hong Kong. Anyway... To cut a long story short, the Hong Kong uh, trade show is 
not cancelled this year. However, it's not in Hong Kong. Um, yeah, because they're still uh, isolating in that area. So what they've actually said is, right, fine, we'll move it. We'll move it. But that is a negative for us because unfortunately that window of op opportunity is closing even faster. And look, this is Bernard. He spoke to us some time ago about these very opportunities. Can we show this? Unfortunately, Dave, as you know, normal business has resumed in China and as a result, our JDI offering has to be withdrawn. It was fun whilst it lasted and we appreciate the support of Gemporia throughout 2020. Your long lasting friendship really means the world to us. As a, uh, as a showing of good faith, if there is any of the JDI you wish to return, um, we would be more than happy to take delivery as we are currently going through a shortage of Taipei material in a uh, as the situation in Burma becomes more and more uncertain. We'd be happy to pay a premium on white, multicolor and green jade and can arrange a private courier service. Can you imagine, um, I mean, we love Bernard here across the Gemporia partnership, but we said, no, thanks, Bernard, we'll keep <laughs> hold of it. Thank you very yeah. much. It was a nice try, wasn't it? But in particular, he specifies white and colored jadeite um, because literally we have, we have, uh, well, the world doesn't offer a huge quantity of your fancy colour jadeites. I'm not going to get too much into the skin and everything, but it's the smallest quantity if you're lucky enough to see it. And check out these kind of prices. I'm just going to uh, sort of um, flick through. Well, here we go. Look at this jadeite bangle. This is imperial jadeite, which many are actually saying certainly... Uh, um, uh, Pillar and Stone over in uh, in Tucson this year were actually saying, I can get Imperial Jade. What I can't get is your natural color, uh, your fancy colors. I can't get the white. I can't get the reds because of the rarity. Look at the price though. That's a 727% increase compared to the previous year of Jadeite. Yeah. That's uh, mind boggling. Uh, yeah, I've never seen an increase in gemstones quite like that. Investors buy pink or red diamonds with a view to uh, of resale and they have been amply rewarded with a higher return. Uh, than equity markets. This translates to a yield of over 10% each year or 500% over the past 20 years. But let's just go back. What was that? 727%. So it's absolutely annihilating your, your fancy colored diamonds in terms of year over year. And they said just a few moments, moments ago, it took 20 years to get that price increase with diamonds. Um, I'm just going to flick through these very quickly. There we go. Argyle diamonds shooting up. But actually, like I said, it, it, collectors are paying millions for jadeite. Why is it becoming more and more valuable? New York Times are, rock, uh, are actually in Forbes are talking about the skyrocketing prices. Um, here we go. People talking about the trends of going up. The soaring price of jade. There we go. Um, it's, it's absolutely everywhere. Why can't I flip forward anymore? No, the, I want to go to the white ones. Where was that? Let me flip. Here we go. Here we go. Icy heart uh, in the jade pot. A flawless imperial teapot and cover set. And here it is. Wow. Look at this. Superbly articulated from pristine white stones. Would you say that's pristine white? No. No, normally. Um, it's beautiful, don't get me wrong, but it's not pristine white. Um, icy white jade. Would you say that's pure no. white? No. It's got a beautiful lavender. But what do they, what do they focus on? The white or the lavender? Yeah. They focus on the white. Look at the price as well that it's sold for. 275,000 Hong Kong dollars. Really? Yeah. At auction. Wow. One single bangle. Again, remember, it's got beautiful translucency. The translucency of that is on another level. It really, really is. But let's show you the translucency on ours. I don't know if we can perhaps just dim the lights ever so slightly here in the studio. Look, there's that same translucency that we absolutely aspire to purchase. This is literally carved out of one solid piece of jadeite. Again, remember these fancy colors, which anything other than green is referred to as a fancy color jadeite. Um, it is incredibly rare. So to be able to actually carve um, a solid white bangle, what? a solid white bangle of this Taipei material, this, this is not... I can't get over that. I've not seen one in real, life, in real life. I've it's seen, amazing, isn't I've it? I've seen on Susie's shows through the TV, but not in real life. It's mental, isn't it? Wow. Absolutely mental. 
So we know we are not going to be able to continue to bring you jadeite, particularly in your ice white colours. Again, Pillar and Stone said at Tucson, we're having to diversify because we know. Um, and by the way, just to, your graphics will say nephrite. In the East, they don't differentiate between the two. Jade is jade, whether it's nephrite or jadeite. It doesn't make any difference. And actually, if I can flick forward again... Uh, here we go. I'm flicking backwards, aren't I? Look at this. White Dior, uh, Dior White Jade. Look at that. That's beautiful, isn't it? Yeah. Five and a half thousand Ooh. pounds. Look at this. A pair of ice, icy jade uh, and diamond earrings. Look at that. Look at the price tag. Wow. Yeah, up to 11 grand. Um, and then you've got your red jade. I, I'll come back to this in a few moments time. But look at the prices that you're actually seeing for beautiful, fancy color jadeite. A bangle is, again, the echelon of rarity because you need quite, for, uh, quite literally so many of it, uh, so much carrot weight. Lots of you already choosing to uh, confirm. Well done. This is last chance saloon. I can't see any fairer than that. And it is literally all that. You can't cut anything out of this part no. in the center. That's all wasted. Yeah. So that's why a bangle is so expensive. It's a huge amount of solid jade. If we were to stop at 999, that would be absolutely incredible. Yeah. This is a one-time, last chance saloon opportunity, pure white color. I have 10 chances remaining, that's it. Many of us, myself included, have bought this again I, it's, it's, un, it's under lock and key. I know that our lovely Susie would say wear it, and she said that to me as well. But for me, this is under lock and key. Mm. I'm, I'm not going to wear this. So you're keeping it for, for the, girls. the value. For They'll the never be able to buy jade. No, they won't. <laughs> A jade bangle. I've done that through the years. I've got some beautiful pieces of tanzanite and other bits and pieces that I've just put in the drawer. Yeah. No, I have no intention yeah. of, uh, of wearing it myself. I've bought this for the girls. Because I don't think I'm being too extreme when I say this. In many places, you can buy a house for the price of... Well, look at the prices we just saw then for that jadeite bangle. Or those jadeite carvings. It's the price of a house yeah. or, a, or a car at very least. We're offering you that opportunity at £399 or just £79. Amazing. Oh, you, yeah, 270, I have this bangle, it's beautiful. Oh, so good, I kicked the bin over, look. Oh, my goodness. Derbyshire, well done. What a legacy piece. There are literally six of these left within the vault. Once they're gone, they're gone. Um, well done to you, Carol, Emma, Cheryl. I've got Suzanne, Janet, new customer. Nottinghamshire's there as well. London getting involved. There are five of them left in the world. I mean, you've got... You've got, you've got, when we, we've shown you, remember that uh, diagram that Dave's shown you, which literally almost simplifies it, uh, simplifies a, a jadeite boulder. So you use an apple as an, uh, as an example. If you were to bite into an apple, the flesh is the green jadeite. Rare, very, very rare, very valuable, very, very beautiful. But the skin is where you get these fancy colors. It's where you get your beautiful reds. It's where you get your lavenders. It's where you get your pure whites. That is what, like I said, Pillar and Stone have said, we're having to diversify because we do not have any source. Remember Burma, uh, we're not sourcing jadeite from Burma at the moment with the current situation over there. You're purchasing this um, from basically older, uh, from old mine jadeite is what they actually refer to it at, as, oh my goodness me, they're gonna have to diversify. They've actually said into, funnily enough, the likes of your spinel and your tourmalines, when the whole stand in, in Tucson was all about jadeite. Astonishing that we can bring this to you at an absolutely amazing 399. I've got one left. Bristol, Durham, Suzanne, Lynn, um, Yorkshire, Janet, Carol, Emma, Cheryl. I, I've still got people there, so good luck to you all. What an opportunity, what an achievement. Whether you choose to wear it like our lovely Susie or whether you choose to put it into, uh, into a safe like I've done. Um, amazing. Check out.
There might still be one left, if at the very least, definitely wish list it if you uh, have your heart set on owning that. But do not go anywhere because we still have so much to bring you. We've got these amazing South Sea pearls. It's a complete necklace. It's a Charlie Barron piece coming up in the next hour. But also the most beautifully colourful deal of the day. Thank you, Debbie. Gorgeous, You're gorgeous welcome. kits and demonstrations. What lovely things we've had today. Uh, and your masterclass. I, oh, I some of the donut earrings that we you were showing there it's a bit like uh, the it is actually yeah we'll keep that actually because that'd be perfect for the yeah, master class too like that. don't go anywhere lovely jewelry makers well done well done you we'll be back after this that calls are free from a UK landline and our phone lines are open 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Stay interactive with Jewelry Maker by texting the studio during our live hours of 8 till 5. Start your message with JM Studio and send it to 78070. Jewelry Maker, create, wear, share. It's easy to stay in touch with Jewelry Maker. You can like our Facebook page and join our community of over 69,000 people. You can follow us on Twitter and tweet us your messages and opinions. You can also find us on Instagram and even TikTok. Make sure you get involved and stay up to date with Jewelry Maker. Here at Jewelry Maker, we're always looking ways to make your shopping experience better. That's why on certain items, we've got split pay where you can spread the cost over two, three or four months at no extra cost to you. So you can buy your way with split pay. Jewelry makers, did you know that you can purchase as many times as you like throughout the day and you'll only be charged one postage and packaging fee? No matter the size, weight or quantity of your order, how many times you check out that day, we will still only charge you that single PMP. Keep things simple on Jewelry Maker. Hi guys, I'm looking forward to you guys joining me for what we are billing as Super Saturday and the most exciting uh, collection or launch that we have ever had. It is of course the legendary Olmec Jade, a jadeite that has captivated civilizations for 3,000 years and was lost for, for 500 years. They have finally rediscovered these incredible mines and we are thrilled to offer you the rarest jadeite in the world. Our friendly and knowledgeable help team are available 24 hours a day, 365 days a year. If you have a question or query, contact us on 0800 644 655 and press option 2. Alternatively, you can email or drop us a direct message on our Facebook page. Jewelry Maker, happy to help. with Jewelry Maker couldn't be easier. Here's a quick overview of how to get involved. When you see a product you like and you want to purchase, you will see the graphics appear on the screen. You'll see the item code and a starting price. As time goes on, you'll see the price drop. And as viewers call in and customers add it to their baskets online, you'll also see the quantity decrease too. No matter at what point you order, everybody pays the final low price. And there's only one PMP charge on everything you purchase throughout the day. We offer you a 30-day money-back guarantee, so there's no risk whether you're purchasing for the first time or any time. Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker.
been spoiled this morning, haven't we? Oh. Should we just, should we just, uh... Granted, you're right. Jadeite. Bangle jadeite. Yeah. And now... And now... Oh, my goodness me, South Sea pearls. <sighs> I know, I swoon every time I see a South Sea. Literally, you can't help but just... <sighs> Luxurious, aren't they? They really are. And I, I um, listen. I, I spent a few hours last night. I, I do every day, obviously. When, um, when I'm the night before, when I'm prepping for a show, uh, what could probably be condensed <laughs> to maybe an hour or so. I always kind of lose myself in the beautiful gemstones. And I found an article. And I'll be honest, this is very wordy. Um, so much so, I actually read it to my husband last night, and he said, "Wow." I, did, I never knew that. So I figure if, if my husband could be interested, then I, and I hope you will be too. But it is wordy, and I will read through it as fast as I possibly can, but it really does perfectly describe why South Seas really are the creme, and they use that word actually, Adam, creme de la creme in the pearl world. The cream of the crop, the finest, the echelon of rarity in your salt uh, salt water pearls and i found this article and it's it, it's actually written by not you know by a, an actual jewelry house that supplies south sea pearls mm -hmm. um and i tell you what it is absolutely beautifully worded but it asks the questions and that's literally what i research why are south sea pearls so valuable mm. when we know that culturing pearls is something <laughs> oh, check everybody's okay everyone okay yeah, cool. Uh, we know that we know that cultured pearls is achievable in freshwater and in salt water. But why are South Sea pearls as expensive as they are? Um, well, let's have a little flick through this article. And I'll read it as fast as I possibly can. Can I have the clicker? I know. I want to know the answer to this question. She says, putting her glasses on. Yeah. Well, you'll. No. <laughs> oh, other way. Other way. Well, here we go. One of the most frequently asked questions about pearls is why South Sea pearls are so valuable. There are many reasons. And just like diamonds or gemstones, there are several factors that affect the quality and value of pearls in general. Fine South Sea pearls are, I can never say this word, superlative, are the superlative pearls. Superlative. Superlative, oh, thank superlative. you. Superlative. Su I see what you did there. <laughs> uh, the creme de la creme of pearls, the most coveted and sought after of all cultivated pearls in the world. They are unique in that they exhibit very high levels of each of the value factors. That's, of course, oh. the... Uh, the um, what do I always talk, call it? The five virtues. Size, shape, luster, nacre, thickness, surface, cleanliness, and also your rarity. Pearls are one of the only gems in the world formed inside a living organism. Um, how precious or valuable these pearls are is often defined by the delicate conditions of the ocean environment in which the oysters live. To sustain the, the oyster and to keep them healthy whilst the pearls are developing, pearl farmers must keep the ocean waters pure and clean, no matter the cost, ensuring that the oceans have access to their natural, uh, sorry, the oysters have access to their natural food supply. These environmental conditions naturally contribute to the uh, affirmation factors that affect the value of the pearl. Can you imagine that, firstly? How do you keep the sea completely clean? Exactly, exactly. Um, a great deal of time is the answer. Effort and precision is involved in cultivating South Sea pearls. And because each pearl is unique, the process of matching the pearls to form a strand, for example, can take even more time and requires extensive expertise. So when you put all these factors together, you begin to realise what a miracle it is just to be able to hold a strand of South Sea pearls in your hand. Wow. Yeah, I mean, we, um, why do I feel like, yeah, no, I didn't, sorry. Um, we, what, you know, when we're looking at something, I mean, look at that, they're pristine. Yeah, they, they are just. Absolutely oh. pristine. It is the best of the best. And it's not just the round pearls anymore. You notice by in, in, that, in that marketing campaign, she's actually got a really, uh, there's a Baroque ring as well. So it's not just about your perfect round shapes. 
The size of South Sea pearls are the largest amongst uh, nacreous pearls being uh, because they grow in the largest oyster, uh, the Pinctada maxima. The oyster is one of the more sensitive mollusks. I always call it the Mariah Carey of the, uh, <laughs> of the uh, uh, mollusk world um, and requires pristine ocean conditions to thrive. Uh, it also has a longer gestation period for the pearls. Because of its uh, naturally larger size, it, al it allows a larger pearl to form over time. South Sea pearls develop over many years, typically from about three to ten years. Whoa. Each one. And each oyster will, will literally form one. You go to freshwater pearls... They will house 10, 20. The size of your, uh, uh, of the Maxima oyster is huge in comparison, but it will literally hold one South Sea pearl. The longer the pearls are left inside the oyster to, oyster to continue uh, developing, the larger those, those pearls become. Large pearls, all other factors being equal, usually command higher prices. I guess that is fairly obvious. Yeah. So something of this is colossal. Luster. South Sea pearls have a thicker nacre. Year after year, as the oyster continues to wrap the pearl in nacre, that thicker nacre creates more luster in the pearl. You should be able to almost mirror yourself in the luster you uh, to know what the really fabulous South Sea pearl is, says Christina Lang, president and CEO, and that's the name of this jewelry house, by the way. The, the higher the luster, the more valuable the pearl is, and the thicker the nacre, the greater the long-term value of the pearl because it will wear over time again i think that's fairly obvious yeah. shaping we have to consider this i'm not going to read all that but i think we all know round pearls um, are the most highly prized but baroques which are non-rounds which is exactly what this are uh, this is right now can also be highly sought after um, as they are embraced for their beauty of their organic shape uh, matching pearls to form a strand or a pair of earrings can be incredibly time consuming and often requires years of collecting or saving pearls before they can be strung by professionals. The process and the amount of time it takes to match a gem strand is remarkable. It is a great investment of patience, expertise and passion because the pearls must be matched according to all of the value factors. The experts must match pearls with higher similar sizes, shapes, nacre thickness, luster, surface cleanliness and colour. Some white pearls are very white and others have natural undertones of beautiful champagnes and hues. So all of those factors, it's not as simple as just going, oh, that one's round. You know, um, they have to all match. Surface cleanliness, we're basically talking about the skin of the, oik, of the uh, pearl, sorry. Um, um, that's the nacre, basically, you want it to be um, Perfection, uh, um, imperfection free, what I mean by that is blemishes or, uh, or sort of nicks within the actual pearl itself. However, like I said, Baroque pearls, they have natural undulations mm. and we're really embracing that at the moment. I love this last paragraph um, and, and I trust, I, I, I hope you do as much as me, a meaningful and lasting gift. When you begin to realise what a genuine miracle of nature these magnificent pearls really are, the question becomes, not why are they so valuable, but rather why doesn't everyone I love have them? South Sea pearls make extraordinar extraordinarily meaningful gifts because of the time, efforts and attention that went into their creation, as well as into your thoughtful sourcing. It's beautiful, isn't it? It's absolutely beautiful. Last, last, fine, and closing sentence. This is not, these aren't my words. This is literally from um, an amazing South Sea Pearl uh, saucer. And their vice president actually say, says, and I love this one, pearls are the only gemstone that show off the person instead of the person showing off the gem. 
Wow. I know. Yeah. I mean, it's just beautiful, isn't it? Um, hello to you, Sally. I have some pills from Charlie Barron on your show. And, and I can only say, wow, they are worth every penny. I totally agree with you, my darling. You know, what we get hold of South Sea Pearls, um, we are incredibly blessed and privileged uh, to be able to uh, to achieve. Because frankly, I, I, I sold South Sea Pearls and the jewelers that I started my, my uh, professional career as and they were all five figures that's no they were all tens of thousands but of pounds. that's what you'd expect like you look go into any boutique jeweler and the pearls are in their hundreds as they should be mm -hmm. um, you know because pearls of this quality are something that you think you could never aspire to because they're thousands of pounds but yet this is where I don't know what this is going to so well I wish I had more okay there is one one negative Unfortunately, remind me, sorry, Tom. There are six of these available in the world. Okay, wow. These are the pearls that I was wearing just a few moments ago. Look at that luster. Remember what we said in that article, mirror-like. You should almost be able to see yourself in your pearls. Totally natural. So magical. I mean, I know I keep going on about magical, but I think jewellery needs to be magical. And this is a proper sort of Audrey Hepburn piece, a piece mm -hmm. that the ultimate gift a big birthday an anniversary a christmas present absolutely you no know, it's the ultimate gift you just keep wearing them taking them out and pass them down won't you through generations well look at look at the pearls on your screens right now and look at this this is literally a photograph from that article that i was just reading yeah. look at that mirror like luster literally it, it, that's what you can distinguish a south sea pearl yeah. straight away can't you yeah. um not just because of the size but because of that amazing mirror like luster Luster, but they are expensive yeah maybe not today <laughs> ours does stand toe to toe i agree different shape this is round oh in fact this would look lovely with their ring wouldn't it but these are not a five figure price tag that you would pay at that place by the way you would absolutely pay use your split pay if need be Use that four monthly payment, 0% interest, and know that what you are getting, even if we were to stop here, is, a sign is, is huge. It's a huge saving. It is a complete necklace. If you want to destrand this, you absolutely can. I know you are jewellery makers and you have skills to create your, your, uh, your own unique one-of-a-kind pieces. But it is a complete necklace. Um, I'd be tempted to knot them. I would be tempted... Oh, no, what am I talking about? They are already knotted. But... Or maybe, I don't know, it's up to you. I mean, it's absolutely beautiful, isn't it? There's that graduation that you can see. There's that beautiful sterling silver bullet clasp. I have just six available opportunities for you all today. Um, it doesn't get any finer than South Sea pearls. You know, you can get your freshwater pearls, and there's nothing wrong with freshwater pearls, but they are a completely different price point. You've got to remember, uh, through the, throughout the uh, that... That, that PowerPoint that I was just showing you, we're talking about the most diva-ish of all oysters. You can get this today for three... That's madness. It's absolute madness. You can get South Sea Pearls home for £100. That's... It's madness. Shall I put it up to the neckline again? Yeah. Oh, I mean, look how easy these are to put on. Davinia, you've just said about, uh, about Charlie Barron's uh, bullet class. You know, literally, watch. Done. Done. Pearls need to be worn, don't they? They do. They look so much better on the skin, uh, against the skin. Yeah. So what was it that said? I'll flick through. The fact, it was one of the closing, uh, closing paragraphs. When you begin to realise what a genuine miracle of nature these magnificent pearls really are, the question becomes not why are they valuable, but rather why doesn't everyone I love have them? So pearls make an extraordinarily meaningful gift because of the time, effort and attention that went into creating as well as into your thoughtful sourcing. That wasn't the sentence, was it? We were talking about... Sorry. 
Here we go. Pearls are the only gem that show off the person instead of the person showing off the gemstone. I wholeheartedly agree with that, jewellery makers. There were six of these available. Um, if you don't, I'm definitely all over this opportunity. There's two of them left within the vault. Stay where you are on those phone lines to grab hold of this opportunity. Again, it's not going to take you long to do price comparisons. Please remember your five virtues. Please remember that you can't just com you cannot compare a South Sea pearl with a freshwater pearl. It's, it's, you, that's like, I don't know, that's like comparing a Ferrari with my car. It, you, you, know, it's, you can't do it. They are worlds, worlds apart. Yeah, they are, and you just need to see them to see that, you know, to get them into your hands. Oh, they're so beautiful. They really are. Well done, collectors and connoisseurs. I'm tempted to get this. If, there's a, if that one still is available, I might be joining you on this opportunity because that is just amazing it's an epic necklace uh, oh totally <laughs> now i still have we're going to stay in the wonderful world of pearls i've i've brought these to it how many times once once um well i'm just going to share with you all i'm going to uh share with you all my reaction when i first saw this next strand so again, pearls, there's, there's so many different factors that, that we were, dis uh, and I don't want, yeah, this is going to be a big reveal because in terms of, if we just step outside of your Tahitian and your South Sea and your Akoya pearls for a second, this is one of the finest strands I have ever had the privilege of bringing to air. Wow, it is beautiful. Have you ever, it's insane, oh, isn't yes. it? The fact that those colours are real and there are, are natural and there are yeah natural different colors that i can see coming off of every single one i've said this multiple times and i'll say it again from a harvest of ten thousand pearls less than 10 will be naturally metallic honestly have you ever seen it look at the look, look up here purple pistachio greens papaya colors all down to those beautiful, clever mollusks that created the consummate beauty of a natural pearl. I, I, I've had the privilege and I've been surrounded by, totally agree with you, Tom, that's what I said. There are, there are two strands that spring to mind. One I actually bought, cost me £799, but it was a big investment for me and I had to ask my husband's permission for it as well, but I couldn't stop thinking about it. That and this. These, those two, I literally are mind-bogglingly perfect. It's the, for me, it's the colours and it's how they catch the light and become another colour. I mean, again, the lights are just bleaching that out. I mean, what I'm seeing with my eyes are like... 50 times better than what I'm seeing on the monitor in front of me. They just, I mean, there's one here that I just can't get over. <laughs> I know. Well, let's, let's, I side. tell you what, I tell you what. You see the one I mean? It's just, what, I mean, what colour is that? It's magical. It is magical. Absolutely magical. These are the pearls that the likes of Susie talks about selling them for literally uh, selling them each. In fact, our, our suppliers have said to get strands of this quality, it's not impossible, but it is expensive. Oh, because okay. right now in the market, some of the biggest designers like uh, Yoko of London, for example, um, they're actually selling natural coloured pearls like this. And these are all natural. They're not dyed for tens of thousands of pounds. It's not me being, you know, I'm not exaggerating here in any way shape or form for rarity like this for quality like this for size like this they're a staggering 12 mil as a minimum you know they are five figures so our suppliers have said to us look yeah we can supply them to you but expect to have to dig pretty deep even if we were to stop at 99.99 you have a deal sorry nine uh, 990 yeah 999 we have an amazing deal. How many do we have? Ten available. I don't think there's going to be a single one of those remaining come the end of this opportunity. I don't, th I don't think they're going to be available 
for very long because I've just heard the price that these are going to. Get them insured. I, I say that because I know that it is, we'd never be able to source them at anywhere near the price point that you're going to achieve these for today. What an amazing opportunity. Please don't hesitate. Um, if you are looking for some of the most beautifully mesmeric, naturally colored metallic pearls of the bigger sizes, then it's on your screens right now. Um, I mean, we're blessed here. I think it's one of our greatest strengths here at Jewelry Maker is pearl buying. I think we have got some of the most insane quality of pearls um, on our screens they never hang around and we have lots of people who are messaging throughout the course of the show saying had this valued for x y and z this is the kind of thing that you could not put a quality a top quality clasp on and sell at a massive profit i know because literally that could be the price of one one of those pearls 379 pounds and that's on split pay so that really helps i think because you, yeah you're not finding it all at at once so if i went to a desert island you know i love my gemstones and they said you can only take one strand with you i take pearls yeah me too because i wear them all the time me too i wouldn't uh, have thought sorry i wouldn't have thought that you could get a strand like this for under like you said 9.99 so i thought maybe jewelry make a price 7.99 mm -hmm. so that's Oh, well, I've, I've shown you in the past, and I don't have the time to actually do it right now, but we, I've shown you in the past, when I was over at Tucson, there was literally a couple of pearl traders there because, unfortunately, we lost harvest during the mm. pandemic. And there was one box, almost, of naturally coloured pearls. They were not this size, by the way. And at wholesale, they were two and a half grand each. Two and a half grand. I've got seven of these available. We're at £379. Uh, we cannot go any lower. We literally cannot go a single penny lower than what is on your screens. Um, I get it's a considered purchase. Remember, use your 0% interest on your split pay. Get this home. Have it valued. I mean, that's the difference. Very few jewellers will be able to offer you this level of rarity. rarity. If they do, then I, I would guess it's going to be probably the high four figures, if not even the five figures, especially if they are uh, sort of topped off with an 18 karat gold clasp. I know our lovely Caroline is here. She spoke to me this morning. She was like 18 karat gold clasp. So yeah, I know. Because <laughs> I keep talking about it and it's literally strands like this. Literally strands like this. Look, at, look I'm going to blow your mind in a second. Check out, because we're, we're about to sell out on these. Look, that's a pistachio green. That's the one I'm talking about. That's it's one madness. It's blowing my mind. Oh, I think this is beautiful. I really... Would you pay £379 for that one on its own? Yeah. I mean, Me too. If, if you look on websites, you'll see one of those on a, on a bale, on a chain for that. Yeah, exactly. One. One pearl. Oh, my goodness me. Which I think is good. I mean, I... It's not that. a bad price, no. no. It's not. If you're thinking, <gasps> you know, not as a maker, it's just a buyer... What Charlie used to, Charlie Barron puts these into individual rings. Oh, can you imagine? Yeah, I'm not surprised. I mean, they'd be absolutely amazing. Oh, look at this one. Look at that ripple. Imagine that in a ring. Oh. Yes, please. <laughs> you've got all the colours, haven't you? You've got your papayas, you've got your peaches, you've got your pistachios. They're all metallic. You've got gold overtones. Look at that, three chances remaining. Angela, Lancashire, Helen, North Yorkshire, Samantha, new customers, get these knotted, get them home, add them with a luxury, I'm always gonna say gold. I'm always, always gonna say gold when it's something of this premium grade. Um, and then have it valued. And then you'll realise just how mega that deal was. Well done, everybody. <laughs> It'll be like when you go to the Antiques Roadshow with the painting that your nan had and it's worth... Oh, know, yeah, you just that had, kind you, of feeling, won't you? You just had it chucked up in your loft, <laughs> you, go, look, you? Can you value these? Oh, I know. You go, oops, <laughs> oops. OK. Now, is this the one that... Now, some of the... South Sea Pearls, we spoke earlier on, in fact, you saw a strand in, 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 um, on the PowerPoint presentation that you get this pristine white colour, but one of the colours that um, South Sea offers is actually a natural gold, a natural gold colour. Now, if you've watched previously with the South Sea strand that I'm wearing right now, um, or, or your multicolours, we're going back to the salt waters on the coast of Australia to the most deverish mollusk of all. <laughs> Um, that produces one single South Sea pearl. If I was a mollusk, I'd, I'd produce only one pearl. You can imagine, yeah. And it would be just, yes. 
Perfect. Perfect. You can imagine if mollusks did a hair flick, it would be the it would be the South Sea, wouldn't it? <laughs> it would, yeah. But if you've ever, uh, you know, thought I love those, I absolutely love them. They're not within budget. Shall we make South Sea pearls as affordable as physically possible? Says no one ever. <laughs> Says no one ever. That article earlier on, I don't know if I could. If I go back to the beginning, sorry. Where's the beginning? If I go right the way back to the beginning, what's the opening question? Why are South Sea pearls so valuable? And here we are, starting at what? £299, and we are not stopping there. Yeah. You gasped them, Debbie. Sorry, I heard what he's going to do, and it just makes me want to put it on my wrist and see what it looks like as a bracelet. Would you like to? Can I? Yes, of course. I'm just going to pass this across to our lovely Debbie because she wants to experience the South Sea Pearls. <laughs> they are absolutely unbelievable. Remember all of your five virtues. We're going to make South Sea Pearls. It's the perfect size for a South Sea bracelet. No, so you would, well, I would, I would get... A brace, sorry, <laughs> just doing a bit of shopping. Uh, um, I would get a bracelet and I'd have two left for earrings. So, and I think I've got quite an average sized wrist. So you would get a bracelet and earrings out of this strand. Oh, We're not on. stopping there. We're not stopping. Okay, so you've heard what Tom has just said yeah, yeah. to us. Did you ever imagine that you would be able to own South Sea Pearls at that kind of price point? No. No, nor me. <laughs> Definitely not. Nor me. Start dialing through. Anybody who considers themselves a pearl lover, I think, would already be hypnotised by the beauty that you get within your South Sea Pearl. Um, now, yeah, they're known for the size. Seven to eight millimetres is a massive, massive size. But I love the fact that within this strand, you're actually getting not just your pristine whites, your are also getting those beautiful golden co uh, golden colours that are synonymous to um, your uh, your Australian South Sea. Hello, Bristol. A mollusk doing a hair flick is now in my brain. That is so sweet. Made me smile. It is. You can imagine it, though, can't you? <laughs> I'm a South Sea. The per I haven't got perfect conditions. They are Mariah Carey's, aren't they? That's how I imagine it. They're going to be the most deverish of all your mollusks. Um... <laughs> No. Make sure my sea is completely clean. Completely clean. They're the ones that would only drink, would, would literally brush their teeth in, 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 Perrier, in, water. Yeah, in Perrier water. <laughs> 99 dollars You can get this home for a mad £25. The final two chances up, uh, everybody. Make sure you check out Angela, Linda, Lancashire, Davinia, Hello to you, West Midlands, Caroline, another Angela, Heather, you're there as well. I mean, what an opportunity. There is just one. One remaining um, within the vault. You're purchasing genuine South Sea pearls. My experience up until my jewellery maker days was that, in fact, even beyond, because we only recently started doing South Sea, but um, was this was always a gemstone I would never be able to afford. Yeah, yes, of course. Never. Yeah. You think, oh, South, South Sea pearls, it's like owning a Rolls Royce or like it is, isn't a it? Ferrari or something. Or like a Bentley. That. Oh, yeah, a Bentley. Whilst you're wearing your South Sea pearls. Yeah, totally. It was never something I ever entertained owning. Um, but here we are, jewellery maker doing it again. Well done. Sold out. Congratulations, every single one of you. We've still got so much to bring you, including um, your deal of the day. Yeah, I, I know. Amazing. It's actually an hour of deal of the days. And we're talking about one of the rarest colours. Um, we've got beautiful natural blue tourmaline also we have one of my favorite strands of tourmalines that i've ever seen coming up in a few moments time but before we do let's stick with the ultra rare shall we and i'm just gonna jump backwards somewhat um with to jadeite now the jadeite that we have within our vault is all type a and um, we know that we will at some point have to bring you type b and c because it's literally not available when I look at this recording, firstly, you see the warm reds. You see the apple greens. I see spinach greens. This is the colors of jadeite. And if you were to uh, join Dave and uh, Jake at Pillar and Stone, let's show that. Sorry. Pillar and Stone in Tucson at the beginning of the year there we go. They're lovely little faces. Can you see that? Yeah. 
Um, this was this this uh, this was literally uh, the gentleman that we spoke about earlier on that said he's going to have to diversify into other gemstones because oh, unfortunately, that? and he, he's written he wrote that magazine about jade. He wrote about it and he says, I can no longer source um, the fancy colours, um, so I'm going to have to diversify into different gemstones. There's his lovely uh, wife as well on the right-hand side. And if you have a little flick through, you can see, um, look at that, really beautiful, what we call like high goo or donut shapes. Would you agree the, ter the quality that you're seeing there in terms of colour? It's lovely, don't get me wrong, but is it as, in as intense a green as what you're about to see in this strand? Look at that. Yeah, I, I'm with you on that, Stephen. Totally with you. How about these? £1,200. That's not the carving behind, by the way. That's the price of those donuts. Really? Yeah. That's the price. Look, I'll go back. Look, just peeking out. Oh, I see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the price of the donuts. Wow. $10,000 at trade. <coughs> $7,400. Wow. Sorry, pounds. What a beautiful for, piece of jewellery that was. Wasn't it just? Uh -huh. This is, uh, for jadeite, we are now at a point of no return. Today, Taipei jadeite is exclusively a top-tier investment gemstone. We have worked with the material for 30 years, and once this gem is gone, we can't afford to get back. In uh, So we are diversifying into tourmaline and spinel. There we go, I was right. Taipei jade is the most expensive gemstone in the world. And you're getting all the colours in this beautiful strand. 240 carats. Look at the... Oh, my goodness, this is bonkers. That's... I mean, that's stunning. If one of those donuts... Sorry, two donuts on Pillar and Stone um, at the beginning of this year, this very year, was $1,200. Can you imagine the price that something which included your wonderful natural type A reds would be? How many do I have available of these? Okay. What are you taking it to? That's a, that's a pretty exciting quantity for something that, uh, of this level of rarity. Type A, top tier investment stone, says Roland Schluss. They are huge. They're some of the biggest jadeites that we've had. This every time that I talk about uh, and, and and I know I get on a soapbox and I don't. I'm like honestly, I, I don't let go of things, do I? Sometimes, but. This is the kind of opportunity that I want you to have the courage to not put on 18 karat gold clasp and take to Christie's and Sotheby's. I want you to, because the, because the type A jadeite that I've seen there over the years, some of them are nowhere near in the same league as what you're looking at right now. They are a different gravy, if they're even graduated, by the way. I love the graduation. It's beautiful, isn't yeah, it? I really like it. You wouldn't overcomplicate this. No. Not it. High-end clasp. Even if we were to stop at 999, that would be exceptional. But that is not remotely close to what your closing deal is going to be. One thing I would be tempted to do, though, just because I think it's a real shame that the reds are right up here. So if you were to restrand it, they would almost be disappearing around the back of the neckline, wouldn't they? Yeah. So I would almost take those out, um, take those out and use them somewhere else. Use them, yeah, a pair of earrings would be absolutely beautiful, wouldn't they? Right, OK, Let's. it's time to start joining the phone. Lines. I can see you there already. Natural certified type A jadeite. You are not sourcing polymer impregnated. You're not sourcing dyed beyond all recognition jadeite. You are sourcing the pinnacle of rarity. In 53 seconds, it is going even lower. That's staggering than £299. Use your 0% interest split payments. Moira. Moira, Moira L, when are JM going to sell gold findings? Moira, I am so on that band. I'm literally, <laughs> I've been nagging and nagging and nagging. In the corridor this morning, I was talking about it. Uh, Caroline was like, gold, 18 karat gold findings, L. Did you hear it? You're in the car finding, yeah. I know, I do like, I've also spoke to the MD, Moira. Um, the MD is with me on, it might only be limited quantities, we might only do, they, they, uh, oh, I'm just going to say it, they've actually asked me to do like a collection in gold oh. of, of findings. Yes. That'd be nice, wouldn't it? Yeah? So, pencil is firmly, yeah, I'll keep it classy, I promise, I will. So on it, Moira, lovely, leave it with me.
This is the quality that needs uh, leads gold. £199.99. pence. That's a beautiful strand. It really is lovely. The it's the graduation, it. isn't it? It is the graduation. It's yeah, and, and the different shades, um, oh. you know, the different shades of the greens, and then you've got the other colours, and it just, I don't know, it's a very special, very beautiful. Look at me just taking my South Sea off just to put, put some Taipei jade <laughs> on. I'm the, I know I'm the luckiest girl in the world. Seriously, look at this. Oh my word, that level of translucency. Remember when it comes to jadeite, um, it is about colour, or you've got a selection of colours, including your russet reds and your spinach greens. You're talking at your doves, yeah, you've got your beautiful dove blues in here and the moss and snow and white, um, all the shades of jadeite. Then you've also got um, that beautiful translucency and texture. Remember, that texture should almost look like it is melting, like ice would do mm. this is on a different scale of quality um these have absolutely absolutely flown out the door but i've only got a handful of the remaining now um the deal of the day is coming up well there's been an hour of deal of the days to be honest i get that they are considered purchases use your split pay use your 30-day money back guarantee get these home fall in love with it get it insured if you can um and definitely valued now coming up something completely different i get that we've actually brought you some pretty high-end opportunities some a different price point that might not be for everyone well let's 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 bring it back to a more affordable um acquisition however that doesn't mean that you are downgrading the rarity in fact this is a fascinating gemstone uh, gemologically speaking we're going to step into the world of tourmaline <laughs> tourmaline it's definitely one of the coolest gemstones isn't it and also this is so on trend yes go on say what you said to me earlier on what did i say <laughs> i've said many things what i tell you what i'm talking about though like look oh yeah look at that recording like oh it's beautiful oh. so i've been looking at the um some of the midline designers who are using this with spacer beads as instead of a chain Yes. So to put the pearls on or to put the charms on. And I love that idea. So I went through my stash and found all of the gemstones that are this size mm. so that I can make myself some jewellery like that. Well, you should <laughs> say that, actually. You know, I, I've got a PowerPoint which shows that kind of jewellery. Oh, okay, it yeah. Shows, it shows that. So, yeah, absolutely. Be Seriously, that's on another level. Look how sparkly it is. I know. Like. And tourmaline doesn't... Or it's a type 3 gemstone, so we expect it to have inclusion. Um, we expect that, but it's not the case in this strand. That's why you're seeing such an amazing, amazing performance. Um, start dialing through because we're going to bring the graphics to air. Uh, Tom. Um, yeah, and you, well, you can actually discuss what Debbie has just been saying. Now, we've got perfect drops to bring this to you as well, um, which would be absolutely beautiful alongside natural blue. Now, in the tourmaline world, um, in the tourmaline world, this is a gemstone uh, that absolutely comes through, uh, uh, comes in a multiple, uh, multiple few shades. So remember I said earlier on in the show that Egyptians believed that it literally touched a rainbow. Oh. And that's how it has all of those beautiful colour uh, color spectrums. But really, there is a top three, of course, those colours uh, which are um, the most expensive. And that usually is driven by their rarity. That's Paraba blue. That's a, uh, it's like a um, swimming pool blue. Um, Indicolite, which is very similar to what I'm looking at right now on the screens. Um, and then also your Rubelites. They really do command some of the highest price points in the tourmaline world. It is a fascinating gemstone, gemologically speaking, because it can have an in excess of 50 different chemicals um, and they all differ color by color tourmaline jewelry the gemstone that touched a rainbow oh, I love uh, the amazing technicolor dream stone that is renowned for its rich range of intense colors tourmalines are the chameleon of the gemstone world i love it i love it i love it and like i said pretty much every single color will be um, available in uh, in this stone tourmaline is renowned for the rich breadth of its uh, color range it comes in pastel peach sky blue 
blue, vivid yellow, bright emerald green, soft uh, pink, blood red, and uh, just about every shade between. Between An Egyptian legend narrates that when tourmaline made its journey to the surface of the earth, it passed over a rainbow, picking up all the colors along the way. Today, it's still referred to as the gemstone of the rainbow. Even the uh, origin of the word, uh, which comes from Singhalese word Tura and Mali, which translates to mixed stone. This potpourri of color is created from uh, aluminium, boron, silicate minerals. Uh, the stone is actually made of many, many of these crystals. And since no two crystals are exactly the same, the composition creates endless uh, nuances of hues and shades. Sometimes these colors seem to deepen or grow in intensity, depending on the light. Another unusual quality of tourmalines is that they are, uh, uh, I can't, piezoelectric i can't Ooh, say it i don't know but what that basically means is when heated and then cooled they've come electrically charged with uh, when a positive charge on one end uh, and a negative on the other. Mother Nature is absolutely fascinating. Tourmaline has been used for centuries and deposits are found all over the world, although gem quality stones are rare and very precious. In fact, it may have been even more prevalent in ancient times when we realize that, uh, realize, but was likely to have been confused with other gemstones. Uh, with its rich range of intense colors, tourmaline is certainly one of the most unusual gems in the world. Speak to any gemologist and I think they would all agree that this is one of the most um, fascinating of stones and seriously your deal of the day today is going to absolutely blow you away we spoke about the launch of birthday that zircon everyone knows about that zircon strand we had 700 of them and we sold out in that one auction this is the equivalent of quality to th this is going to be called that tourmaline um and it is an expensive stone i mean this is article these are pieces that i i deliberately entered beaded jewelry so i didn't specify um a cut or a size this is on first dibs um 11 th 11 grand You've got some watermelon tourmalines in there, but again, do you notice how they're not particularly eye clean? It is all about that beautiful color, but 11,000 pounds. How about this? $14,800. But is that a little bit like what you were saying? Yeah, it is. And that, that strand doesn't look, that doesn't look dissimilar, those strands, to the ones we do at no. all, does no, it? No, I mean, never mind the watermelon in the center. No, but like, look the ones at the strands. The, yeah. It's not dissimilar, is it? No, not well. No. What about this? Eight thousand. Eight thousand. And I'm like, hang on a minute, Paraba tourmaline. Yeah, there might be, but what about the other pinks? You can't call them Paraba tourmalines, can you? Eight thousand three hundred dollars. Again, that was on first dibs. What about this? I love that. I think that's beautiful. It is beautiful. Oh. Look, this is, uh, that was actually on Christie's. So it was an auction uh, piece. Uh, price realized two and a half thousand US dollars. I love this piece of jewelry. Just wanted to show you. I mean, because it's something that I think you could definitely do. Uh, Wilson's Estate Jewelry, $5,250. Imagine doing that with your beautiful blue tourmaline deal of the day. The graphics are live. Can you imagine? It's literally going to create this beautiful, it reminds me of crushing waves that wonderful it's blue. Like, it's like the moon on the water, isn't it? Because oh. like you've got that sparkle. You know, like when the sun on the moon goes on the water and it's rippling. Really romantic strand. When it's what? Rippling? Rippling. I thought you said dribbling then for a second. Or when it's dribbling. <laughs> <laughs> Either or, looking beautiful. <laughs> well, if I said it reminds me of my granddaughter when she's dribbling, that wouldn't have been very romantic. No. Um, <laughs> no, not so much. But we'd still go, ah. Oh, oh, yeah. oh. Look at that. Oh, you said lovely. earlier on it's so on trend. It really is. So, so, so on trend. The phone lines have absolutely lit up. Remind me, producer Tom, how many do we have of these available? Okay, just under 200. Do you think 200 are going to sell today? How often do we see blue tourmaline? It's one of the rarest of colours. Like I said, Paraba, Indicolite Blue and Rubellite. Those are the three rarest colours of tourmaline. And it is a definite teal blue, isn't it? It really is. I love that colour. I don't know why we haven't called this Indicolite, frankly. Oh, yeah, I wonder why they haven't. I don't know. I'm not sure. Maybe if we'd have had it on the graphics, maybe that's a whole buying thing. Yeah. Possibly. If we'd have bought it as Indicolite, so we were like, no, no, that's not Indicolite, that's definitely blue tourmaline. You got a, a better price. 
true. So we might have done that, and we do do this, by the way, on your behalf to negotiate a better deal. Or I say we, that would have been our lovely Wayne. We're under £50, and that clock is still ticking. Can I borrow... Can you imagine your beautiful blue tourmaline in between some South Sea pearls? Oh. Use these as spaces with pale green jade. Yes. Oh, that would be cool. Oh, well done, Bristol. Yeah, that sounds amazing. I, I'm, I'm obsessed with your deal of the day. The brilliance that you're getting, even though it's a type three gemstone, the luster, that natural color. Um, yeah, it does seem like that 60 seconds is uh, is taking its, its sweet time, doesn't it? Let's do it there. Let's introduce your beautiful deal of the day opportunity. And if you want the perfect drops, we've got that strand coming up in a few moments time, including the most amazing rubelite pinks. Look at those. I mean, that is some piece of jewelry. If you start using those two, uh, those three together, yes. the briolettes are coming up 29 pounds and 99 pence only. You know, and if you speak to any any gemologist you know what's your favorite gemstone every time I ask that question most of them will actually ref will, will say tourmaline mm. it was the gemstone of uh, of Tucson one of the gemstones of Tucson both tourmaline and also uh, your zircon blue what's zircon it? specifically really got the limelight and um, everybody it's funny because every time that you go to one of the high-end uh, um, craft store not craft store sorry traders mm. what booths or whatever you call them you know you'd almost ask them about the gemstone they're like yeah but do you want to see my tourmaline uh, it would always go back to the tourmaline mm. it would always go back to that do you want to see my green tourmaline do you want to see my blue tourmaline uh what are the pearls in Al's hand please lancashire these are the south sea pearls that i brought you at the beginning of this hour take a little look i don't know if any of those are still available they're the south sea it's a necklace that we had at the top of um the top of this hour margaret vanessa bristol catherine hello to you lancashire middlesex carmel linda devon uh hello to you kim Kath. Lancashire, Suzanne in Yorkshire, Lynn and Angela, Tracy and Heather. I can't keep up with you now. We had a big quantity of them, but how often do we actually see? How often do we see tourmaline? Certainly not this colour. This is really lovely. You said earlier on, Debbie, mm. that you would do... I'd do that, and then I'd take um, a larger pearl, and I'd have one pearl drop. Oh. And I just think that's sheer class, as my dad used to say. <laughs> sheer. It is. You know, can you imagine that with one pearl? Just one pearl. Absolutely Stunning. incredible. £29.99 for the complexity, for the rarity that is blue tourmaline. Oh, I don't know. I don't, I don't know. Tom's asking me a question. I don't know. I tell you what, Tom. Let's put it to our lovely audience. So if you've, we have, or we had just to, uh, about 200 of these. They are flying out the door and there's a load of you there. Live TV is very different to any other retail. We are reactive. And we also buy bigger quantities than most retailer. But... We want them to sell, ideally, the majority on the first auction, because otherwise it's more minutes on your live show. There are ways of us almost encouraging that, pro, uh, that, that deal or that, uh, that, that sellout, and that's with a greater deal. But at the moment, there's not enough of you there for, to justify a price crash. So I tell you what, if we can guarantee our Tom who's in the gallery and he can see it all happen. He can see the phone line activity. He can see the website and the app. He knows he's got his finger on the buttons. If you show Tom that there's enough of you that want this blue tourmaline, bear in mind it's natural tourmaline as well. It shouldn't go a single penny lower. Then he will take it lower. But it's down to you. 60 seconds. There we go. 
That's where you call, you give our, 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 our producer the little nudge, nudge, wink, wink. I love it. I love it. I want to get involved, but I'm not quite there with that price tag. We can be reactive. I get it. I totally understand. £29.99. It's an amazing deal for the rarity of blue tourmaline. So but when you say um, show us, do you mean for them to put it in their basket? Yes. You don't oh, have to okay. check out. Okay. Don't have to check out. So if, you, if you're interested, but you want a better price, pop it in your basket and then you can go lower, is yeah. that what you mean? Okay. If there's enough people. Sorry, I was just like, what do you mean? Okay, good. Yeah, just drop it in your basket, pick up the phone, you don't have to press your option one. That's how you show our producers that right. you're there and you're interested. They are. They are there, <laughs> yeah. It, 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 yeah. With some, sorry, Tom, I should, I should have um, explained myself. Ross and I do that a few times. It's basically, yeah, show us you're there. I thought it was me being... No, okay, no, okay. it was me just So it's assuming. okay that I asked that question. Totally, and I'm glad okay. you did, actually. Glad you did. Twenty nine ninety nine. Is there enough, Tom? He says, "Let's do it." You've just sourced natural, natural teal blue. I don't know why we haven't called it in Dicolai. I generally don't for twenty pounds today. That's not a little bit off, is no, it? No, <laughs> it's really not. I, uh, yeah. Wow, that's really, really good. That's amazing. That's so, so good. You know, when we were talking about earlier on, strands, look, look at the prices. I didn't go on Etsy because, I, you know, there's, they're, they're the kind of jewellery that you can create. Mm -hmm. I wanted to show you other jewellery. Oh, this one I did show, want to show you, though, because I was like, oh, she, look, you could so easily do this. She used, she, they're using one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine tourmaline rondelles. I, ha I have to say... So Sorry, is that seven hundred ninety? Seven hundred ninety pounds. But also, could she not have ironed a t-shirt? Seven hundred ninety pound. That. I know. It, nine tourmalines. <gasps> I don't particularly like this piece of jewellery. And again, I've got a. I, I, I'm bothered by the fact that she has nine a t-shirt. For that, for a, when you when you're trying to get that price point. No, no, no. I'm, listen, I don't iron loads of my clothes. But listen, it's you know, it, it, if you're trying to sell something for seven hundred and ninety pounds, you'd make the effort, wouldn't it's, you? It's a considered purchase, so it needs a. It totally is. But look at how beautiful. Look at this classic beaded necklace. I'm not comparing here, of course, but I'm showing you the price tag that it can and does fetch. Um, this is actually rarer than the colours that you're seeing on your screens right now. Your deal of the day is all about those beautiful steely blues. Um, look at that, eight thousand. 300 far more included mm -hmm. tourmaline yes they're bigger granted but far more included than what you're getting in your deal of the day um do stay where you are um i've still got i have still got your beautiful your second deal of the day look at this oh i love those i think they're really beautiful they are amazing, aren't they? I mean, I, I, how many times do we see this gemstone? Not that frequently. I just want a white background if I can. I'm just going to borrow the South Sea Pearls bust. Let me show you this. Because look at the quality of the colour. Mm. This is one of my favourite strands of tourmaline. Oh, I think that's beautiful. Briolette drops. With your demonstration, yeah. You can on. just, because I get asked that a lot about how to wrap a briolette, because not everyone does wire, mm -hmm. um, but that's a functional thing to do with wire with, because of the way they're drilled. And, you know, it's up to you how much of the gemstone you cover when you wrap it there. So you can just do a couple of wraps and show all of the gemstone. But look, I mean, the way they hang gemstone jewellery with this kind of gemstone, the way the jewellery hangs... I absolutely love. And of all the drops, I think the briolette drops the most beautiful. Because it's like a raindrop. It's it like, is. you know, when you draw a raindrop, I know yeah. we, don't, we don't really know what raindrops look like without looking under the microscope, but they're perfect. Yeah, they are. And that, it's like a little gemstone raindrop, this Ugh. sort of shape. Look at the colours. You've got your beautiful pinks. You've got your wonderful steel blues. You've got your beautiful... Uh, right the way up here, if you look on the top of the strand, you've got your chrome greens. I love this. It's, I say it every time, but it's a blossom tree for me. Yeah. Now, um, 
I tell you what, your start price is already way lower. Briolette cuts, and I don't, I still don't, don't know why we don't call them briolette cuts. That's what we, what they are. They're three hundred and sixty degrees. It's not flat, so you get this really beautiful light performance. Really showcases the colour. The fact that we're stopping at twenty nine pounds and ninety nine pence. I have to say, I have to say, yeah, of all the drops, this is the this is the shape that I would choose. It's my favourite. It used to be very very difficult to get hold of and very yeah. expensive to mm. get hold of, especially a strand like. Like this a tourmaline strand of like briolettes going all the way around that was something that you'd think oh i can't oh, afford to make jewelry with something like that yeah something like this if you think back to the, just to the immediate days this would have been 129 yeah and you're like well i love it but it's just not an option for me as no, a maker it's too expensive yeah totally agree you know your master class coming up at 12 o'clock how about literally flipping one of these down oh yes so you actually have the pointy bit down in the center of a donut that i mean you could literally do that yeah. we're starting at 29 pounds and 99 pence but we're not stopping there no we're not stopping there Stephen. let's take it under 20 pound for natural briolette madagascan tourmalines some of the rarest of colors from your chromes to your beautiful deep indicolites rubelite pinks they make beautiful flowers. I've made flowers out of, of a strand like this. If you go back into the archives, you'll probably find it. But um, beautiful, dainty little flowers with 0.4 wire you can make with this just stunning. Speaking of dainty, oh, that's, look at this on Etsy. That's lovely. Isn't it pretty? That's may a well really good price too. It is a good price. They're not briolette drops though, but they're still drops. You could still recreate that, couldn't you? Yeah. £60 plus it says... 80. Sorry, eighty pounds. Beg your pardon. I can't quite see that. Eighty pounds, and you could make that bracelet probably in less than ten minutes. And there's one, two, three, four, five, six, eight gemstones. So you can make that bracelet multiple times over. Shall we put the sixty-second clock on your screen because we're not even stopping <laughs> like at nineteen ninety-nine? <laughs> not even stopping there. Oh, beautiful. I mean, the, the gemstone of many colours. Literally, remember those Egyptians thought it touched a rainbow. And that's how it offers you these wonderful, wonderful palettes. The potpourri of the gemstone <laughs> world. $19.99, straight away collectors and connoisseurs getting involved. Kim, Wendy, new customer, Virginia. Devon, London, Jacqueline, Tracy, new customers getting involved. Little clusters, little waterfall gatherings. Oh, they're beautiful. The way they hang, you just hang all those off of some chain, some lovely fine sterling silver chain. Oh, them up. beautiful. Well, literally, I'd split this strand in half and put 50-50. Oh, and that would be some pair of earrings yeah. for 20 quid. For 20 quid. And like, if you think to yourself, oh, I don't need, I better not use them all. Use them all. Yeah, especially because they're not stopping at 20 just quid. Just go big or go home. Go big or go just home. Just go for it. Well, at £14.99, I think most of us will be going big. <laughs> That's amazing. £14.99 only for genuine natural tourmaline. I mean, a pair of tourmaline earrings at £15. You go into any of those high street shops, not any of them, okay, granted. Let's be let's 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 narrow that down a little bit. But if you go to, I don't know, Topshop, Marks and Spencers, Debenhams, you go to Zara, and look at their costume jewellery, where they'll literally do what, a coloured crystal or something like yeah. that, you probably pay that for a price of uh, of faux earrings, faux gemstones. I saw a plastic necklace the other day in one of those shops and it was thirty-five pounds, it was thirty-four ninety-nine, and it was plastic. It was nice, but it was plastic. Yeah. I have I haven't got a, I haven't got a thing it doesn't bother me costume jewelry. No, at me all. neither. In fact I wear some costume yeah, jewelry. Yeah, so do I. But um you're getting genuine rarity here. Just imagine putting a, a pin on our, 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 our big atlas, our big wonderful world, and imagine in that specific moment over 50 different chemicals had to be present at the most perfect conditions, perfect heat, perfect uh, pressures to form your tourmaline. And you've just sourced it for 15 pounds. Unbelievable. Don't go anywhere, lovely jewelry makers. We've still got so much more to bring you. Um, we've got beautiful jade. We've got wonderful Mexican turquoise to bring you as well. The best strand I've ever seen of that. And the most unmissable masterclass if you follow debbie on her uh, on facebook and social media you've been teased with it already i'm really excited <laughs> about that coming up we'll be back after this
Did you know that calls are free from a UK landline and our phone lines are open 24 hours a day, seven days a week? Happy shopping with Jewellery Maker. Stay interactive with Jewellery Maker by texting the studio during our live hours of 8 till 5. Start your message with JM Studio and send it to 78070. Jewellery Maker, create, wear, share. It's easy to stay in touch with Jewellery Maker. You can like our Facebook page and join our community of over 69,000 people. You can follow us on Twitter and tweet us your messages and opinions. You can also find us on Instagram and even TikTok. Make sure you get involved and stay up to date with Jewellery Maker. Here at Jewellery Maker, we're always looking ways to make your shopping experience better. That's why on certain items, we've got split pay, where you can spread the cost over two, three or four months at no extra cost to you. So you can buy your way with split pay. Jewellery Makers, did you know that you can purchase as many times as you like throughout the day and you'll only be charged one postage and packaging fee? No matter the size, weight or quantity of your order, how many times you check out that day, we will still only charge you that single P&P. Keep things simple on Jewelry Maker. Hi guys, I'm looking forward to you guys joining me for what we are billing as Super Saturday and the most exciting uh, collection or launch that we have ever had. It is of course the legendary Olmec Jade, a jadeite that has captivated civilizations for 3,000 years and was lost for, for 500 years. They have finally rediscovered these incredible mines and we are thrilled to offer you the rarest jadeite in the world. Our friendly and knowledgeable help team are available 24 hours a day, 365 days a year. If you have a question or query, contact us on 0800 644 655 and press option 2. Alternatively, you can email or drop us a direct message on our Facebook page. Jewelry Maker, happy to help. Buying with Jewelry Maker couldn't be easier. Here's a quick overview of how to get involved. When you see a product you like and you want to purchase, you will see the graphics appear on the screen. You'll see the item code and a starting price. As time goes on, you'll see the price drop. And as viewers call in and customers add it to their baskets online, you'll also see the quantity decrease too. No matter at what point you order, everybody pays the final low price. And there's only one PMP charge on everything you purchase throughout the day. We offer you a 30-day money-back guarantee, so there's no risk whether you're purchasing for the first time or any time. Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Welcome back, lovely jewellery makers. Look who it is, it's lovely Debbie. <laughs> Hello. Uh, let's just quickly talk about your 12 o'clock hour because these have been specially, these have been specially calibrated for you. You do they, know that, don't you? They've been specially calibrated so that you can get the mounts inside. Yeah. So they're sort of um, graduated. They had to be specially cut, didn't they? Yeah. So you can actually have, house a gemstone in the centre. Yeah. Unbelievable. Coming up at 12 o'clock, so you haven't got too long to wait for those. 
Um, now, uh, that's, yeah, Fernando uh, George or Jorge, however you pronounce it, I suppose, depending on how continental you are. Um, <laughs> they are coming up with lovely Debbie. But this hour, we've got last remaining quantity of beautiful red jade. And, but, oh, it could be almost that strong, couldn't it? Um, bar none, this is the best Mexican turquoise I've ever seen. So, you know, you can get turquoise from different locations around the world. It's very shallow forming as well. Um, it's often found alongside copper deposits. And it's what, a gemstone that history changes quite frequently because it is so shallow forming. So, for example, your tanzanite, we're digging to depths almost the equivalent of um, Everest now, aren't we? We're not far off the depth of Everest um, to source this gemstone. That would be a completely and utterly, this is me, uh, pointless exercise. Um, pointless exercise when it comes to turquoise because it is so shallow forming often forms in very dry and arid areas so if you'd have shown me this strand you can see it here we go from a distance if you'd have shown me this strand immediately I would have thought of locations like the Sleeping Beauty deposit so here's the Sleeping Beauty deposit it's in, it's in the Arizona desert can we show that there you go um, it's called Sleeping Beauty because it literally has that uh, um, what do you call it the mountain terrain is literally almost her. Um, uh, yeah, the horizon is, is Sleeping Beauty from the Disney, uh, Disney character. But if you look it up to the sky blue, that azure blue, that's synonymous to USA Sleeping Beauty or Cochise at the very, uh, as well. Um, so if you'd have asked me the question, that's immediately what I would have assumed because USA turquoise tends to be much more robin egg blue and Tibetan turquoise tends to be a little, that kind of in between and Mexican turquoise tends to be quite green with a lot of matrix. This is Mexican turquoise, not USA turquoise. I, I see very little green, which is normally less desirable. Plus the fact that this is round, it's more expensive to get rounds because it's actually one of the most wasteful of shapes. Now, I, I remember launching this strand. I think it was a deal of the day, is that right, Tom? Oh, so I beg your pardon. I did launch a Mexican turquoise strand. It sold out. It was that popular, we've got it back in stock. So we've done, an, a, you know, literally a reorder on this opportunity. The quality, and why wouldn't we? The quality is insane. How many of you thought, think of Mexican turquoise? And it's, lov it's lovely, it's, it's really beautiful, don't get me wrong, but it's more green and it's it a is. lot more matrixy. Yeah, it is. Matrixy. <laughs> it's not green at all. That's classic turquoise. That's beautiful you would think that was usa turquoise wouldn't you, you? Yeah, you which you know if you read any article about sleeping beauty turquoise it's hailed for this quality of color and it's hailed for the minimal matrix not something we ordinarily can say about mexico this is brand new today these are going to sell out today here is a gemstone which is absolutely everywhere at the moment with Harry Winston using uh, your wonderful mandarin garnet to surround beautiful azure blue turquoise just like this. Countless celebrities all literally stepping onto the red carpet with none other than turquoise. I mean, look at Kate Blanchett here. Uh, my, that, that is a sleeping beauty. That's sleeping beauty, that necklace. It was made out by Tiffany's & Co. Look at the blue and now look at yours here's Heidi Klum wearing Sleeping Beauty turquoise yours is not Sleeping Beauty turquoise but it is the most the, the, the best quality Mexican turquoise I've seen these are already absolutely flying out the door yeah the likes of Taylor Swift Sleeping Beauty turquoise Look at that azure blue, minimal matrix. It doesn't matter about the country of origin. It's all about the beautiful quality of the gemstone itself. You've got Sarah Jessica Parker. It's actually a paler colour. I think yours is a better colour than hers. Much more saturation. Okay. I don't think people realise just how mad this deal is going to be. If it was Sleeping Beauty Turquoise... Mm, it would probably would be hard pushed to get it under, uh, to a double figure price point, wouldn't we? Especially in the rounds. Um, 
I tell you what, let's take it to 99.99. We're being very generous. And, and, and the reason why I say that is, you know, when I went over to Tucson, I was very much looking for American gemstones. Yeah. Great, makes sense. You go to Arizona, you're going to yeah. like, um, And there was, it was always a gemstone that had security guards alongside as well. And it really hit home just how expensive turquoise was at, at wholesale prices, rounds in particular. I wanted to put uh, put together a. It was a class. Do you remember Sleeping Beauty class? I designed it on the back of me, my trip over there. They sold out, but it was in an oval. They didn't have them in the rounds, and that's because, well, the words of Caroline, they're too expensive in rounds. Oh right. You've got a whole strand of rounds, and we are not. We're not stopping anywhere near. Ninety nine, ninety nine. I'd keep this uber simple, so would I. Debbie. I'd literally just restrand this. Yeah, it's um, it's my birthstone and one of my favourite <gasps> stones ever, turquoise. And people know it, don't they? They do know it, and uh, you know it's very difficult to get hold of real turquoise because there's so many, you know, even big designers putting turquoise ring. And when you look in the tiny little print, it says turquoise colour. Turquoise, it, uh, yeah, and or I or synthetic gemstone. I hate it. I absolutely hate it. I've got a real bugbear about that. Um, this is genuine Mother Nature turquoise. I agree. Thank you for drawing our attention to that. It is one of those gemstones that you have to be so, so, so careful where you're sourcing because it's a colour as well, and and that's probably their their, their their way out is that say, oh no, we're describing the colour, not the actual material itself. This is genuine turquoise, the gemstone. It's the best quality that. I've seen we had to reorder this parcel it was that mind-boggling and we're at 39 pounds and 99 pence and we're not even done remind me sorry Tom how many do we have of these available I mean if we can look at here is sorry the state of Arizona and this isn't Arizona but look there are literally turquoise mines, well, not just Arizona, New Mexico, Colorado, California, all very warm, hot areas. Yeah. Um, but look, it also shows the examples of the matrix. Can you see that? So you can see, uh, I'd say Leadville, Colorado is quite matrix free. I would, there's a Sleeping Beauty at the bottom. Kingman, very, uh, very matrix uh, full, I would say. Bisbee, lots of, um, lots of matrix within there. You've got, um, I'm trying to find, Lone Mountain, relatively matrix free. Uh, Valley Blue, literally probably named after um, the turquoise itself. But you, they know the matrix of those locations, usually a way that we can actually dis distinguish um, where the turquoise is from. If you were to ask any, or most people, I think that deal with this gemstone or have worked with turquoise, most of you would say that's USA. That's yeah. USA. Uh -huh. It's not USA. It's unreal. Look at the colour from here. It is that classic robin egg blue. And we're not even stopping at $39.99. Now, time is ticking. I don't think we... Let's just do it. Let's just do it. What do you think? We're running out of time. Let's do it because... The prices and the deals have been incredible. I'd absolutely be tempted to use this alongside maybe the South Sea pearls that you had a few moments ago. How unbelievable were those golden colours? Turquoise and pearls are marriage made in heaven. I've said oh. this before when I used to make to sell... My turquoise and pearl jewelry went first. Did it? Yeah. I can see why. They are the, literally so, per, they, they are like the most perfect marriage, aren't they? And it's almost like you take like the boho, raw quality of the turquoise and the sophistication of the pearls. So it's like opposites. Mm -hmm. But then you put them together and they're just like a marriage make in heaven. You know? Yeah, absolutely. So um, they just work, don't they? You'd never see Sleeping Beauty turquoise at 20 quid. You wouldn't. Is this 20 quid? 20 quid. Oh my goodness It's me. still turquoise. It's still turquoise. And a prime example of why we should never let the country of origin make the decision. It should always be about the quality of the gemstones. I'm going to be controversial again. Go on. I've got a Sleeping Beauty turquoise and I've got a bracelet that I wear all the time. Mm -hmm. 
and I find it a bit boring because I've got any matrix. It's a lovely colour and it would be a very expensive strand. Yeah. But I like a bit of matrix in my dog. You like a little bit of I matrix. I like a little bit of matrix. And this, to me, it's these the rounds, is they've got the perfect amount. It Not has. too much. You're it's wearing a, a turquoise colour now, aren't you? That is turquoise. But um, again, it's got a little bit of matrix. Yeah. I like, I like that. I'm um, completely obsessed with turquoise. In fact, that is very similar very, to the very strand. Very, yeah. Very, very similar. You've got, the, yeah, the perfect balance. It's not so matrix full that it actually has, um, you know, lots of black, more of a dominant black colour. But it gives it um, more of a, an interest when you have... Can you see how... Look at that! You see, usually I do wear my turquoise bracelet, but I took it off and I haven't put it back on again, but... Can you imagine that in a bracelet? It would just be absolutely oh. stunning. Wouldn't it? And it is the perfect strand for a bracelet. Love it. Oh, my goodness. It's been such a high-end collector's show, but yet not the high-end price tag. I'd be tempted to put your beautiful blue tourmaline in this as well. Oh, that would be amazing. And just, what well, I mean, I know I was talking and I honestly didn't know it was going to 19.99. That is so amazing yeah. for turquoise for turquoise I, yeah it's tr <laughs> it's true i remember speaking to um i, I spoke to um uh, he was a, a lovely german chap who was over in tucson and he specialized only in turquoise only and specifically sleeping beauty turquoise and we were chatting to him i think he's a very good friend i think of our sister channels as well and i was looking whilst they're all chatting yeah. you know chat chat chat, chat about, about jewelry i'm looking at the beads i'm more interested in the beads show me the beads <laughs> and anyway they had this tray and and there was like this massive piece he was like i thought he was literally four figures i'm holding that up he was gonna know some four figures for one individual bead it's so expensive so we must never ever ever be complacent of the prices that we can actually get and it's not about the country of origin it's about the quality of the gemstone that we actually source as well um love this i don't think you'll better that deal on turquoise even if this was nuggets at 19.99 that would be amazing i would pay 19.99 for turquoise nuggets definitely unreal absolutely That's a unreal strand have we got any left because i want this yeah I'm, i think <laughs> i might be joining you on this and it'll be that Oh, it's like, I might get two, actually. How beautiful. Keep dialing through. Now, well done, because it's getting quite limited. Marilee, you, 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 I'm probably teaching you uh, how to suck eggs, as, they, as we say here in Great Britain, because you live in Arizona. You know the price of turquoise over there. Now, I have two very, very, very exclusive opportunities. We spoke earlier on when we were talking about the type A jadeite, the fact that um the skin mm. of the boulder is where you get your what we call fancy colors so the rarer of the colors and i'm going to show you um, um a slide in a few moments time which basically just show, illustrates the colors that you can source in this beautiful gemstone it also illustrates what we predict or more importantly pillar and stone predict will be the, the colours of jade that will overtake the value of imperial jade. Not our words, pillar and stone's words. Now, the final two natural type A red jadeite opportunities that exist. I own these and they are insane. That's all natural. Wow. But they are extra limited. One for the collectors and the connoisseurs. Next. Um, you know, if, you, if ever you uh, do watch places like Sotheby's, Christie's or uh, Bonhams, all of those auction houses, when they bring jadeite to auction, you know, they'll advertise it. They'll, of course, speak to all of their regular collectors and they'll probably know which collectors are looking for what particular gemstones, etc., etc. But they'll have one single piece. You know, you saw earlier on in the show, there was a, what, the, the jade expert literally holding one single imperial jade bangle yeah. there wasn't multiples of no. them there was literally just one so again just just a reminder how lucky we are that we can actually make this possible and accessible to many people um but like i said one of the 
I don't know, almost governing bodies, I suppose, metaphorically speaking, in the jade world. Many people would say would be Roland Schlutz, who we showed his photograph earlier on, and he's the one that at Pillar and Stone said that he believes these colours circled that you're about to see... Oh! There's Roland Schluss. We can show you a photograph of Roland Schluss and his beautiful white wife. This was taken only this morning. Only this morning. Um, it was him that actually said, I believe that it will be the likes of your reds, lavenders and whites which will actually overtake imperial green in terms of uh, the value of most wow. expensive piece. So this is his words. So we go, the boulder skin has completely disappeared from the market as uh, it's the only material that has never been stockpiled. Uh, this has resulted in the most drastic price jump that the jade market uh, ever has ever seen, sorry. Uh, we strongly feel that it won't be long before the auction record is held by a purple or red jade, which changes everything we have ever understood about jade. And that's literally said at Tucson 2022. Take a little look at those lovely colors. Um, I mean, certainly in the reds, if you look at the sort of the outer layer of your uh, of your natural jades, and never mind dyed, never mind polymer impregnated, we only bring you natural. It's that quality of colour. Would you agree? Yeah, it definitely matches the one next to the pink. Yeah, doesn't it? That totally, matches. totally. I have literally twenty three opportunities left in the world. No, I don't. I have twenty one. <laughs> I purchased this, and we've mentioned it a few. We've mentioned it a few times today because it is a very collector's show. I haven't done anything with mine as of yet. I bought this, and I bought the uh, uh, the white onyx oh, at the same time. Beautiful. Maybe we'll both go into the same. Um, we'll perhaps go into the same piece eventually. But this is legacy. This is heirloom. Yeah, 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 definitely. I could give. This is the kind of thing that even now I could walk into Bonhams and say, okay put that to auction how much do you reckon you could get for it yeah i've got no intention of doing that though because this is something that i want to hand on to my girls it doesn't get any rarer than type a jadeite well type a jadeite lavenders we've just heard from roland schlutz himself saying that this is the one that he believes is going to command the highest price point overtaking that of imperial jade i've got two strands that's it i'm going to start with the seven millimeters and then we're going to move into the six mil Imagine this. There's the skin of the boulder that we were talking about. Oh, that colour's a little bit special, isn't it? I've never seen anything like it. No, it's gorgeous, isn't it? Really, just... I don't even know how to describe it. It's beautiful. It's almost like a, um, like a tangerine red, isn't it? With a warmth to yeah, it. Yeah, definitely. And a translucency. Now, yeah. you, think, you think the green looks amazing with a, light, uh, a telephone behind it. Wait until you see the red. There are literally... 23 opportunities and that is it when we first saw red jade eye it was actually part of our sister channels one of their jewelry collections and you were lucky you got one you got one or you got some maybe little mini high goos um you're getting in a whole strand 170 carats of that certified natural type a and it is a definite red it's not wishy-washy it's not pale it's not insipid when you actually look if i just doubled it over look at that gorgeous color it, it you know is definite definite like a tangerine red yeah it is it's sometimes jades can only have a hint can't they yes and they'll still certify it as that color oh will they yeah like the pink can be quite quite pale quite quite pale but they will still certify it as that color this is a definite almost like a pumpkin red yes is that beautiful. a good way to describe yeah, it? Yeah, pumpkin red, definitely. Because it's warmer, it's almost like cinnamony mm. kind of. Oh, nice. Lovely. Here is. Was that Roland Schlutz in his young. Yeah. There he is, that's his credentials. This is the gentleman that said, We're having to diversify and red, white, and lavenders. These are the colours that he believes will become more valuable than Imperial Jade moving forward. We are not stopping at £799. 
I bought this on launch, so did Susie. You've got the history. I haven't spoken about any of that. Frankly, we haven't got the time to do it today, but um, I haven't spoken about the history of, uh, of Jade. I'm going to assume that those of you that are interested in this opportunity know it, um, revered for some 4,000 years. The fact that you have really one of the most sought after of colors also within Chinese culture must make a big difference. Definitely. I, I just think that, uh, again, owning something like this once in a lifetime, strand one that you know it goes into that special drawer into that special piece of jewelry that you can say you own it I yeah think, exactly know. what's that oh yeah it's just red jade. It's, it's, it's natural it's natural red jade it's not dyed i watched it i watched a channel um a, 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 not, a, not our sister channel another channel a competitor that had jade on their screens mm. It was definitely not Taipei Jade. Ah. It was it was dyed beyond all recognition. Oh, it was yeah. honestly neon and it was vile. I, I like I won't say who, uh, but it was absolutely terrible because it literally had taken on this fluorescence and it was absolutely awful. You're getting natural certified. Look at the graphics. Not a single treatment there. Certified natural type A red jade and not just a casual one or two carats. You're getting 170 carats of that level of rarity. Again, we've said it lots of times throughout the course of this morning's show. We are talking real collector's acquisitions right now. And I get £299 is a considered purchase. We launched it at 349 which is absolutely unbelievable. Use your split pay. Use your 74 pound, what, 4 0% interest split payments. That makes it accessible. Do you think we could go to... Do you reckon we could go... Um, Hello, Bonhams. Yeah, I'm really interested in some some of your rarest. Look at yeah, look yeah, look at these. I'm interested in some of the rarest colours of jade, but I just want to give you seventy five pounds this month. Is that all right? Look at this bangle from the King Dynasty. Look at the date of that. Would you agree that that quality lovely? Do you think it's any better than yours? No, our colour's nicer than. It that. is a nicer colour. This is more terracotta. Yeah. Look at the price though. Estimate between 70,000 Hong Kong dollars and 90, price realised 375,000. Oh, goodness me. The, remember, 727% increase of jade eye year over last year this is an incredibly desirable gemstone particularly these beautiful rare fancy colors let's flick through through these because it's all very well and good me saying it how about using the likes of um christie's here we go jadeite uh, pebble form snuff bottle uh estimate ten thousand us dollars price realized and this is in 2007 32,000 US dollars. That's what, 17 grand. Look how they, red jadeite bangle. It's what, 30%? Yeah, that, yeah that, there's not much in there, is there? No. Souls for 25,000 or 25,640 US dollars. Wow. I know. We are talking about an extremely valuable colour and um, uh, 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 level of rarity. And you're getting it today for what? What did it? What was it? Two hundred ninety-nine. Madness. Absolute madness. But again, excuse me, Bonhams. I've only got seventy-five quid today. Is that all right if I give you that? I'll take it home though. Yeah. I'll take it home. Um, maybe start making with it if that's okay. Is that all right? Uh, and then next month I'll give you. An Never gonna happen, never gonna happen. Do you know, <laughs> it, we'll never get used to it, will we? Can I borrow your lovely board a second? Of course you can, which, this one? Whichever. Mm. Because if you want to make, uh, yeah, if you want to make the most beautiful piece of jewelry. Oh, look at that. Imagine knotting that into a graduation. This is what I've bought. Imagine that. <coughs> Marla. Do you know what? Not even, yeah, yeah. Or just knot it with a, I don't know, what kind of silk would you use? I'm thinking peach. 
Oh yeah, something um, nude. Yeah, something that ties in with the colours. Yeah, not, not, not competing. No, no, no. And then the, literally that's over the top of the head. Oh, beautiful. And you'd ha wear that, wouldn't you, all the time? Yeah. This is all about your six mils. If you manage to get hold of the seven mils and you want that perfect graduation, how gorgeous is that? That's stunning. Again, if you look, look at look at Christie's when they're bringing you whatever colour of jade dye, they tend to be really, really, really simple designs. Mm -hmm. They don't tend to be sort of overly complicated. They tend to be classically knotted. Okay, for those of you that got the seven mils, let's now bring you the six mils. Again, it's a full 38 centimetre strand. Use it alongside your exclusive pearls. Totally natural, certified, and it is worthwhile getting your uh, certificate of authenticity. Look at that. It's stunning, it's so beautiful. I've not seen it before. In person? No, not it's in... It's even better in person, isn't it's it? It's much better than... I mean, I don't know if our monitors are the same quality as that people see at yeah. home, but it's ten times better than the picture that I'm seeing in front yeah. of me. It's got a warmth of colour that just doesn't translate when it's bleached out with these lights. No, I agree. I agree. I bought this with the white onyx, and I, I oh, think wow. they would be amazing together. Because you'd, so you'd start seeing that red jade, wouldn't you? Work that into you, it. Oh... Now, now there's, there's a millimetre in this, a millimetre difference in their size. But let's, let's price it accordingly. Two uh, £279.99. You can get this home today on your split pay for £69.99. Oh, it's to uh, Listen, I, kn I know what you're about to do, and I, I remember it quite vividly, and I also know that they are very limited because of this. Um, producer Tom shocked. How many have I got, though? Okay. We've got 24 of these. I do remember what Dave did, because it... Uh, like I said, I purchased it myself. 24 opportunities, an opportunity that we absolutely know we will not get again. We might be able to bring you type B and type C. We know this. We've said this. We've been quite transparent and open. We can bring you the dyed. We can bring you the polymer impregnated. That's not an issue. Type A grade is what we can't source. Um, even Roland Schluss, you know, the, you know, the, 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 the dominant force that he is in the jadeite world, has said, literally, I, I, we're going to have to diversify. Their entire careers, both him um, and his beautiful wife, has been around jade. And they've said, we can't sustain it because it's no longer coming out of the ground particularly in this uh, or these rare saturations so do you think this is going to be a gemstone that is going to be valued at anywhere near 279 pounds one thing i do need to mention though if you are getting your jadeite valued please don't just take it to your high street jewellers. With the greatest of respects, they will not appreciate the rarity of jadeite. It is a gemstone, very new, really, to the uh, Western world. So it has to be a fully-fledged gemologist. Um, yeah, 12 months ago, I didn't know you could get red jade. In another 12 months, it will be a distant memory. Isn't that... Wow, mind-blowing, that is. Yeah. It died. That's fine. We could, we could dye it. But natural. Do you remember when Pareba Tourmaline was available on our sister channels? Brazilian Pareba Tourmaline. It was available and we used to bring it at silly prices like this. Now, again, yeah, uh, again, Toby Cavill, his lovely uh, mum, bought a Pareba Tourmaline back then. And it's unbelievable. Absolutely unbelievable. Isn't it valued at tens of thousands of pounds? Oh, really? It's amazing. She's recutting it. Oh. £199. The reality is we can't get hold of Brazilian tourmaline unless it's, of course, in the secondary market. That's, what, that's the scenario that we're in right now. But with natural type A jade. 
199 pounds and 99 pence alice paula jenny allen jean uh, jenny hello to you gail london lancashire you've got yours lynn margaret new customer cumbria you're there remember again don't take my word for it have a little look at lots that have sold actually at what christie's and bonhams and sotheby's a red jadeite bangle um a bangle there we go estimate very conservative 70 hong kong dollars price realized 370 Five Hong Kong dollars. Um, what was that? Eleven years ago. And remember? Now. Yeah. Imagine it now. Yeah, exactly. Because there's a 727% increase of jadeite year over last year. So that's going to be quite staggering, isn't it? Have a little look. This little snuff bottle that we saw a few moments ago. Um, what's that price? Realised US dollars. This is in 32,000 US dollars. Um, have a little look at this beautiful carving. There you go. A rare and finely carved red jadeite bottle. That highlights to me just how rare the skin is, how rare the colour is, because the majority of those bottles, technically speaking, would be green, wouldn't it? Yeah. Like an apple blossom green. Yeah. But they're highlighting on that beautiful seam of red running through, which is where they've done the carving. What was the price on that? 18,800 US dollars back in 20, uh, 2002. That's, I mean, yes, you've got the history and the carvings and things like that, but really, you know, the rarity is absolutely, to go inside with that is the, is the colour of the jadeite. At 199, uh, 199 I'm going to leave those final uh, few with you. Heather, Patricia, Margaret, well done to you. Lancashire, Justin, you buyers, stay where you are. Massive, massive congratulations on those. Um, okay, these are super sweet. Which ones? So I have two. Uh, we described the colour as pumpkins, yeah, didn't we? Yeah. You're going to have to Google it for me because I don't actually remember. But I know the pumpkin means something in Chinese culture. Oh, they are adorable. Aren't they lovely? Aren't they gorgeous? Look how beautiful they how are. How clever. I know. The carving, they're all completely hand carved. Come on, stay there. Stay. He doesn't want to. Let's put him in the tweezers. Come on. Where's the tweezers gone? Um, and I'll show you on the tweezers. There we are. Oh, my goodness. Look at that. All hand carved. So they will differ ever so slightly. Yeah, but the carving, um, the pumpkin has got meaning in its own individual right. I mean, oh, I've just thought, what about, what about alongside uh, your masterclass? Oh, it would be amazing because it would go so beautifully with the donuts of, of both of the colours. I think, um, you know, how they've... I mean, you say pumpkin carved, and I didn't think that they'd be so much like a real pumpkin. No, they actually It's literally really, like really... <laughs> don't they? They literally look like little pumpkins. I've been tempted to nest a little topaz or a diamond. So cute. Um, in the centre. They're adorable, aren't they? Do we know the answer? Prosperity, gifted for, for fertility uses. I love that. And prosperity is a multitude of things, isn't it? It's not just yeah. financial. No, and it's prosperity in life, in, in love. Happiness. Happiness. Ah, oh, Stephen says working with us. Amazing. Uh, likewise, Stephen. These are so beautiful and they're nine millimetres in their size. They create, not only that, you could look at them as almost like little floral, floral motifs, couldn't you? Oh, yeah, because you can turn them sideways as mm -hmm. well, couldn't you? And as you say, put a, a lovely little gemstone on the end of a head pin and have them that way. Oh, his earrings. They'd be beautiful, beautiful little earrings. Now, you do get not just the one, you're getting five. They are big, natural, type A certified red jadeites. The Chinese believe pumpkins harness the earth's energy and create their gold color. China produces the most pumpkins in the world. I did not know that. Oh At nearly 7 million tons a year. So you better believe they take them seriously. <laughs> pumpkins symbolize prosperity uh, and star in many Chinese New Year dishes, heavily rooted in folklore. Uh, gourds are also gifted as fertility icons. Now, we actually have the gourds too. 
Um, uh, gourds are like little vases. They look like the, 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 those curved vases. Oh, yeah. So loving that, the meanings behind. Well, we've learned something today, haven't we? Seven million tonnes a year of pumpkins. Not seven million pumpkins. That's a lot of pumpkins. It's madness, <laughs> isn't it? I hope they, I hope they, uh, um, they use them afterwards in their dishes and feed them to the wildlife and whatnot. Don't just chuck your pumpkins away. Right then, let's do what? Oh, these are awesome. I love the shape. They're almost like, am I missing one? Yeah, I am, I'm missing one. I know. Oh, hang on, no, I'm not. I've just picked up the wrong ones. We've called these, oh, drop slabs. Yeah, that makes sense. Oh, come here. Because these are unreal. Uh, your technique that you demonstrated earlier on. You could definitely do that. Oh, my goodness. Imagine these alongside your grand digerite. Oh, it's just the colours together would be beautiful. Look at that. It's all completely natural. This reminds me, actually, of the little snuff bottle because you've got that lovely organic shape. Yeah, have I know. When I was looking at that, I was wondering how big it might be because it would only be little. It would look almost just like a long bead, mm -hmm. wouldn't it? Or maybe using these in your tassels, in amongst your tassels. Oh, you've got two earrings and a pendant. Then. Oh, yes. Yeah, there's me being very indulgent, thinking but about just, using on the bottom of the tassel. Yeah, yeah can you imagine? Yeah, I just <laughs> a red put... jade tassel. Well, oh, why not? Why not? Why That's not? me being complacent again, isn't it? Twenty-four pounds and ninety-nine pence. You've got a really lovely, generous drill hole there. Again, let's not don't lose sight of this because when we actually speak to our suppliers, if we're you know, I don't know if we've if we've dictated to them or asked them what cuts we want to actually yeah. have from our jadeite. Um, but if that is the case, imagine us saying, "Oh, excuse me, please can we get one of the rarest colours? What the red? Yes, please, like the rarest colours. But also, can you drill a big?" whopping hole in the centre of it, please. <laughs> just so we can put, put our head pins on there. That's exactly what we do. <laughs> that, you know? Yeah, it, it's, you would just, yeah. We're not even stopping here. They are huge, absolutely huge, beautiful size. You could even use them as individual rings, maybe alongside things like gallery wire. And oh yeah, it'd be beautiful. 49.99 getting one of the rarest colors of jadeite remember roland schluss actually said that he believes the reds the uh lavenders and the whites are likely to overtake imperial green jadeite in terms of the value of this gemstone um the price of type a jade is right now at an all-time high particularly difficult for us is the sourcing of the skin this is the fancy colors of jade lavender and red these prized colors are so rare because uh this is the skin uh, of the boulder as it oxidizes uh why is uh this is why you never get solid red color sculptures um or jewelry the skin is so thin comparatively uh to the bowl uh, sorry comparatively and the boulders aren't coming out in the current market pillar and stone literally said i don't know about you but i see exclusive red color i don't see just a seam running through okay Let's move on because one of my favorites, I love these. Look at these shapes. Oh, look at that color. It is, it's all about the color, isn't it, for this one? Oh, these are good. These are really good. So usable. Aren't they beautiful? 10 carat solitaires. Yeah, um, and because and you've got that intensity of colour, don't you think it's really going to pack a punch, isn't it? Oh, yeah. I mean, again, I just want to put them with pearls. <laughs> yeah, that would be lovely. Can you imagine rounds in between <gasps> this colour? So you've got these and then rounds in between. I think that would really lend itself to a lovely piece of jewellery. Oh, wouldn't it just? forty nine ninety nine on split pay. You are getting, again, 10 carats... Wow, of natural type A Burmese red jade eye. How about we make it 49.99 total? I love this cut. They look like Chinese lanterns, don't they? They do. Yeah, they do. You could have a little tassel on the bottom and make that as a I tassel. love it. Oh, that yes. Would be so pretty. Or chain. Look, little Chinese lanterns. But also, do you remember those plants that my mum used to have them dried in a vase that were literally like Chinese? They used to call them Chinese lanterns. Yeah, they were like they? seed pod things. Yeah. yeah. Do you remember those? Yeah. I used to always want to pop, Swishing, desperate yeah. to pop it. 
really desperate mum be like, don't touch. But they were oh. literally, I think they're named after the Chinese lantern itself, but they literally look like that, 49.99 only. Again, get your certificate of authenticity. I think you'll be grateful um, to have that in black and white. The only information that will not be um, included on that certificate is actually the price that you are paying. You don't want that information there. And if ever you do get any of your gemstones uh, or pieces valued, Never mention to the valuer the price that you pay. They are legally obligated to value it at that amount. Make them earn their money. You're paying them enough to value your pieces of jewellery. So with type A jadeite, for example, if you were going in with opportunities like this, don't mention. Don't mention where you got it from. Don't mention the price. Let them do the research. And they'll be looking at these kind of... They will. The, the information that we've just been sharing with you, you know, the Christie's, the Sotheby's, those kind of establishments. They'll be looking at Roland Schluso's book for the price and the rarity of the gemstone. $49.99, absolutely incredible opportunities. Uh, I love the... Oh, yeah, this is the one Dave kept laughing about. This is a new shape. It's a new shape. Look at your graphics. Do you see it? Hexonagon. <laughs> Hexonagon, yeah. We've made, we've even, Hexonagon. Yeah, made up a new shape speci uh, speci <laughs> specifically for your type A, Jane. Um, okay, let's bring you now... Which one? Oh, the gourds. Look, so this... Have we called them vases? Yeah, well, they, I see that in our world. It is a vase, I guess, but... In Chinese, they call these gourds. They're, they're sweet, aren't they? They're really cute. They'd be lovely earrings. Through drill, too. Oh, that's a decent sized drill hole as well. By yeah. The of it. Really sweet. Love those. Literally just pop them onto a head pin. Yeah, that's all you need to do. Keep it simple. Simplest make, luxury jewellery. Do a little write-up. Don't be afraid to sort of, uh, you know, if you if you sell jewellery, if you go to your artisanal markets, and I know there is a, a place for everything, but, you know, do a little write-up on the rarity of type A jade. I, I used to always put the gemstone in a little information about the gemstone next to the jewellery that had that gemstone in it. And that would be, I bet that used to make a big difference. It's a too. talking point. It gets people over. Hello, Avon. Uh, I got these for my granddaughter. They're beautiful. They are, aren't they? They're really beautiful. I love that shape. I mean, that, it's a little, like classic urn, isn't yeah, it, almost? Um, OK, but I know they're limited. That clock is ticking away. Thank you for your message, Avon. Five carats of your lovely natural type A Burmese jadeite red, jadeite rather, um, hearts, and you're getting the pair of them. One of the most affordable prices that, we, uh, that we've brought you in Red, Red Jade out full stop. Moving forward, we absolutely know, okay, we might be able to bring you Red Jade out, but it's more than likely going to be your type B and type C. It's going to be dyed or it's going to be polymer impregnated. Because again, if Roland Schlusso is actually having issues actually uh, purchasing jade eye, then you can bet your bottom dollar we will be too. And he's literally said that that stand, look behind, look behind Dave right now on this photograph. Look, look, look behind the graphics. Look at the, the colours of jade. You can see the lavenders, can't you? You can see the greens. You can see black jade eye. Very little red. Very, very, very little red. That's what you're sourcing right now. Natural type A red jadeite um, for £7.50. What? <laughs> You've said all that. You've said all that and then that's the price. <laughs> that's I'm fairly amazing. sure I spent more than that on my breakfast this morning. <laughs> £7.50. I didn't spend £30 on my breakfast. <laughs> no, no, no. I meant the coffee and you know, the brekkie. <laughs> Seven pounds forty nine pence on split pay. That's so good. I didn't know we could do that. Unbelievable. Check out those baskets. Well done, everybody. Hello to you, Lisa. Depending on how big the drill hole is, uh, could you put a couple of head pins through um, with some beads coming out the top to oh. look like a vase of flowers? I'd say yes, because it's quite... You said it, actually. You didn't you could you do that with the featherweight head pins, definitely. Well, they're quite generous drill holes, aren't they? They are generous, so I think you'd be able to do it with... Um, yeah, definitely. Um, I'll give so it a go. It sounds a lovely idea, Lisa. 
Um, keep on dialing through. Stay where you are on those phone lines. Our call centre will get to you. But up next, I'm really excited about this masterclass with lovely Debbie. Um, you had me on social media. You literally <laughs> did. They've been specially calibrated for, um, for Debbie and your amazing kits. Literally two kits. That's all we have. Um, I do believe these are going to be on screen sellouts. It's all basically inspired by one amazing design house. Join us after this. Did you know that calls are free from a UK landline and our phone lines are open 24 hours a day, seven days a week? Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Stay interactive with Jewelry Maker by texting the studio during our live hours of 8 till 5. Start your message with JM Studio and send it to 78070. Jewelry Maker, create, wear, share. It's easy to stay in touch with Jewelry Maker. You can like our Facebook page and join our community of over 69,000 people. You can follow us on Twitter and tweet us your messages and opinions. You can also find us on Instagram and even TikTok. Make sure you get involved and stay up to date with Jewelry Maker. Here at Jewelry Maker, we're always looking ways to make your shopping experience better. That's why on certain items, we've got split pay, where you can spread the cost over two, three or four months at no extra cost to you. So you can buy your way with split pay. Jewelry Makers, did you know that you can purchase as many times as you like throughout the day and you'll only be charged one postage and packaging fee? No matter the size, weight or quantity of your order, how many times you check out that day, we will still only charge you that single P&P. Keep things simple on Jewelry Maker. Hi guys, I'm looking forward to you guys joining me for what we are billing as Super Saturday and the most exciting uh, collection or launch that we have ever had. It is of course the legendary Olmec Jade, a jadeite that has captivated civilizations for 3,000 years and was lost for, for 500 years. They have finally rediscovered these incredible mines and we are thrilled to offer you the rarest jadeite in the world. Our friendly and knowledgeable help team are available 24 hours a day, 365 days a year. If you have a question or query, contact us on 0800 644 655 and press option 2. Alternatively, you can email or drop us a direct message on our Facebook page. Jewelry Maker, happy to help. Buying with Jewelry Maker couldn't be easier. Here's a quick overview of how to get involved. When you see a product you like and you want to purchase, you will see the graphics appear on the screen. You'll see the item code and a starting price. As time goes on, you'll see the price drop. And as viewers call in and customers add it to their baskets online, you'll also see the quantity decrease too. No matter at what point you order, everybody pays the final low price. And there's only one PMP charge on everything you purchase throughout the day. We offer you a 30-day money-back guarantee, so there's no risk whether you're purchasing for the first time or any time. Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker.
singing. No, we were. <laughs> Tom, producer Tom was in the in the gallery, literally saying, uh, singing. Do you remember that song? I believe in a thing called love. <laughs> la, 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 la. We've done, a, we've done a little gemstone rent. Uh, uh, um, I won't sing it out loud because, frankly, I don't want to spoil your day. Um, yeah, it's really not good. Um, anyway, let's talk about these amazing kits and um, the fact that these are inspired by an amazing design house. Um, you're going to be absolutely floored and gobsmacked at some of the prices that I'm about to show you. Um, but, I mean, let's show you jewellery as well whilst we're just loading all the PowerPoint if we can um because it's it's all about very organic shapes and this is beautiful but to get all to get a graduation of donuts it, well it's very very difficult because yeah. the, the donuts usually sort of have the hole in the min middle but they're not graduated so these have actually been cut so that you can fit in a mount inside the middle of it so that you can set a gemstone into yeah so that makes them very very special and our buying team um worked really hard mm -hmm. to get the commission these in essence to be made specifically for this purpose to make this style of of jewelry which i think is really elegant very much it's, so it's all about clean lines mm -hmm. of course you can make it sort of more complicated i've used some bead caps in the middle and just to show you that you can do other things but um i think that it makes some really quite stunning jewelry oh now, totally there are another pair of earrings that i can't find i think they might be at the bottom of my bag but if you go onto my social media or even onto jewelry makers social media you'll see them they're the big donuts with one um one of the stones actually glued into the middle without a mount that's oh really so yeah they're probably at the bottom of my bag so i've got out so much jewelry this morning but there is a photograph of them and it's on it's on jewelry maker instagram um and on their page so we'll have a look at that well let's explore the inspiration behind these i mean they've been literally these kits have been what we call specced yeah. So we've spec'd the kits. Um, so we've basically gone to our wonderful cutting houses, our amazing suppliers, and said, look, this is the kind of thing that we want to achieve at the end of it, um, but we will need you to calibrate the donuts. Um, <laughs> so <laughs> calibrate your donuts. You don't say that many times. No, do not very often, no. <laughs> um, so here is the designer, Fernando Georges. Uh, I hope I'm pronouncing that right. Excuse me if I'm not. And it's called Surround. The yeah. collection is called Surround. Beautifully uh, a beautifully cut diamonds with natural custom cut materials that convey a feeling of grounding and warmth. The designs are inspired by our connection to the earth. I mean, that is funny that they say that because when I think about um, immediately, I imagined when I read that paragraph, I actually imagined Glen Lehrer. Yes. You know, and the uh, and the Taurus ring, which is very much all about those circle like shapes. And he said about, you know, how frequently we see this, you know, the circle shape actually in uh, the universe itself. But here's a couple of the uh, Fernando George collection, the surround collection. Um, this one, as you can see, it's got nephrite jade in there. It's got some aquamarine in there. Look at the price, though. Five thousand seven hundred and fifty <laughs> pounds. Um, you can get some little studs. £2,000. Um, £2,000 with a little diamond nestled within. Really beautiful and amazing nephrite that you're getting there. Got a few different pieces and solitaire earrings, that, uh, sorry, rings like this, 4550 Drop. They're lovely, aren't they? But you know what? What is it? Um, I'm trying to work out what the gem is. But you could do that with these kits because we've got some little teeny mm. gem. You'll see some little teeny gemstones and teeny mounts. So you could do. I mean, I think I the biggest I well, did was the the necklace. I think I did three, but you could definitely do five. Well, look at look look at the actual topaz that you're getting. Oh yes. Do you see what I mean? So I've actually put a bit of sterling silver wire on there, but you could you could do. Yeah, look, and you get the mounts for those as well. Oh my goodness! I me. know. They're like huge diamonds. They, I, I'm amazed. It's now resonating with me how awesome the kits, pri the, the masterclass kit prices are. Yeah. Because I'd pay that for these topaz. They're beautiful as well. Like if you get this kit and you get those out of the 
box. You'll spend ages just looking at them going like, wow, you're almost Ooh, too scared to touch them. Oh, you're so pretty. They're so um, fiery. They yeah. just send the light everywhere. Well, literally pure, aren't they? Completely yeah. pure. Um, here we go, back to some, some, some studs. Here we go, the Orbit Large Studs, £3,700. Wow. You can uh, literally, you can see why we're inspired by it. It's classic, it's clean, it's very elegant, but something that you can definitely uh, create. We have a needed to customise this kit especially for you. Now it comes in two different colours. Look at this though. <laughs> and you've got 45 grand. I don't know what a Thai goose seed is. I was just going to ask that question. What a Thai goose seed is. I don't know. I know they do mother of pearl. I'm not entirely sure what that one is. But anyway, it's £45,000, so I quickly moved on from it. <laughs> Did so, you just thought uh, that maybe next week? <laughs> yeah. It's a, it's a kind of palm tree. Right, though. Okay. Not sure. Forty-five grand. Um, now, <laughs> very expensive. Whatever it is, very expensive. So <gasps> I thought, oh, yeah. <laughs> That's the first reel I've ever done. I'm impressed. I don't know how to do them while I do now. Ah. I'm going to my husband. Look, just just press record on this ring because I, I I wear rings like that every day. I mean, just totally so simple. You've got that clean line and it's a circle. You were saying that never ending circle um, with this gorgeous sparkly. It looks like a diamond in the middle. It's a whopper of a diamond. It, yeah. Whopper. And, you know, I just think it's very pretty. Oh, my. I love it. I love it. I love it. Right. Let's we're going to start with which kit? The tiger's eye. Let's start with the tiger's eye. It's literally t one of two kits, choice of colorways. And what I will show you first, they are natural, pure, colorless topaz. Look at the quality. I will open these up in a second so you can see, you know, that amazing brilliance. Naturally brilliant forming. Many lepidurists will favor a topaz um, over a diamond in actual fact because it's got a pure a white color if that makes sense i've got one here if you want i probably have my sticky mitts all over it but oh my goodness it's so when you get them out, when i got them out i was shocked by not the quality but how amazingly you know when you draw a, a diamond, people draw a diamond and it looks all perfect. It looks like that. It is, yeah, it's like. the, it is the perfect round, brilliant cut. You can see, look, literally, if I was to show you, you know, the 57 facets of a, a round, brilliant cut, this, this gemstone will actually show it better than a diamond actually would. You don't just get the one, though. Look at the collection that you're getting, and that's not even one of the biggest. No. Goodness me. Then you've got, as Debbie said, <coughs> excuse me, um, the tube, are these called tube bezels, Debbie? Yeah, tube setting. So you've got your little um, seat already cut in. Is that that? That's, if you, no, if you have a look at inside the little tube, and I'll show you when I'm demoing, but there's one end is flat and the other end has got like a little um, oh, yeah. seat cut in. There we are, let me hold it. See what I mean? Yes, I can. So you can tell which end is which. Mm -hmm. And that's where your, thank you, that's where your gemstone um will sit now when we're making these from scratch you have to cut the seat and it's a fiddly business is it yep so to have those already calibrated to your gemstones is amazing um, these are also very very simple to set so if you haven't set gemstones before there isn't um, really anything to it um, and then i will talk you through different ways that you can add this now you don't have to be able to solder you can, or you can glue these into place with jewelry glue. Amazing. So, I mean, I've had a go with these tube settings and they are actually quite forgiving, aren't they? they are. Really forgiving. Now, you are getting, what, two of each size, is that right? I think yeah. you're getting two of each of the tube settings. Yeah, I can see it, two pack of each size. So that's two mil, three mil, four mil, and six mil yeah. to go alongside um, your lovely topaz. But like you said, you can also just glue these. Um, I've shown you all that lovely sterling silver. Wait a minute. And you also get the specially calibrated, like I said, you do, and donut strands is one thing. Well, they're not, it's not even strand because then you'd have the actual drill hole running through the center, which would spoil the donut itself, wouldn't it? Um, can you see, no drill hole. These have been specially calibrated. You've got the graduation here as well. It's, it's amazing, this masterclass, I absolutely love it. 
Look at that. Oh, yeah, deep mahogany red, tiger's eye, just waiting for you to put your beautiful colorless topaz inside. Look, I'm so excited by this masterclass, Debbie. Um, and like I said, you don't have to be a solder. You don't have to be a silversmith to work with these. Well, no, what I've done is I've, I'm going to show you cool. different ways to do it. And I'll show you if you want to solder it, how I, how I did it. Um, but I, I didn't solder anything at first. And then I was desperate to make a ring. <laughs> So I did solder, but it didn't take me very long. Look at that. I know. It, I mean, I don't know if you can see. Let me pop it on your board. Look, the, it's just decided to do it itself. One of the little donuts found its way into the other little donut. And it's just, um, it's just stunning. You just, so, you know, there's so many different things you can do. I mean, I was inspired so much by um the, the pictures we've shown you but you know i never copy other people's jewelry because i just don't think it's ethically um okay <coughs> to do that of course mm -hmm. it is here because we're here to give you ideas and of course you can copy our jewelry but when mm -hmm. it's a design house um yep. you know you but so i've sort of put my own take on it so i just think that each donut really speaks for, for itself and i i got this whole collection of jewelry and i had loads left i've got loads left and i just think that they look so much like diamonds. I defy anybody, apart from maybe the size, think, having a look and thinking, oh, that can't be a diamond because it's huge, thinking that that isn't. <laughs> yeah, I know. Well, it, yeah, it's a beautiful, pure collection, a parcel of pure white topaz. Two kits. We've literally got two kits. We're going to take this under £100, and we're not stopping there. Never have, never have I seen a kit design quite like it. Literally spec uh, specified, uh, we've spec the kit to in accordance to the inspiration, you know, calibrated your topaz to go into your beautiful uh, red tiger's eye. Use a bit of glue if you're not if you're not a silversmith. There's nothing wrong with that. Lots of the biggest designers will use glue. Nothing wrong with that. Even if we were to stop at seventy nine ninety nine, Debbie, that's awesome. Look, the, the topaz should be at least that. Well, you could sell one piece of jewelry at a, a decent craft fair mm -hmm. or um, a boutique jeweler's. For seventy nine ninety nine, so that's one piece, and everything else is yeah. bread and butter. Yeah. Can I see? Can you pass me that lovely ring? Yeah. I do love that. Mm -hmm. They do on that website. They also do like um, almost like a boodles inspiration, where it looks like little bubbles. Oh, I love that. Like a little collection of them. That's gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. That was literally made as an afterthought because I thought I want a ring. Um, and I thought, oh, can I be bothered to open the workshop? And I did. And it, it literally took me mm, 20 minutes, under half an hour to make that ring. Amazing. And it's soldered. It's gorgeous. It's sterling silver. It's genuine topaz, not cubic zirconia. This one, obviously, we're showing you in the lapis lazuli. Right now, we're talking about the beautiful mahogany red tiger's eye. These are limited, limited kits. Look at that, full of incredible chatoyancy. Um, how many do we have of, of each of these kits? Only 70. Oh, no. That's not going to be enough, is it? Well, I tell you what, thirty nine ninety nine. that beats the 45 grand price tag that we just saw. I mean, I know they're diamonds, but 45 grand? That's a really good price. That's incredible. That's really, really good. Oh. Yeah, you can get the large signal pendant. Um, remember, they're called, uh, sorry, uh, signal, uh, yeah, signal pen. It's called the Surround Collection. 18 karat yellow gold, diamonds, petrified wood, tiger's eye, mother of pearl, and there's that tagayu seed or whatever it's called. 12 grand. I, it's beautiful, but I think you could make it. With the with the, with the with you know with specifically calibrated shapes. Can I be controversial again? Yeah. I prefer our tiger's eye kit to that. I don't like that very much. I do like wood in jewellery. I do like it, but I just think that's a bit too much, all of those together. I, I like the that. yellow. I like the yellow in the centre. There's too many shades. Each other. Yeah. yeah, they're competing. I get where you're coming from I there. I like the big 
wodge of tiger's eye like yeah. this. It's so beautiful. If you get a big thick piece of tiger's eye, you can see the beauty of it. Yeah, totally. Totally get you. We've, we've again specifically calibrated the actual gemstones, your topaz to go into your tiger's eye and also those 925 sterling silver tubes. If you've never done any silver smithing, um, don't let that put you, uh, put you off getting involved because yeah, you can literally just use your glue. Um, and I've had a go at the tube setting and I'm definitely no talented jewellery maker. Um, it's relatively forgiving, isn't it? Yeah, it's very forgiving because you... And also, I did find with these kits that the gemstones fitted perfectly mm. into the mounts. You know, like with any pre-made mounts, sometimes you have to sort of get your Dremel out or your... Yeah. You know, you know forward them and just do a little, as my dad oh, would say, wow. kind of nicks and picks of getting it right. Um you don't have to do oh. this. I think they've been made especially for the end result. So yeah. Um, yeah look at, look at how sweet these little dinky ones are. And they're not drilled through the center. It is a complete solid. Well, technically, I guess it's almost like a high goo, isn't it? Um, yeah, it, yeah, it is. And it's, it's the way, it's because the center is graduated. Mm. Uh, is what's so special about it. So that you can put- How do you mean graduated? Well, you put, you, if you have a look, where are we? So it goes from wide on oh. the outside to, to narrow. Are you with me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So if I pick up one of the big ones, will that help us to show yeah. it? Let's show this one. So, oh, I get it. Do you see what I mean? Oh. So it's sort of, it's wide and then it goes narrower. So it like tapers in? Yeah, yeah, yeah. On one side. Can you see in it? You get that beautiful shape. So stunning. I love the lapis as well. I really do. I couldn't pick a favourite out of these two because I think I'd, uh, I'd definitely wear both. Oh, it's a tough one, isn't it? I do like the lapis, though. Yeah, look at that. Because that is that classic <laughs> royal blue, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, it really is. Um, oh, I'd, uh, amazing. Absolutely amazing. Are you ready? Brand new, premiering today. You're getting these beautiful colourless topaz. You're getting all of your amazing lapis lazuli graduated donuts, not drilled through the centre. They are specifically cut for this masterclass. And you're getting all your lovely sterling silver tube sets, £39.99. Absolutely incredible, isn't it? And this is jewellery that, like I said, we're just a little bit know-how, and we've got that from our lovely Debbie. <laughs> Um, you can be making jewellery like this. Fernando George themselves, um, they were the inspiration. Hi, guys. Put the tourmaline in the middle of the lapis. Oh. That would be gorgeous. Yeah. You could do that. You could definitely... What were the little three mils, you mean? That would be lovely. And there is a way of setting um, a gemstone inside a donut. And, but it... It, it, so it kind of goes with some very advanced silversmithing techniques. So to actually have a kit mm. where you can put it together and not have to have, have all these tools and all yeah. this, you know, I, I like that because it makes it accessible to everybody. Well, not everyone's got workshops. And, and not things, everyone's but... a silversmith. Not everyone wants to do that. Some people are beaders, but they yeah. want to make something that looks like that. So you can do that with this kit. Yeah, lovely. Um, well, show us how. Okie okay, dokie. So the first thing you have to do with any of this is set the gemstone. So we've been talking about how easy that is. Now I've got this tool. Now I know that the first time we brought this tool to air, um, let's just take the silica. It, it, actually, this is a good point. I put these little silica, you know, you get them in handbags and things in all my metal smithing tools because it stops the damp from getting oh, in. Oh, okay. And damp is the enemy of any Tools. metal tool because it will make it rust. So keep any water away. And if you're storing it, if you're going to close that lid, put one of those in. And yeah, it's no, no issue. Yeah. So the first time we bought these two, I know we sold them out. Like we bought them to air again. And I've had loads of comments on, I've got this, but I don't really know what I'm supposed to do with it. So I thought, well, I'll, de I'll demo with it today. So Prime that opportunity. Help some out. Oh, it's on your screen now. We've oh, only got a couple of them though, oh, so right. very limited. Okay, so with this punch set, you get um, all of the different... Um, Measurements. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's the word I'm looking for, measurement. Now, I don't tend to go by that too much. I could just go by sort of my experience of, of doing it. And what I like to do is find a punch head that fits comfortably over the top of the 
mount that I'm using. Mm -hmm. So if this is a four mil gemstone and I pick up a four mil or slightly over four mil, I tend to find that's not big enough. So I just don't look at that because you can always come down in size. Now I'm just gonna move this out of the way. Now the easiest way to set this is all the usual rules apply where you just pop your gemstone in, which I've done actually and it's not even come out. Um, and it will sit flat. And if you can see that really beautifully from the side there, that that is completely even. And with some of our gemstones, we have to take our tools and work on these, these pre-made mounts so that you get that level of accuracy. But these are wonderfully made, really beautiful. I did not have a um, problem with setting any of these at all. I did not have to take a burr to any of them. So you pop the gemstone in, you get um, right down on the level of the gemstone so that you can just check from all angles and from above that that gemstone is sitting just inside the lip. Now, this is probably a good time to mention, this is one that I've soldered, that there are two sides to this. So you've got the back, which has just got that sort of thicker lip there that's the back and then if you look at the front it's got the little seat inside so I don't know if you can just see that it's like a little lip just yeah. inside can you see that's called the seat so is that where the girdle will sit yes so right. that's where your gemstone sits and usually if you're making the tube setting yourself you would have to make that yourself with your tools which is quite time consuming and takes a fair degree of skill so the fact that these are already made for you really enables you to be able to set gemstones and maybe you know you're not a stone setter but you just want you like the look of the jewelry okay so that's worth mentioning so the gemstone goes into the side where the seat is it doesn't go into the side that's just flat so you've made sure of that and you've popped your gemstone in now I'm going to move my board because I need a um, tough tough surface to do this on do you need that do you want me to grab it no I need a solid surface I need a when not when we're knocking on the door yeah yeah <laughs> so I'm going to move that out of the way just for now and then bring this back in mm-hmm so there's a couple of ways that you can use this tool with the tool itself you get a little handle and this will fit every single one of the tools in the little box and you will just you just need to unscrew so that you can get your little mandrel inside and then once you're inside you do it up again now all you do with this tool is you pop it on top and you press down and then what I like to do is I twist it. So I do some little circles and then lift it off again. And what you'll see is when you, when you know it's set is the sides will become shiny and burnished because what you're doing is this tool... Come to, okay, thank you. <laughs> I was just going to show the other camera. Okay, there you go. So... If you can see in there, you've got a graduation in that tool. So it, what it does is evenly, it pushes your mount into the tool, which closes up your edges really evenly. Now, if you don't have a tool like this, you can, of course, set in the usual way with your pusher. You just go around each, each end doing 12 o'clock, 6 o'clock, 3 o'clock, and push with your pusher. But this is entirely a, a much, much quicker way of doing it. Mm -hmm. Now, if you find that your stone is being a bit stubborn and it doesn't really want to play ball, come down a size and just do that again. Another way that you can do this is unscrew your little handle Pop this on the top and take a hammer and tap it. Tap, 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 tap. And that's going to force that in there. As it moves up, it gets narrower. And then again, you're closing the sides of that mount equally over that stone. And that's it. That's it. Huh. So I've talked through that like it's really complicated. But you literally, you get your tool, you put it on the top, you give it a twist... Do you have to do the head bob? Yeah, you have to do the head bob. That, that you know, if you learn to do this, they tell you that in the manual. <laughs> you do the little twist like that. I'll show you from the side. You can't see from the top. And then that gem is now set. Okay? okay. So I'm going to move that out of the way and bring my board back in. Mm -hmm. So you've set that gemstone. Now, let's grab... <coughs> excuse me. 
Now you've got your gemstone set, you need to decide how you're going to attach it. Just got a frog in my throat, just gonna take a sip of tea. A cup of, have a sip of your tea. Nice warm cup of tea. Oh, it's lovely. <coughs> it needs it. So you've got your gemstone set, and in this kit you have, I don't know how close we can get to that, but look at those. Gems. Oh, they are amazing. absolutely beautiful. Aren't they? So can you see that we've got the different size gemstones and then you've got the different size mounts, even down to the teeny tiny, I'm going to turn it so you can see, the teeny tiny little mounts that will take the teeny tiny little gemstones and you can set those, <laughs> I'm throwing them everywhere, you can set them exactly the same way as I've just shown you. So there's really nothing difficult about setting those. So once you've decided on your size of gemstone and your mount, you then need to decide how you're going to set it. Now, if you're going to set it within, which I did with most of this jewellery that you've seen, one of these, you've got to bear in mind of how you're going to attach it. And these aren't drilled at all. These Sorry, so we just no, had a message not. Message come in. They're not drilled at all. They're not drilled. No, no, nowhere for strands There's, as such. No, yeah. so you need to decide how you're going to set it. And you can do that in one of two ways. And I'm going to show you the non-soldering easy way to do it first, oh, yeah. is with wire. Mm -hmm. So I would say that if you can use sterling silver wire because it's going to add to the value of your piece. You've got these beautiful bespoke donuts that have been created especially for jewellery maker. You've got these beautiful mounts with a lovely, really, really lovely gemstone. Wait till you get this home and see it. Honestly, it's beautiful. So use sterling silver wire if you've got it, just so that you're keeping the value of that piece, especially if you're making to sell. So if we're going to wrap this donut in the wire so that we can attach it, and I'll show you on a finished piece in a moment, you've got to decide whether you're going to just have this one donut, in which case you've got one piece of wire, or whether you're going to have two pieces of wire, because this will determine which size donut that you have. So if you put in a mount that fills that up, then you're not going to be able to put your wire in there. It's not going to fit. Am I making sense? Yeah. So if I grab the earrings from the bust so that I can show you mm -hmm. what I mean in person. So I'm going to pop them down onto my mat so that you can see. So on the overhead, God, I love these earrings. Look at those. Amazing. <laughs> so it's, it's not me, it's the kit. So I have needed space for my sterling silver wire because I knew that I was going to add this lovely drop on here. So I've got some just some spacer beads there. So I knew that I did have a donut, which was this size, that that would fit snugly into. But if I glued that into there, how am I going to attach it to mm. anything? So I chose the next size up so that I could glue that into place and still have room to wrap my wire and make my piece. And so I thought, if I'm going to glue that into place, I'm going to glue it slightly off centre to give it like a bit of a, a vibe, a bit of a, a kind of design, a feel, rather than just directly in the centre. But that's completely up to you. So. What you need to do is either check your positioning first and glue your stone and then you can wire wrap. Or if you want to be completely sure, you can wire wrap first. So let's just do that. It's a nice, simple technique. So I'm going to move these to the side. So I've taken my wire and you want to make sure that you're not leaving sort of a baggy bit inside your donut because that's going to take up space that you might need. So just take a moment when you're doing your wrapped loop to just get your tools and really give this a pull so that you're really making a nice tight connection there and taking up not any more space than you need. And then I'm just wrapping that around there and then I'm just going to snip that off. Okay, so then you'll decide what you want to do with that later. But you know that you've got your piece of wire on there. So whatever you set in there, it's going to fit and you're going to be able to attach it to your earring or your pendant or whatever you're doing. So then you, the next stage was actually to glue this in. And what I use for this, and I'm not going to do it on live telly because glue is not my friend. Or on live TV. I've, punc I've punctured the glue because that's what I do with glue. Oh. I can make things out of silver but with glue. But this is, I did experiment 
with this glue because I wanted to be able to tell you with certainty that this would hold it and it's fabulous. So this is the Hyper Cement. I don't know if we've got any of this. Um, I'm sure we have on the website. And this is the one with the very fine needle mm. tubes. So you're totally in control of the flow of the glue that comes out. Now what you want to do is place your donut. So let's say we're gonna do, do this setting. Place your setting inside the donut and decide exactly where you want it to sit in there. So can we come in any, any more with the overhead, please? Is that possible? Oh, thank you. So what you would do then is see where you need to apply the glue. And where I applied the glue was actually onto the side of the setting rather than onto the donut. Because if you apply the glue onto the donut, when you put the setting in, the glue tends to just kind of push upwards and, and smudge everywhere. Mm. Now with the hyper cement, you want to just pop with your needle point a piece of glue on the exact area that you know is going to touch your donut and leave it for about 20 seconds to become tacky. And then when that's tacky, just pop it into your setting, push it against the wall of the donut and leave it somewhere to set. Now that will take about 10 minutes to set and about overnight to be completely cured. And then you've got a very, very secure setting. And obviously I've still got this gap here that if I wanted to add my wire later mm. in exactly the same fashion as I just did, I've got my connection point, my anchor point to make my jewelry. So that is the non-soldering, non-metal smithing, no heat introduced way of gluing these into place. And the ones that you're seeing on the designer website won't have been done any differently. They'll have been glued into place. Yes. There's no metal on metal anchor point for you to No, no, no. Yeah. And it's super strong. So you don't have to worry about that at all. So that is how I made my earrings. Okay. Amazing. So we've got these earrings and that is exactly how I've made those. Now, if you are um, a silversmith, or you don't have to be a metalsmith, if you, if you do a bit of soldering, <laughs> let's put it that way. You um, dabble. If you dabble, you can do this. Okay, now I have found in the past with some of our um, settings that they are very fragile, just in the way because they're teeny tiny. Mm. These have a lot of silver in them. So sometimes I've found in the past that I've had to add some thermo paste, which is basically a paste that you can get on the market. I'm not sure if we do it, that you put around something that you don't want to melt when you're soldering it. Um, E6000, I've not tried, but that is a really good, I would say probably if, um, a two-part epoxy. So if you've got hyper cement, if you haven't got hyper cement, I would use a two-part epoxy okay. glue um, instead, because you don't, you don't, this is metal, you don't want it. To, no, you don't want it to making. So the other one that I made, which ones did I do with the soldering? It was the, uh, this one. I don't know if we can show that necklace. Okay. So that is soldered. They, those are soldered on. And the ring has obviously been soldered because the ring has to be put onto a ring blank. And the way I did it, I'm not going to sit here and solder because... Um, if you know how to solder, then you're going to know. Is I took a piece, it has to be um, precious metal wire. You can't solder base metal wire. Mm -hmm. So take a, the piece of a base metal wire that you want. Um, and what I did was I put the wire down on the brick rather than put the mount on the brick because the wire is more likely to melt. Because if you think about how much silver is in that and how much uh, silver okay, is in yeah. So put the wire down. I put two pieces of, of easy solder paste and then I popped my mount on the top. All of the usual safety rules apply when you're soldering. Of course, make sure you've got well vented, ventilated area. You know what you're doing. You've got nothing you can set fire, all those things. And then I heated just the mount because the heat from the mount is going to go through to your wire. If you heat the wire, you're going to melt it. So you want to just heat the, the mount and then that will go through. And then you've got this piece of wire on the back here and because your gemstone doesn't go down to the bottom let's see if I've got the size that goes in there I might have used it um, you can have that on the back it's not going to impact anything so then when you've got your donut let's get another donut what have I done with it? oh here's one so then when you put that oh. in there you wrap this wire and then it's secure Beautiful. So I don't have to glue that because it's soldered so that's the soldered the soldered way of, of doing it. And you can then use sort of both sides to add 
more donuts. So if you want to add that donut, then you can just use that wrap loop. Oh, lovely. But again, if you want to, like on the website that we saw, if you want to put these together, then you're going to need to use some uh, two-part epoxy, really strong glue to glue the gemstones together, which you can do. But I think having that silver showing mm. just adds that precious metal value to it. So basically, that's all there is to it. Now, I did start another thing, but I just didn't have time to finish See, it. See, that's lovely. I was about to ask you about that. Now, this is gallery wire, and I've set one side. Um, this is just gallery wire. So I've, I've basically wrapped it around the donut, and then I've soldered it. I've set it on one side, and I've just got to, I've got to set it on the other side with my hammer. Uh, drill but then you could just pop in your gemstone now, I've got some earrings and I don't know what's happened to them I think they're in my bag and what I did was I just glued that oh, straight in. So it literally fits perfectly doesn't it it's it's calibrated to fit perfectly um, if you want to see the picture of those earrings they're on the JM page and on my page and they're, they're here somewhere sorry they're probably in the bottom of my bag I don't want um, but what I did with this was I didn't even have a mount because you don't have a mount big enough for the hugest of the gemstones mm -hmm. and it fits like a glove yeah so all I did with that was I placed my glue inside the little hole mm. I dropped my gemstone in just like that make sure it's flat and then leave it you don't even have to push it down look at that isn't it pretty yeah gorgeous so then you could solder a jump ring on the top there or whatever you're going to make so there's lots and lots of different ways that you can make this jewelry you don't have to solder you can just wrap that wire around but i would say make sure before you get all excited and glue in your little um sorry your little mount that you have got enough room for your wire because that's your anchor point Oh, yeah, there's a picture. We found a picture. If you look at the um, earrings in the bottom corner. Oh, yes. I'll find those. They'll be in the car or something. Um, I love them. Or maybe too. they're still in my light box, possibly. But they're just glued in. Just a little bit of jewellery making glue. Um, now, make, thank you. You're welcome. As always. <laughs> and I, 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 what a mess I've made. I, no, you haven't. <laughs> it's not too I bad don't for think me. So. Is it? But, you know, I used to be scared of uh, silver work, but you make it look so simple and approachable. Well, I always like to show some different ways of doing things because not everyone has got a soldering torch or even wants to do it, and mm -hmm. that's absolutely fine. Now, the earrings that you're seeing here are just a bead cap that I've taken. Oh! You've got more donuts than mounts. Yeah. So you're going to have loads left over. And, that you know, that turquoise we did earlier, <gasps> if you've got that... I like a bit of turquoise with tiger's eye, and I think yeah. those go beautifully together. Oh, they do. The Mexican uh, turquoise that we had earlier on in the show. Um, thank you so much. Make sure Welcome. you do check out your baskets. Those kits are very limited. You've got to remember that it's expensive normally to get graduated donuts. No, they are not. They're not threaded, so you can't put. Well, you could if you put it through the centre of the donut, but there's no other additional hole, if you like. So no. calibrated specifically for those beautiful topaz and, uh, of course, that lovely tube setting mount as well. Um, again, inspired by Fernando Georges. So, oh, my goodness. Now, let's bring you some more essentials, shall we? Between now and the top of the hour, we've still got some really beautiful bags to bring you as well, which I app absolutely love a bit like the gucci bucket bag aren't they uh but uh for us lovely jewelry makers so we've got them in two different colors what uh, colorways those are coming up but right now let's do some essentials i mean so many of us we can make jewelry but we're desperate we're crying out for things like your spacer bead you can't ever have enough spacer beads in my opinion no all of this wouldn't have looked as nice if i hadn't put spacer beads on yep I, I mean, I agree, because they, you know, they do bring that finishing touch, don't they? And these aren't spacer beads as you know it. They've got, uh, <laughs> you've actually got like very, look at that, very, uh, very Van Cleef. Very Van Cleef. You've got the Alhambra almost designed just there. Then you've got, look at this, beautiful beaded edge. Thanks, Debbie. Great inspiration, says Gloria. Oh, you're very welcome, Gloria. If she anyone's is... got any further questions, just come find me. She is a superstar, isn't she, Gloria? I totally agree. Um, and then you've got these lovely tubes because a spacer bead, I don't know, I look at these and think, oh, that could work nice in men's jewellery. But I've used tubes in this necklace. Um, that's a long tube. But if you put four or five of those together, you'd get the same um, effect. As that one. See those tubes? I oh, yes, across the top. To, yeah, just to put wire through them, and then they give it sort of a bit of a torque effect. A I structure. Like Make a structure to it. Amazing. Um, Miss, Miss Janet, speechless. 
actually speechless. Hi, Danny. <laughs> Ah, oh, funny. Well done. Well done. Well done. Stay where you are, everybody. Make sure you check out your baskets on your essential spaces. Right, let's do these lovely bags. I had the privilege of launching these. I love them. They're so cool because, you know, we can get swept away in the beauty of gemstones and the inspiration and talent yep. of our amazing designers. But we need to be practical from time to time as well. Where are you going to put it all? <laughs> Where are you going to put it all? Um, I love these bags. You've got them in the two different colours, two separate auction opportunities. Very strong and sturdy. Up next. You could also do your uh, weights. <laughs> That's a very sturdy. That's they they really are good. really, yeah, put your watermelons in there and away you go. <laughs> or, or your wine. Oh, yeah. And also, can I just open up? Have a look. Because you know when I'm putting hammers and things and I need them to be sturdy. You so need them to have a hard that, bottom. What's that stitching like? Yeah, definitely. They're good. I like those. I want one of those. They have. Yeah, they're so good. Um, now, I call these bucket bags because you've got that circular <laughs> circular shape. Um, a lovely leather, leather, well, uh, is it leather? Faux leather? Anyway, Velcroable handle, oh, which you right. literally put together. Oh, it is leather, look. So you put those together which means it's not going to cut into your hand. It's going to be much more easy and comfortable to wear. Um, but if I pivot it forward as well, look at that nice roomy bag, full on bucket shape. And then you've got, I need to undo that again, don't I? I'm ever so sorry. Um, you've actually got all the additional pockets all the way around. So if I open this up, there you go. You can see better now, can't you? Look, the full circumference of the bag, you've actually got additional pockets, which I don't know. Yeah, I think you can get a good bottle in there, couldn't you? <laughs> you could, easily. Never mind your bottles, bottles of beer. That's a good old wine bottle in there. Um, and you've got str uh, strength in the bottom here and all of these pockets all the way around. Loving, loving this bag. And it's not just particular to you jewellery makers. I mean, I'd use these as picnic bags. I would use these for things like... Pardon? No, I saw them. I haven't brought them to air, but I have seen them behind the scenes and I was very jealous, I've got to be honest. Baby bags, great idea if you're going for things oh, like yeah. picnics, if you do fishing. Um, for your grocery shopping as well, let's not forget that. Knitting. You can put, put what? Put your tackle in there. <laughs> you could. You can. You know, because I'm, I'm sure fishing utensils gets heavy. Absolutely. Multiple hobbies. What about all of your uh, metal tools? All of, yeah, because that's why I was feeling because I've got a bag similar to this and I put my heavy things in the middle. So my block, my hammer, the things that I tend to carry around. You've also got pockets in the middle so that you can comp compartmentalise those things. So different hammers, um, my metal shears I'd put in there. So at the end of the day, it's going to be heavy when I pick it up. Yeah. But I also don't want it to all just collapse into the middle. So this is a perfect bag yeah, for me. That's true. I also think as crafters, you do more than one craft, don't you? Like I crochet, I've got loads of wool. So... I probably have one for each kind of thing. You can have a different colourway. That's nice. And that's that's not, you know, sometimes storage can be a little bit a little bit of an eyesore. I wouldn't mind having that out. That's really nice. And you could put little, you could decorate it. So you could put like little pins Oh, nice. Just unpacked my bag. Ec excellent for uh, taking teaching kit to yeah. work. Great idea. That, yeah. That's a really good idea. So I love you, that. If you have things to transfer, like you get, you'd get markers and pens in there and rulers, and so yeah. you know, even if you're an art journaler or a bullet journaler or photography, you can get anything like that in there, can't you? You can get all sort, all manner of. Yeah, I mean, they are literally. Photography would be a good call if you've got because you've got lots of things to carry, haven't you? I'm just thinking of our lovely Todd when he followed us around Tucson, bless him for the week, literally carrying everything. So, yeah, I mean, yeah, perfect for all of that. Um, I mean, how many of us? You, we do tend to have multiple hobbies, as you just said. Yeah. And, uh, you know, if you if you do if you do uh, if you're creative, it might be that you like to paint. It might be that you like to do things like diamond dot art. All of that can be stored away Definitely. nicely. Yeah, I mean, my daughter has her sketchbooks, and then she has a like really nice. You know what? She has a really nice pencils, a really nice pastels that she needs to look after. So like these are quite wide, so you'd be able to get sort of mm -hmm. you know your tin of pencils in there. Do you know what? I mean, look. Yeah, exactly. 
it might, the label's not on view, is it? No. Hang on. It's a good size, it isn't is it? It's a good size, yeah, it really is. So, and it's not going to go anywhere. I don't know how many times my bottles of water have literally emptied in the bottom of my bag. Oh, me it's too. never good. It's never, ever good. Um, <laughs> yeah. Um, keep hydrated, kids. Right out. Let's do the navy. I'd colour coordinate it, as in have one per per yeah. hobby or or medium. Um, now these are after today. This is the last time that you're going to get hold of these. Oh. Um, after this, they're going over to either Lifestyle or Sewing Street. So last chance for you to get hold of these once they are gone. They are gone, and they will be popular. I mean, if you think about it, right now, who's had a picnic yet or a barbecue? You know? Yeah, that's a really good idea. And this is a good um, take on the plain bag. Yeah. Because you've got this bit. You know, Easy where, access. Where you can put the things together so you can hold it, but you can get in there, you know, when you want to get stuff. Totally. I like the idea of using them for kids as well, for like Definitely. things like their nappy bags and, um, and uh, you know, milk and stuff nappy like that. Nappy bags are a fortune. They're so expensive. Really? I mean, I don't know what these are going to, but... Well, well, if you, yeah, not much. In comparison, less than a nappy bag. <laughs> much less than a nappy bag. Um, okay, the navy is proving to be very popular. I love it. It really works well with the tan, doesn't it? Likewise, if you look inside, obviously it's darker, so it's more difficult to see. Let me unwrap. You've got those additional pockets on the inside as well. We're matching the price point to you. Less than £20 for the Oxford Crafters bag. Um, so can you see? There you go. It is quite, do you know what? It is quite boaty. Yeah, it is, actually. The Navy in particular. My mum and dad used to have a boat on the south coast and everything down there was Navy and white, uh, Navy and cream. Mm. It, is a bit, it is a bit boaty. Mm. You, you could put, you know, your little, I don't know, your magazines in there and your drink. And then I you, thought that. And then you could have your small bottle of wine in the side and then <laughs> your, your glasses your glass, in there, your glasses absolutely in there. blanket I, that's like do you know i might get a couple of these yeah i think they're you really good your favorite spot i like these throw out your blanket get your wine get your, your, your nice little uh, your book or your, your plastic Kindle out oh amazing um hello to you, nicole they would be great for um, a grooming kit for my horse. Oh, yeah, they really would. Great idea. Because you've got lots to carry, haven't you? Yeah. Brill for a picnic, says Margot. Love it. Definitely. Br absolutely. Absolutely. You know, gym bags. What about that? If you go swimming and things like that, you know, gym, go to the gym regularly. Yeah, because they've that really good material. And But they, I think definitely something this thick I'm going to use for my, if there's any left, my metal smithing tools. They're structural, aren't they? Yeah, and they're stitched on the handle as well because that's the first thing to go usually. What, this part here? Yeah, because this is, takes all the strain, doesn't it? Amazing. Well done. Look at us getting carried away in the lovely <laughs> Oxford bags. The graphics have disappeared. We're still on about it, aren't we? I'm still happy about the bags. Now, oh, I have seen this, you know, but I haven't brought, I didn't get the chance to bring it to wear. Now, this is peach, completely and utterly natural papaya pearl with the most beautiful, beautiful of settings. Oh, wow, that's so pretty. Again, um, I know that you can create this yourself, possibly with the right components, but to be honest, the deal that we are about to bring it to air for, you're not going to, I doubt you'd be able to create it for what you're about to see. That is a perfect, I don't know, it was just hidden behind the graphics, let me draw back. There we go. That is one thing that is missing, especially after, you know, us talking about the South Sea Pearl earlier yeah. on, and we discussed the difference between South Sea Pearl and Saltwater Pearl, apart from the obvious. Um, but those five virtues, shape is the first virtue they talk about. Remember, a spherical pearl still commands the yeah. highest price point. We haven't put on our graphics that this is a round pearl. It's, and, and it's perfect. Look at that. Oh, that's, oh, I love the little bead cap on the top. Isn't it beautiful? Uh, producer Tom is saying in my ear, is that a diamond I can see set into the top? Is it? Topaz. By the... Oh, my goodness me. You can't me. tell the difference. No, I can't <laughs> tell the difference. I can't. 
No, not when you're talking that size. You know, everything, don't think anybody would be, unless under a microscope, you'd be really hard yeah, push. Uh, very elegant for layering as well. Like I like to layer, so I'll have like one pearl mm. and then I'll have my long line necklaces. So this would be perfect for that. Do you remember this morning, which only seems like uh, like five minutes ago, <laughs> when we spoke about Christmas? Yeah. Well, we're going to do one of those Christmas oh, deals. Oh, okay. Um, even though that this is a natural, natural peach pearl, it comes complete with that beautiful bale. Mm. Do I need to do anything to this, or is it all literally made up? Do you get the chain? Do we... Yeah. Oh, you do? You get everything. So I don't even have to... I don't even have to glue this together. It's all there. It's all done. Oh, look at that. Isn't it beautiful? 10 millimetre, perfect round, genuine, natural peach pearl. Oh, that's lovely. You, with the topaz as well, set into uh, um, into the elegance of the bale. Think Christmas gifts, think about occasions coming, uh, um, you know, uh, coming ahead, think about birthdays, think about just because. The rarity that we're able to offer now, purely because we actually shop with the lovely, um, lovely jewellery maker. You know, I didn't think for one second I'd be able to gift pearls of any variety let alone natural and oh. uh, and also near round how many do we have of these available we have quantity should we go out with a bang yeah what are you gonna do then tom tell me oh goodness me that's madness it's a natural pearl exactly if i was to literally hop this in fact Sherilyn, natural papaya pearls if this was on if this was on gemporia and I know Jim Pori do the amazing deals. Gosh, 299? 299. Yeah. How much are you at? £29.99. <laughs> <laughs> I know. I, I know. Think, yeah, that could be 299. I didn't want to put you on the spot there, lovely, but I was like, yeah, that's a topaz set in there too. 925 sterling silver. We're at £29.99. Buy it. Yeah, totally. <laughs> if you don't, I definitely will. Lovely Sherilyn, everyone, coming up on Hobby Maker um, a little bit later on this up. Well, in about five minutes, actually. Um, goodness me. How on earth? I, I feel like I need to say wakey wakey to you all this <laughs> afternoon because I don't I can't believe that they haven't absolutely flown out the door at under fifty pounds. If we'd have put a one in front of that price tag. If, uh, then that still would have been an absolutely unbelievable, unbelievable deal. Yeah, it's a complete piece of jewellery. We can't move anywhere. We can't go a single penny lower because, like, uh, uh, as Sherilyn just said, is it natural? Is that, a natural uh, is that a natural pearl? Yes. Yes, it is. Remember, we discussed it at length earlier on in the, in the show. All right, it was about, um, it was actually about your South Sea pearls, but the same applies whether you're looking at Edison, whether you're looking at freshwater pearls, all those virtues that we discussed, the shape, the size, the color, the nacre surface, it's all there. Tick, tick, tickety tick. I think the, the main word is natural. Yeah. It's a natural pearl. That makes Which all we've the, just missed. Out. That makes all the difference to me. We've missed that out on the graphics. <laughs> we've missed out. <laughs> we've missed out natural and we've missed out round. I'd say they're two pretty key <laughs> words. Two key words when it actually comes to um, a, a pearl of this calibre and quality. Well, maybe, maybe again, we said this earlier on in the show, maybe there's a very good reason for that. Because if we put that on there, um, then we won't <laughs> quite be able to... Well, twenty nine ninety nine would not sit right, would it? Make sure you do check out those baskets, lovely jewellery makers. What an amazing deal. You know, again, at that price, you can't get a bunch of flowers. No. No, you can't. Let alone natural pearls. Well done. Check out your baskets. Um, I don't know where this afternoon's gone. It's absolutely Ooh. flown by today. Debbie, thank you so much. Oh, thanks for having me. I love As working with you. Likewise. <laughs> when are you back? Do you know? I think it's the 21st, couple of weeks. I'm asked that question thinking, I don't know when I'm on. <laughs> I know, I'm like, Ooh. we'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. And I hope I can see you soon. Have a wonderful afternoon, everybody. Um, and tomorrow, can I just talk quickly about tomorrow? Because we have the most ridiculously beautiful carving that I've ever, ever, ever seen Ooh. in Jade. Have you seen it, Kat? It's, un it's unreal, isn't it? Um, so make sure you tune in. Um, in Jade, I'm going to be joined by a lovely Dave. Debbie Kershaw, everyone. Isn't she gorgeous? <laughs> Have a wonderful afternoon. We'll see you tomorrow.